Start already with Zionis. Uh, thank you so much for becoming a member once again. <gasps> now you've okay, Zionis. I think it's the first person with the uh, Queen of Hatred as a badge. Good, good job, Zionis. Uh, thank you so much for the super, my friend. All right. So, uh, first of all, let me move the advertisement to the other side of the screen because now we have we do have uh, the the rules. So. Welcome, guys! Welcome, Lucia Pugliese, Sofia Nered, Goatman, Faust, John Raffan Bernal, Mr. Topatman, Raffri, For Elemental, Karas, Silsi SW, Alicus, Andy Fretz, Broske, uh, Mr. A List, Waluigi, Luke Andreadis, Aetherats, Silly Billy, Silly Billy 2, sorry, <laughs> Yanurek, 610 Hobbies, Pyrex Rins, Greats, Sleepy K, Andrew Wittich, Here006, Hades, Overlord, Sleepy K, John Estioco, uh, Estioco, yeah, Estioco, uh, Villo VV, uh, Nick Katz, The T Sense, Bucky, Zebra Ash, Ah, Anthony Hart, Rando Jam, We Go Cray, Alicus, Omni Sniper, Wendy Troll, we Weird Troll, sorry, wait, uh, we 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 Weird Troll, Memento Vira, uh, Gabriel Rocha Paz, Vivi, Vivi Crow, Bloody Gems, Pote, Colombre Off, uh, Temuji, thank you so much for the 5 BRL, my friend, Temu- uh? Why do you have th 3 notifications of Temuji? Wait, uh, uh, weird, I think it's only one, but uh, thank you so much for the 5 BRL, my friend, uh, I really appreciate the support, wait, uh, is the YouTube just bugged, or did you send it three times? Wait, <laughs> I got three notifications of it, I, I don't know, but whatever. Thank you so much for the support, my friend! And welcome to... Um, a, a lot of uh, space bars, I think. Welcome to Peter Kovac, King of Arts 4711, Area M, Joan Keffer, uh, who else? Granny King, Random Guy, uh, uh, I think I already, I already said hello to this one, I already said hello to this one, yeah. Welcome Bradley, Agren, Faust, Inv Invitation, Poirot, Zebra Ash, uh, who else? Meh? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I think we can finally rest for, for a second, okay? I think we can actually rest for a second. <laughs> so, ah, today, today it's gonna be a day full of surprises. Today it's gonna be a day full of surprises. And no, uh, Purhovanikos, I don't play this game normally anymore. <laughs> I play this game, uh, like, only when I need to make videos, I play the game, uh, quote unquote, normally. Even though on Saturday there is gonna be a video on Roblox, but uh, it's gonna be on Saturday, we don't talk about that now. Invitation! Thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend! Uh, and now you're gonna hear the Kremoler entering the room. If... No, wait. Oh, no, this is the advertisement of the uh, spam tone, actually. But you have the Kremoler near your name. So thank you so much, Invitation. Okay. So. Roblox, let's go. Yeah, uh... <laughs> It's gonna be an interesting video for sure. It's an experiment, okay? It's an experiment. Uh, of course, of course, uh, it, it's related to fear and hunger. I would never bring Roblox normally on my channel. But anyways, I see we're already 300 viewers! Uh, 300 viewers and we didn't even start! Uh, that's perfect. Four minutes from the start of the stream, we're already 300! I, I, I think today we're gonna be able to overcome the, the record, maybe, maybe. Do you need a hug, Mr. Streamer? Uh, thanks, Kyoshinji, but uh, no. There is one thing that I need. Oh, there it is, invitation. Thank you so much once again, my friend. 
There is one thing I need, which is not a hug. The thing I need in this moment is to not miss the freaking Chains of Torment on Skin Granny. Okay, what we have to do is... Uh, uh, let me open the game, first of all, so we can actually have some music in the background playing while we are talking, you know. We're not gonna start immediately, we just wait uh, like 10, second, uh, 10 minutes or something, because we need to discuss for a second. Okay, the game has been turned on. And you should hear the music, remember. Uh, we're gonna go over the rules again, of course, uh, just to be sure that everyone knows. And remember, there is written bug fix mode from Frapolo94, but this is not the bug fix mode. It's just the sensor part of it, because I need the sensor mode, and since in the sensor mode this screen is included, uh, it's the same. Okay. So, I love you for Apollo. Oh, thanks, Guigo. I love you as well. Hey again, for Apollo. Thanks for your mod. I finally finished Fear and Hunger. Was having a lot of problems with bugs. Ooh, nice, Joseph. I'm happy, I'm happy my mod was able to help you. What happened last time? I think I missed it. Um, I can explain to you what happened last time. Everything was going perfectly smoothly. Then, we missed Chains of Torment on the skin granny torso, which is 5% chance, if I remember correctly. With a 5% chance, our run was completely lost. But anyways, Nico Kuhn, thank you so much for the 3 euros! There it is, a glass of beer or wine. I'm gonna take a glass of uh, wine, honestly. It's been a long time since I've drank wine, actually. Like, uh, uh, I had a, um, a birthday on uh, previous Wednesday, but... Uh, Apart from that, I'm gonna have a birthday uh, party on uh, Sunday, so maybe I'm gonna drink something there. Thank you so much for the super, Nico! And Yasek, thank you so much for the 129 CZK, my friend! Let's go! The best even entertainment again! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> thank you so much, Yasek, really. I really appreciate your support. <laughs> I, 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 you know... Well, if I think about the- Ooh! Random guy, thank you so much for becoming a member once again! And look at the big shot watching! and dancing sporadically, because, you know, every time you dance, remember guys, you're a big shot. You know, if I, if I think about uh, some time ago when I, uh, like, uh, I still watch streams, of course, but like, uh, I would have never expected to be the one on the other side of the screen. Instead, here I am, because uh, not, a, not a lot of people know this, uh, but uh, in the past, uh, like when I was 13 year old, I actually had a YouTube channel. I brought uh, Minecraft in Italian. Because Italian is my main language. And the problem is uh, that uh, I was in high school at the time. And I stopped the whole project. I mean, I, I, I had like uh, 200 subscribers, nothing special. But I stopped the project for a very stupid reason. The reason was that my, my, my classmates were... Uh, how do you say it in English? Uh, were making fun of me. Because uh, of the fact that I was a YouTuber and that I was playing Minecraft. Also, in the time, uh, the fact that I watched anime didn't help because my YouTuber, my my classmates associated the fact of uh, watching anime to watching, uh, uh, you know, those kind of special uh, gentleman movies, etc. And so I was uh, uh, making fun of him for that. It was a combination of all of things. You know, the, the usual stuff, the usual stuff. Th those are the stereotypes that will always be present uh, in... Uh, Ignorant people. <clears throat> but anyways, and now look where we are, guys! Now look where we are! Like, <laughs> if I was able to talk to my to my past self, he would have never if he would have never expected that. And Gustavo, thank you so much for the five BRL, my friend. Another run with the undisputed best character. Shut up! In the game, Ragnar Ragnar Rupert. <laughs> okay, you got it. The first name is gonna be Rupert. Okay. You got it, the first name is gonna be Robert Gustavo. Thank you so much for the support. And Mattias Rapallini, thank you so much for becoming a member. And even to Kira Cross, guys. We have a lot of big shots today. <laughs> we have a lot of big shots. Do you want the best deal of your life? Then you just have to become a member of me. You're not gonna regret it. You're gonna become a big shot. Thank you so much, guys, for the support, really. Thank you so much. We're already 400 viewers, okay. So... Before, before uh, uh, starting, let's re-go over the rules for a second. I'm not gonna be able to see the chat while I do this. These are the rules to summarize. So, can't attack, cannot use any skills, both in battle and outside of battle, except Chains of Torment, Guard is allowed because it's not in the skill menu, and Dash, uh, this time I brought it so people cannot say, eh, well, you're using Dash, Dash is a skill, you're using that. no, 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 no. Dash, uh, is not used. 
So, it's allowed. Dash is a passive. You don't have to press an input to use it, okay? Dash is allowed. I don't care. This is my challenge. If you want to do the same challenge without Dash, be my guest. This is my challenge, so Dash is allowed. Okay, then. Can't use items to damage or inflict statuses to the enemies. So basically, I cannot use uh, explosive vials on the enemies. I cannot use throwing knives. I cannot use throwing dart. I cannot use... Uh, what else uh, is there? You know, all the kind of stuff that applies statuses or damages the enemies. All the rest of the items is allowed. No party members. Because uh, otherwise <laughs> we would deal damage without Chains of Torment. And then Ragnavald as ending. Everything clear, guys? Everything clear? Everything clear? And uh, wait, uh, Andrea Wittich, uh, thank you so much for the six euros, my friend. What's your favorite anime? Yes, I can. I have watched One Piece today. Ooh, nice. I've never watched One Piece. I'm kind of scared of the amount of episodes it has. But my favorite anime in the current moment. That's a difficult question. I think it's Attack on Titan. I still didn't finish it, so please uh, don't spoil. But, uh, yeah, I think it's Attack on Titan. Like, uh, I love the, the the story of the characters. Uh, it was pretty interesting. I don't watch... I Like, I watched uh, in total around 200 anime in my life, so I'm not an expert. Like, uh, I would need to watch much more to be an expert. So, they, uh, I just like Attack on Titan. I'm not, I'm not saying it's maybe the greatest show ever or something. No, no, no. I just like it. Uh, and, uh, Moods, uh, calm down saying start the game. Calm down. Don't spam in the chat. We're just talking. We're just talking. I'm not here to just be a mindless player that just, just goes... Okay, guys... Now we're gonna do this divided this, we're gonna do the best strategy ever to do everything. No! I also want to talk with you guys, that's the best part. Like, if I just wanted to play the game, <laughs> if I just wanted to play the game, I wouldn't even stream it. I, I'm here because I want also to talk to you. So. And talking about uh, talking to you, let me drink for a second. <laughs> Have you seen Ejime no Ippo? No, but uh, someone suggested it to me. I've never watched it, though. Talking only stream when. We can do Fear and Hunger, but I can only talk. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you for the follow CEO of Cats. Can you please go on a wine drinking binge on stream? No, <laughs> I can't. I just got into the game and your videos are helping me so much. Thank you, and I'm so happy stumbling into this life from the beginning. Good luck. Oh, thanks, Federica Tocci. I'm happy I'm able to help you. Thank you so much. Uh, One Piece è lungo, ma l'animazione degli episodi che sono usciti di recente leggendaria. Yeah, a lot of people suggested to me One Piece, but uh, it's so long, uh, like, uh, considering the fact that I don't have the time to do almost anything currently, because university also restarted, it's kind of difficult to start something like One Piece, you know? <laughs> Julia! Thank you so much for the 10 donations of membership, my friend! <laughs> okay. I think I, I think I need to start. <laughs> We're already getting too much support. Uh, I don't deserve this. I need to give you... <laughs> I need to give you some results. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julia, really, and welcome to stream, by the way. How was your day? Thank you so much, Julia. And you know what? Let's drink again. I'm gonna drink ananas, uh, p pineapple juice, uh, specifically. Are you ready? <sighs> I don't even have anything, anything to say. My uni also started. Oh, good luck with that, Julia, really. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. Ah! Oops. <laughs> I, I clapped my hands. <laughs> I had some water on the hands. It's, it, uh, it went to my face. Uh, okay. So. Are you ready, guys? Because I think it's finally time to start. I think my voice is already going away. <laughs> because today I had to talk a lot between university and uh, other stuff that happened. So. Now. Let's think about what happened previous time. How are you for follow? Oh, I'm pretty well, thanks, uh, Lost Paradise. So, let's remember what is the plan. The plan is uh, to get as fast as possible an empty scroll to get Chains of Torment. Then, we use Chains of Torment to kill the Carol Molder immediately because the Carol Molder has Peck, which is a 50 50. We have to go for the head. The head has 50% evasion, evasion from magical attacks. So we go from, uh, uh, for Chains of Torment on, the, on the, the head. If we hit, it's a guaranteed win. And we do this because we will not have a way to protect ourselves from Peck in this run. So we need to get rid of the Carol Molder as fast as possible. Okay, guys, let me reduce the advertisement image a little bit. I think it's too invasive in there. Okay, there it is. 
Okay, that's the first part of the plan. The second part is to get some uh, sort of empty scrolls in order to be able to get Pinecomb Pig, which allows infinite mind. And then we are just really gonna have to wait until we get Sorcerer's Stone. Sorcerer's Stone is gonna be able to make us recycle Chains of Torment once we establish an enemy on which we can farm. Nick Katz, thank you so much for the two dollars! Funger, but uh, Frapp gets wasted on Nerello Me Mescalese. Who was Nerello Mescal uh, Mescalese? I, I think I already heard that name, wait. Uh, Nere Nerello Mescalese? Uh, let, me, let me Google it or, or something. Uh, let me see, Nerello me, Mascalese. Oh, that's a. Uh, oh, okay, okay. That's uh, related to wine, if I understood correctly. Okay. Yeah, we, we could do that. Uh, we could do that. Uh, doesn't seem too bad. Like, a, I, I, I love grape, so technically. Thank you so much, Nick Cats, for the support. Now, we'll do an even harder challenge after this run. I will try, I will try, I will try, Meryl. I always try to do challenges harder and harder every time. Sometimes I do some uh, more chill challenges, but uh, it depends from the, from the moment. But anyways... So... I think it's time to start. We got the name for the first Ragnavalder. The name for the first Ragnavalder is gonna be... Robert. Oh wait, uh, wrong, uh, wrong caps. Uh, okay. Robert. Just Mary Pen, thank you so much for becoming a member! Oh my god, we already we already got uh, how many members? We got uh, like more than 10 memberships in total today. 15 memberships already! Thank you so much for the super jazz, I really appreciate it! Uh, thank you so much, my friend! Now you're a big shot as well. Welcome in the big shots. So the first one is Rupert. Are we ready guys? Uh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I already feel the stress. The stress. Let's go. Let's go. So. Holy hell, you got my name right. Oh, nice, Mary Pen. I'm happy I was able to get it right. So, we don't really care about bow and arrows because we cannot use bow and arrows regardless to, to deal damage to opponents. It's not allowed. It's not in the rules. It's more a gentleman's agreement, okay? Benny! Benny Winterdown, thank you so much for gifting five memberships to the chat! <laughs> thank you so much, Benny! I mean... We were at 15 uh, one second ago, and we have 20 memberships already. Thank you so much, Benny! Some friend! And, uh... Happy birthday to Hats. Happy birthday to Hats, by the way! Today it's, it's uh, his or her birthday, sorry. I don't know your pronouns, so... Thank you so much, Benny, really. I really appreciate your support. So... Be a big shot. Be a big, be a big, big shot. Mr. Realist, thanks so much for the two CA dollars and 79. Would you ever play Termina? I have a good news for you. If you go on the VOD section of my channel, I have a full blind run of Termina and also a challenge run with Olivia Masomod No Wheelchair. If you're interested, be sure to check it out. And thank you so much for the support. Alright! Let's go. So, I'm gonna take the X and shield because, uh, wait, we got a shield. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's really the gist of it. We cannot use devour, so this doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take bloodlust just to be sure I don't devour accidentally and uh, invalidate the challenge for some reason. And then we just rush. So, remember, the plan, first of all, is to get an empty scroll in the first parts of the dungeon. I will not wait until reaching Mahabre. If we are not able to find an empty scroll between the library in the first in the in the entrance and the library in the torture chamber, I'm just gonna reset because it's faster, and uh, it's actually better in uh, efficient e efficiency discussions. You know what I mean? Efficiency discussions because we could uh, wait until we go to Mahaber, but uh, we will need multiple empty scrolls to even make this run possible. So if we don't find any empty scrolls in the first two chambers in which we are ac we have access to empty scrolls, it's kind of bad run. So because of that, we will have to reset. Capish? Perfect. Get the wall, Darcy. No, 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 no. The debug spots are not allowed. That is another thing that is not in the rules, but it's a gentleman's agreement that I will not use. Like a. <laughs> Like, if I, if I wanted to use the debug spots, there wouldn't be any challenges. There is a debug spot in Mahaber that gives you infinite empty scrolls after all, like... <laughs> there wouldn't be a purpose in trying to do a challenge run if I used the debug spots, do you understand what I mean? Alright, so, no balls, use a phase dash, F phase dash? What do you, uh, phase step is a skill, so it's not allowed, but... Phase dash? 
Are there gonna be playthrough of Dungeon Knights? I already did one playthrough of Dungeon Knights. It's an old VOD called Fear and Hunger The Last Ending. And it was also kinda interesting because uh, it was uh, an April, April Fool joke that I made with the chat. So if you're interested you may rewatch it. Why don't add that stuff to the rules? Because it's a gentleman's agreement. It's not a, a strict rule, like a, a, a like a, it's a challenge run. If I use the debug spots, where would the challenge be? Like, a, I almost think uh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, how do you say it? Uh, it's a subtle. Uh, no, it's a, you don't say subtle. You say uh, how do you say it in English? Uh, it's obvious. It's obvious that I will not use debug spots to complete the challenge. Thank you for the follow, Muzaki Wanglu. Like, uh, what would be the purpose of uh, <laughs> of even doing a challenge run if I use the debug spots to get advantage or something? Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, it's an unspoken rule, exactly. Exactly. Are you the Sabak? Eh? Are you the Sabaku no Maiku? Conosciuto anche come Mike of the Desert <laughs> for Fear and Anger? Maybe. Sabaku no Maiku is an Italian YouTuber, very no uh, streamer and uh, YouTuber, very known because of all the Dark Souls lore videos and in general because of his uh, incredible vocabulary. And, uh, uh, man, thank you so much for becoming a member! Beat everything with a stick. We cannot use the stick. This is a chains of torment only run. <laughs> but thank you so much, my friend. Now you are with the big shots as well. Thank you so much for the support. All right. So if we get a little bit lucky, the challenge may actually end in. Uh, no, no. I shouldn't say anything about uh, the time in which the challenge is gonna end. Otherwise, uh, it's gonna. The, the karma is gonna hit me. The karma is gonna hit me. Lore-wise exclusively, what's your opinion on Ragnavaldor? That's cool. Uh, Lore-wise exclusively. If we consider anything else, Ragnavaldor is the worst character. The worst. Can you use Chains of Torment in your uh, run? Yes. That's the only thing that we can use to damage the opponents. So. So. Uh, is there a lizard man up here? That's pretty bad. Because we will almost surely need a hard leather armor in order to complete the run. Because Francois deals tremendous, tremendous. No, not ambush. Uh oh, uh oh, uh um, oh. Oops. No. Eh. Okay, we didn't get uh, bleeding or infection. Perfect. Uh, torture. Can you? Oh, okay. Okay, I mean that, that's a good thing. Torture is gonna stay there at least. That's a good thing. Hey, wait! Uh, the elite guard is in this corridor. Oh no! That's the worst elite guard. I hate this one. Oh. oh. Um, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. Uh, yeah, you don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> We're already playing a little bit bad. That that's good. That's good. It means this is not the, the best run we can do, but it also means there is room for improvement. And we got a scroll of the wild man. Per per perfect. Perfect. Let's go directly into the other room before going into the torture chamber. So if we get some empty scrolls, we are immediately able, later, to go into the courtyard. Uh, even you. Mm. Okay. Wildman teaches the devour skill. Okay. Let's go to the library. I don't care about taking damage or getting infected because uh, there are some heals very, very near me. But uh, give me empty scroll, empty scroll, empty scroll, empty. No, why are we getting the best stuff possible? <laughs> Please, no, no empty scroll. This one was just a normal book. Akiko Sanada, thank you so much for the five dollars. Uh, never seen a man run so fast in my life, lol. <laughs> I mean, you you never seen a man running for his life then? <laughs> I think. <laughs> thank you so much, Akiko, for the support. I really appreciate it. You never seen you've never seen a man running for his life though. If you've never seen a man running that fast. <laughs> and Pakini, thank you so much for becoming a member. How is the run going? Pretty bad, honestly. Because we already went through the first room and still zero empty scrolls. And to even start the challenge, we need at least one. But potentially to finish the challenge, we need at least oh Why am I so distracted now? Oh, and we lose an arm. I mean, why not? <laughs> Let's see. This is already a bad attempt. Uh oh. Do we lose immediately? Is Rupert already dead? No. Is Rupert already dead? Uh oh. Um. Uh, Rupert. Um. Um. So, guys, uh, welcome to the to the stream. Today is the first attempt. No! 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 No!
<laughs> Not on a Christian stream. <laughs> Gustavo Lal, thank you so much for the chubby event, my friend. Which character is more cacti, Darcy or Kahara? Uh, Kahara. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Gustavo. Okay, um, <clears throat> so welcome to the stream, guys. This is the first attempt at Ragnavaldor as ending Chains of Torment only run. Um, give me, give me some names, guys. Give me, give me some names for uh, for my first character in the run, please. Give me some uh, good names. <gasps> Ragna Daddy. Uh, does it fit? Ragna Daddy. <gasps> Oh. We got it! We got it! Ragna Daddy! Ragna Daddy! <laughs> you guys are so... Uh, really something. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so... That's everything we don't have to do in the run. This was just a warm-up. This was just a warm-up. Who made the, that little animation with you as Spamton Dancing? Oh, it's written in the description. It's uh, Crimson Kalo. It's also a moderator of my Discord, by the way, if you want to contact uh, uh, Kalo or something. But anyways, that's everything we don't have to do in the run. It was just uh, to, to let you understand in case you didn't notice. Also, tell me because I forgot to ask you. Is the volume fine? Like, uh, is it good or uh, or no? Is the volume fine? Do I need to lower something? Do I need to do something or... Uh, do I need to... Yes. Okay, perfect. Whew. All right, I'm gonna calm down for a second. I'm already getting uh, uh, hyperactive. And the, the point is... Thank you for the follow, Magic Me Grek. The point is... Uh, I'm still scared about this King Granny because the only way in which uh, I thought about a plan to defeat her, which uh, doesn't imply, like, uh, having a lack of not failing the Chains of Torment on her, there are two plans I thought about. The first plan is... Listen to me, listen to me, okay? She has four, uh, uh, four arms, okay? Each arm deals 15 damage once we get the good armor, okay? 15 damage. If we use Chains of Torment on one arm... If we use Chains of Torment on one arm, then she's gonna deal 45 damage each turn if she doesn't use the leg to attack, okay? That's just basic math. Then, it means uh, if she doesn't use, use the leg two turns in a row, we are able to get one turn of advantage. Are you following me? Perfect. This is like the, the most RNG probably we will ever need in the run, except for the Crow Molder, which is very early on. But the Skin Granny is not early on. Do you understand the problem? So I think, unless we get Alchemilia Volume 3, unless we get Alchemilia Volume 3, which is the one that allows us to get um, Brown Vial, which gives us an extra turn. No, the problem is not the lucky coin, uh, Gustavo. The problem is um, the problem is the damage. Like, not the lucky coin. If you watched the previous stream, you know we didn't die because of the. <gasps> that that that's a good start. That that's a good start. Okay. That, okay. That's a hell of a start. Okay. If we're able to not mess this one up and we get some empty scrolls, uh, it's doable. Ring of Wraiths in the first crate. Ring of Wraiths is gonna be very important once, once we need to farm for some health or something before the battles. If we get an empty scroll to get the Pinecone Pig, we don't need this passage. But uh, potentially our luck will be terrible. Oh, so let me look. Did the Lizardman spawn? The Lizardman didn't spawn. Eh, you know, I would have preferred the, the Lizardman to spawn actually because... Uh, we kinda need uh, the hard leather armor, and it's, it's still not a 100% chance by the- <gasps> Chor, Chor? What? What are you doing in the middle of the corridor? Huh? You you were supposed to be in your room. Uh? Wait. Did I- Huh? Ah, did, did I break the event of torture entering here by falling down so soon? Huh? How did that even happen? The... Whatever. So. Second chance! Second freaking chance, please! Please! Empty scroll! <gasps> mm. 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 We, need a, we need a quill. We, we need a freaking quill. Come on. Come on, tinder boxes, tinder boxes. Okay, that, that's a good start. That's a good start. We still need a quill. We still need a freaking quill. Let's hope the goal didn't spawn because the goal is kind of a pain to deal with. Goal? Okay, in this in this confirmation, it's not a problem. More empty scroll, empty scroll, empty scroll, empty scroll, and no, 
We are not even gonna use it. There is a chance we get Devour from it. And I don't want to get Devour. <laughs> I just need a Quill. I just need a freaking Quill. Uh, theoretically, we can, we can enter here, yeah. Yeah, it's not a problem. Torch, Tinder boxes. Hmm... I wonder... There should be a guard up there? If I remember... No, 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 in this confirmation, no, 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 no. It's just a... It's just an oven. Hello, welcome, Camilla! Uh, Chad, if you don't know, if he misses his first shot on seeing Granny, he's fucked, to be honest. That's what happened with our last blast run. Exactly, Strawberry. That's exactly what happened. Like, uh, because um, I'm not able to sustain all the damage that Skin Granny does. So, if I miss one Chains of Torment, and so I cannot just mindlessly heal, heal me because I need to steal the all damage, I just enter into an infinite loop in which uh, Skin Granny deals damage. I heal. Skin Granny deals damage. I heal. Skin Granny deals damage. I, you would have guessed, you, <clears throat> you would have guessed it. Heal, Quill. All right, guys, the challenge can officially start. Oh Lord, boom. Mm -hmm. Teach torment chains. Boom. Boom! There it is! Nero, thank you so much for the three pounds, my friend! Oh lord, give challenge membership. <laughs> Guys, uh, if someone wants, I mean, uh, the, 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 the membership cannot be donated to a single, per to a specific, specific person, if I remember correctly, but uh, you can try, my friend. Thank you so much for the support, Nero. Also, since someone said it, no, I'm not allowed, I think this actually, I should put it in the rules because it's important. Uh, I'm not allowed to use an empty scroll to just get the endless soul to skip skin granny. Let me add it to the rules. Let me add it because this is this may not be uh, of obvious. So uh, have to uh, sorry have uh, I can't write have to kill all soul bosses. Okay, that's better maybe. Yeah, it's never specified in my rules, but uh, it's always present that I have to kill all the soul bosses. But I think since I'm getting more uh, <laughs> more viewers, and maybe it's actually better to specify it because there may be more questions about it. Sofia Nered, thank you so much for gifting one membership. Let's see who gets it, Nero. No. <laughs> Nothing, Nero. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> thank you so much for the super, Sofia. I really appreciate it. Also, let me close the window because I'm already screaming like a freaking monkey and we didn't even start like the, the real challenge. Let me close the window because my, my neighbors may become very angry at me otherwise. Okay, imagine my... You, one must imagine my neighbors happy in this moment, okay? One must imagine my neighbors happy. So, now, do, we do have Chains of Torment. There it is, 80 mind cost, 900 fixed damage. There it is. Can we use Chairs of Trollment? Uh, mm, no. <laughs> Only Chains of Torment, Karas. <laughs> Only Chains of Torment to deal damage. So, let's see. We got a, a lot of ales and a red vial, that's good. And Shiko Benichi's Burger Big Razor. Thank you so much for becoming a member. That's a... <laughs> That's a cool name, I like it. Uh, shy, uh, shy, sorry, not she. Shy Comedy uh, Cheeseburger Big Razor. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. And even to Dario. Thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend. We are already at a good amount of big shots. I think at this point we may actually play Delta on the channel. Do you actually know what is Delta Rune? Or would you be interested in a playthrough of it? Because with this amount of big shots, maybe you deserve it. And Canaver Suzu, thank you so much for gifting one membership! And once again, it wasn't Nero. <laughs> Nero is never gonna be the he's never gonna get the subscription. Thank you so much, Canaver Suzu, I really appreciate it. And we're already 700 viewers! 700! And we'll be streaming for 30 minutes, by the way, 30. I'm pretty confident. Today we are gonna beat the record. The record is 1100 viewers simultaneously. And uh, Gurmb... Sorry. Gurmblmpf. Gurmblmpf. Thank you so much for becoming a member. <laughs> I hope I pronounced it correctly. I, I don't think so, but <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> In case I did, thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. And Temuji, thank you so much for the five donations of membership. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to play the game! <laughs> I can't play the game if you keep donating! Uh. 
No, 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 hey, stay, stay in the post menu. <laughs> Thank you so much, Temuji, I really appreciate it. And even Lori Little for the five dollars. Oh Lord, give ability to greedy. Very soon we are gonna grind if we find that uh, pinecone pig. <laughs> Very soon we are gonna grind. Thank you so much, Lori Little, I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, okay. I'm gonna get, if I keep going like this, uh, at, uh, th when, I, when I'm gonna be uh, 30 years old, I'm gonna have an ictus. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, let's calm down. This is just a chill stream. We don't need to be, uh, like, uh, excited or something. Just chilling. Invitation! <laughs> Invitation! Thank you so much for the five memberships in the chat! <laughs> Stop donating! <laughs> Stop donating, guys! <laughs> we can't play the game if you keep donating! <laughs> Thank you so much, Invitation! Anyway, for the two C dollars, all of the members! <laughs> Stop donating memberships! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, and even to Exile for becoming a member! Thank you so much for the support, Exile! I really appreciate it, my friend! And even to the CEO of Cats for the 2 euros! Who has the more reads, bunny masks or wolf masks? I would say wolf masks. I would definitely say wolf masks! <laughs> I <w> but <laughs> Why would you ask that question, by the way? <laughs> oh no! Guys, guys, guys! Stop donating! Oh! <laughs> Benny and Nick Katz, thank you so much to both of you for one donation of memberships each! <laughs> Stop making you big shots! Stop! Stop! <laughs> we need to play! The, 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 the reason I, I want them to stop is because I still didn't do anything. If I lose the challenge multiple times, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna feel really bad because I'm not accomplishing anything. That's why. <laughs> That's why! <laughs> Lori Little, thank you so much for another five dollars! Lord, <clears throat> oh Lord, give mental help to everyone in chat. I mean, everyone here maybe needs uh, a little bit of mental help, especially me. I'm the first one that needs mental help in this moment. Can you please send someone to me? And uh, if you send it, I'm gonna use Chase of Torment on it. Thank you so much, Lori Little. And uh, Akiko Sanada, thank you so much for becoming a member. I mean, <laughs> finally. <laughs> the viewers have donated like $50. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Akiko. I really appreciate it. Uh, and even to a uh, Russian name, I think that I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, AR to Tone. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, I'm so sorry, but I see you have Sanji as an, uh, a profile picture, so I'm gonna call you that. Uh, Sanji. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate it, my friend. Uh, okay. Did we stop? Did we stop? Okay. Ah, we stopped. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, really, but... Uh, I'm already getting sweaty. Okay. Thank you so much once again to everyone. Now, let's continue. We can finally play the game, now that we have a chance of torment. Finally play the game. Gilly Buendia! <laughs> Thank you so much for the two euros! Uh. Oh lord, teach peace part. No, 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 no. We don't talk about that here, Gile. We don't talk about that here. That's an old story that only the old uh, uh, followers know. We don't talk about that here, Gile. That's a special uh, remembrance for us uh, old players. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super, by the way. And even to Benny for becoming a member. <laughs> Stop mentioning it! <laughs> <sighs> Uh, I'm gonna use a big shot of myself. Uh, I'm gonna use a big shot of myself in this moment. Uh, my head hurts. My head hurts a little bit. Whew. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Now, <laughs> let's actually go. <laughs> okay. Let's do something. We're gonna do a little pose uh, once we kill the Carol Mother, okay? A little pose. That's the first moment of the stream in which we we accomplish something. In that moment, we are gonna stop, we're gonna think about what happened, etc., okay? Okay. When the friend was peeing, was it a big shot? It, it was um, it, it was a big shot, yeah. It was, definitely. Alright. But anyways... No, we are not gonna talk about that, also because... Uh, maybe you don't know this, uh, and uh, I don't think it was because of that, but still... Uh, my previous stream literally got demonetized. I mean, technically, not demonetized, but was restricted to 18+. And... And... Oh, oops. 
was restricted to 18 plus and the outcome that I get from it, uh, it was, was reduced a lot. So I want to try to avoid uh, controversial topics uh, as much as possible, we may say. Do you agree? Perfect. Even if you don't agree, you're gonna agree because that's what I say. Okay. Plasma, thank you so much for the 10 PLN, my friend! The Chromoter.mp3, good luck, man! <laughs> I mean, in this moment, the Chromoter is probably listening to some music. Do you know the meme from America's, the America Psycho Guy, uh, Wall King, etc.? In this moment, that's the Chromoter. Me on my way to ruin for Apollo 94 run or something. <laughs> thank you so much for the super, my friend. So. If you like to the crow model, you name the, you name the next guy Bredenwalder. That's a cool name, Bredenwalder. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay, everything that I needed to do was done. The next step is theoretically to just go to the mines to trigger the crow model and then fight the crow model. And wait, no, we got more stuff. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Felix, uh, thank you for the five dollars. Oh, thanks, Felix. And Felix, and good job for ending A. That's uh, like the third most difficult ending, I think, because it depends from the difficulty, actually, because uh, ending D may be more difficult than ending A in Terror and Starvation difficulty, but still, good job, my friend! Then we also have four Elemental and uh, uh, a lot of people, actually. Redamente and Worthy and uh, another membership donated by Nick Cads. Thank you so much, guys, really! Once again, let me repeat. Four Elemental... Oh, Lord, give Black, sh black Sandwich. <laughs> Then, Radamanthe and Worthy, and then Nick Cats for another donation of memberships. Thank you so much, guys, I really appreciate it. So, you know, we no, we are not gonna go through the thicket because there are the dogs. And I don't want to fight the dogs in this moment. Where is the Okay, the guard is here, the guard is here! I got scared. I got scared, but I didn't lose anything, fortunately. I'm just bleeding, which is fine, we can just use a cloth fragment. Then, hey! Did, did you see the elite guard? The, the, did you see it? The elite guard was not there. It's... Uh, did, did you see? It was not there for one sec... Uh, did, did, did you see it? Or was I dreaming? Yeah? Okay. Whew, I'm not mad. Y yet. <laughs> I'm not mad yet. At least. So... Uh, okay. So, torture is in the corridor, which is kind of a problem, but we can just kill it. Travis Umbra, thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend! <laughs> Another big shot on the way! Thank you so much, Travis Umbra! Welcome to the big shots. I really appreciate the super, my friend. I really appreciate it, really. Ah, okay. So, after getting the spawn of an elite guard in the middle of the corridor, I think we can finally go and pull the lever. And we also got the Ballista Guard spawning. Can you come here? Okay. Uh, uh huh. Perfect. <laughs> That's how you dodge the Ballista Guard. I did it very slowly, but you, if you focus, you can actually do it uh, quite fast. It's not so difficult. You just need a little bit of focus. Oh, here we have another, another chance to get a cool book. First of all, let me... No! Radamente! <laughs> Radamente! What do you mean? No! 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 no. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 50... 50 memberships! 50 guys! 50 guys! 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 50! Guys! What do you mean? No! no. That's uh, one membership for each percentage point of the Chromo- What did you do? What did you do? No, 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 no. The big shot is gonna continue for so long. <laughs> Actually, let me reduce the volume a little bit of the big shot. <laughs> Radamante, what, what do you- No, Radamante, you're joking. <laughs> you're joking. What do you mean, 50 memberships? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> you know, for, first of all, I know what can I say. I know what can I say. This is the first thing that I can say for sure. <laughs> what do you mean, 50? 
I don't think I even have 50. I mean, technically, I, I, I do have 50 people that don't have memberships, but. Uh... Wait! Uh... <laughs> Julia! No! 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 <laughs> No, you don't have... You don't have... No. What do you... What do you mean? In total... 100 memberships! 100 memberships! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hey, what, what? What do you even say? Hey, guys. Uh, what? Guys, uh, I, I, I really don't know how to thank you. Like, you're fantastic, both Redamante and Julia. Your support is incredible, really. I hope one day we're gonna meet up because. I want to thank all of you in person, all of you that always supported the channel, and supported the channel a lot. Really, this means a lot for me. I swear, after my face reveal, I swear I want to organize a meetup or something, I promise it. Thank you so much guys. And uh, oh we got even Kinry Humane uh, for the, with the 10 euros! Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna stop donating, no, no, no. Stop donating! <laughs> Stop donating, okay guys? I didn't do anything that deserves a donation. <laughs> like, I, I was literally just walking in a room with a guard with a big stinger, okay? I didn't do anything. <laughs> ah. uh, you know what, okay. L let me let me remove my t-shirt. Ah, it's too hot here, okay? Okay. This is a uh, gameplay without a t-shirt in this moment, uh, so we're gonna play better, okay? I'm, I'm sweating a lot, so... <sighs> we just love you. <laughs> Worthy, thank you so much for the two CHF! You better win the run. Yeah! That's the problem! Now we have a, a lot of pressure! <laughs> I feel the pressure now! <laughs> I feel the pressure! And Sofia Nered, thank you so much for becoming a member! Now talk about this party, maybe maybe later if we finish the run, I promise. What can I say? Julia, Radamante, thank you so much really from the bottom of my heart. This this meant a lot for me. And it's gonna mean a lot for me in the future probably. Thank you so much guys. Now, with an even more motivated personality. Let's go and... No, wait! Uh, actually, actually, we can kill the guard. We can kill the guard and we will kill the guard. We do have Chains of Torment. We are not gonna miss on the arm, okay? We are not gonna miss! One, two, three, four, five, boom! Yes! Okay, now we need to recover our mind. We recover our mind by guarding and then escaping. We don't care about Stinger Thrust because we have the possibility of recovering it. Okay, now we escape. We didn't escape, Stinger is pulsating. We try to escape again. Perfect. Recover mind. It's time to kill the guard. It is time to kill the guard. I'm gonna use a pipe. Do I have a tuba? Oh, oh, it's not enough. No, I wasn't able to... Uh, whatever. Let's escape on the first turn. Nah. Let's guard. <laughs> the point is, if I kill this guard, we are gonna get... Oh, whatever. Whatever, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna recover HP with the Ring of Wraiths. So it's not a problem. The big shots are gonna continue still for a while because of the fantastic support of my chat. But uh, that's fantastic. Felix, thanks so much for the $5. You're so close to 40k. Yeah, that's true. We are at... Uh, 38k and 100 if I remember correctly. I watched it before uh, starting the stream if I remember correctly. So yeah, we can do it guys! And then after that there's gonna be 50k and after that 100k with the face reveal. Thank you so much for the support Felix! So, the the main point we can do, I, I think we're gonna use a bottle of whiskey. Bottle of whiskey should be, should give us the most advantage here. Perfect, let's go back into the battle. We can directly go for the torso now. We don't need to care anymore about the possibility of uh, taking too much damage from the cleaver arm. One, two, three, four, five, boom! There it is. 
You should die. Perfect! Perfect! We killed our first opponent and we got a Smokey. Eh, it's not bad. It's not bad a Smokey. Bradley Kuzokari! Thank you so much for the 14 CA dollars! <laughs> Guys! Guys! You need to seriously stop donating, okay? This is the last time I say it. Stop donating before I do something important like killing the crow molar, please, please, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I don't deserve it in this moment, from the bottom of my heart, I love you, but I don't deserve it. But what can I say? Thank you so much, Bradley, I really appreciate it, my friend, thank you so much, I want to see by the way. Alright, <laughs> no more donate, <laughs> exactly. Exactly! In this moment I don't deserve it, I'm not doing anything! I'm literally just preparing for the challenge or something. So for example, for example, we we we, we didn't have a, we don't have any, any empty scrolls. That's already a bad thing. The challenge may be completely broken. Completely. Also, um uh, we we can do something that is actually gonna make the crumbler spawn. You know what it is? We're gonna use our pipe to smoke a little bit. That's our current plan. We smoke some tobacco. And we're gonna do it. Oh, the big shot! The big shot's finished. Really? Huh? Silence. Na na eh. <laughs> na 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 na. <laughs> the big shots are too many to stop. <laughs> be a big, be a big, be a good shot. <laughs> no, I don't want more. I don't want more. I don't want more. No, 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 no. This is fine like this. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay, we got a, we got a soul stone. Soul stone is very good for later to get the the souls from the bosses. <sighs> now, uh, the plan is, uh, if I use some ales on me, we are able to immediately open the door that is gonna lead us to the to the staircase. And by opening it, we are gonna be able to fight the crow molder immediately without having to go through the the, the mines uh, without anything. And I want to do it. Uh, because I think this kind of uh, unconsiderate play is required after this amount of donations. Kevomolar has spawned. Kevomolar has spawned. We can go back and fight our last potential opponent of the, of the run. Okay, guys? We're gonna go back and fight the Kevomolar. Are you ready? We're gonna go back and fight our most important battle. Ah! We have to dodge this! Ah! Please! Uh, yes! Okay, no, the cave gnome, the cave gnome, okay. Whew. The cave gnome may be a considerable danger in the worst case scenario. Considerable danger. <gasps> Funky monkey, thank you so much for the $20, guys! <laughs> guys! <laughs> Why don't you do what I say? Stop donating! <laughs> much love, Frapul. Thank you for all the fear and hunger content. I, I thank you so much, Funky monkey, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, if if now I lose uh, to the crow molar, I'm gonna feel very bad. Though. You have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so bad now if I lose to the crow molar. <laughs> funky monkey, funky monkey. <laughs> okay, funky monkey. I swear, if I lose to the crow molar now, I'm gonna find a way to find you and give you back the twenty dollars. Okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, let's go to fight the Chrome Molder immediately. No, 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 no. It's a 50-50. It's a 50-50, okay? It's a 50-50. <laughs> if, if I... If I... No, 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 Okay? So, I, I promise you, I promise you. If I, if I... I'm gonna find you, Funky Monkey. I am gonna find you. I promise. You you can be assured. I swear on my name on Frapolo94. I am gonna find you. Okay? <laughs> Sharunas! <laughs> Why don't you guys listen? <laughs> Why don't you guys listen? <laughs> Thank you for becoming a member, Sharonas! And keep major than Ragnavaldor, that's actually true. But uh, you shouldn't become a member! <laughs> and Nick Cats for the $2! Got it, no more donation. Exactly, but I, you, you donated to say that. And Scuffy Fly for the 6 euros! You got this? We will see if I got this! We will see if I got this, because... Uh, <laughs> There are a lot of uh, scenarios in my mind in which we instantly lose against the Crow Molar. I'm not even gonna have more stuff to... No, 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 no. Let's just... Okay. Now we wait. Now we wait. I I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait here. I'm not gonna move a single inch. I am not gonna move a single inch. We wait for the Crow Molar, okay? We wait for the Crow Molar. Okay. Deal. The Crow Molar is gonna come 
and we are gonna either kill it immediately or die as a hero. Okay? Perfect. So, now we're just gonna chill a little bit. Just chilling, just chilling, guys. Are you ready to see me dying miserably against the Carol Molar and losing everything we did up to, up to now? Are you ready? Because it's a 50 50. It's like the Necronomicon for those that wanted me to use it. This is literally a Necronomicon in this moment. And the Yoloson, thank you so much for becoming a member! <laughs> Be a big shot. Stop! Zionis, thank you for the five dollars! Now this is the content I paid for! <laughs> what do you mean this is the content I paid for? <laughs> Just me ranting about... <laughs> not wanting donations when I don't do anything to deserve that. <laughs> and can you main for the 10 euros? I also wanna get into the, on the Carol Molar bet. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, agreed, the Kinryu. You are in. You are in. <laughs> okay, Funky Monkey and Kinryu. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We're gonna wait for the Carol Molar. We're gonna wait for the Carol Molar here. And we will see. Okay? I love watching an Italian man cry in the afternoon. I'm not crying right now. I'm I'm tormented. In this moment, I am, to I am the tormented one, remember? In this moment, I am the tormented one. Why don't you just mute it? No, they... Bro. They donated 50 memberships. I think they deserve the music. What do you mean? I think they deserve the music. There it is! Uh, there it is! Uh, there it is! Uh. Yes, thank you for the 129 CZK, my friend. My mother is watching. Can you please send greetings to Hedvika uh, Zielingzukova? Hello. Hello there, Hedvika Zielingzukova. Hope you're enjoying this. Wait, why are you showing your mother this? Is she liking it? Oh, nice! Uh, let her play Fear and Hunger as well. <laughs> Thank you so much! And now, let's go to kill the Crow Molar! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> okay, Crow Molar, 50 50, 50 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50! 50! 50! 50! 50! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, this may be the run. This may be the run. Let's take our first prize. Also, let me go to the boss list. We need to... Oh, oh, oh. Let me, let me remove all the lines. I need to stay only with one single line. Okay, this is the boss list to keep track of everything that happens. This is the boss list to keep track of everything that happens, for those that don't know. And we have to kill all the bosses present, or just get the souls, of all the bosses present on this list. There it is! Carol Molar is dead! Okay? Perfect, let me go back to the to the chat real quick, because I, I, I'm not able to see the chat while I do it. Okay, here I am. Oh! <laughs> Akihiko! <laughs> no, no, okay, guys, guys. Stream is over. I hope you like the stream. See you next time, okay? <laughs> stop! 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 <laughs> uh, uh, <Akiko. laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> uh, yes. Yeah, so, um, as I was saying, yeah, this is the the the, the fear and anger uh, chains of torment run. But the chat is tormenting me more than the run itself. <laughs> Akiko, <laughs> get no scope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the fifty dollars. Uh, wait, uh, we also have a, a scuffy fly with the two euros and uh, 
Matthias Bianchero with the 20 euros. This is the run. We will see. We will see. Anyone's game. Anyone's game. From this moment, the run is very winnable. We just need to not make mistakes. We, we are going to make mistakes regardless, but uh, uh, we don't talk about that. Also, we need some empty scrolls, but the run is winnable. And Zionis, thank you for the 5 euros. 5 dollars, sorry. Of course, Rapolo is going to take the money run right after getting so many donations. <laughs> Imagine! I just end the stream I, and, I, and I don't do anything. Imagine! No, 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 no. I swear, today, even if it requires me to stay up un until 4 a.m., we are gonna finish this challenge. I said it, clip it, I don't care. I said it. Today, we will finish the challenge. After all of this, I will not turn my back on you. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys, really. Akihiko, I love you. <laughs> okay, guys, clip it. I guarantee you, even if I have to stay up until 4 a.m. Or even 5 a.m. On that, on that sense. I am gonna complete the challenge. We are gonna complete the challenge. Perfect. Let's go. So, the first of our targets is defeated. The next step is to go immediately to Mahabre. Or, we could kill Isaiah, because if we kill Isaiah, we get access to... How is it called? We get access to... Hey, I saw another fee, another blue thing. Oh, Luffy, thank you so much for the 50... Uh, what, what is that? Uh, I don't know what is that currency, but uh, thank you so much for the support, Luffy! More donations. Stop donating! <laughs> and Alvaro Alonso, thank you so much for becoming a member! <laughs> <laughs> today, okay, today the whole chat is gonna become green if you continue like this. <laughs> Imagine, all the chat is gonna be like a garden in this moment. Everything green, there are not gonna be any more green names or something. No, 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 no more green. Everything big shots. Thank you so much, really, for the support to Alvaro Alonso and to, to Vilofi. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. <sighs> okay. So, the, the plan now. It's very simple. Oh, I should use. I have to use a torch to go down there. I mean, yeah, I can use a torch because if I go here, I'm able to. I'm able to take some wine vials. And uh, Federica Tocci, thank you for the five euros. Uh, we'll never be able to play the game again without hearing big shot, big shot, big shot. This is the greatest channel ever. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Federica Tocci. Also, if you watched uh, my my guides, you will have the big shot theme very impressed into your brain forever. Thank you so much for the support, and even to Pipa Blue and to Kiryu Main for becoming members! Thank you so much, guys! Now you have the Crow Molar and you are real big shots! Thank you so much for the support! Okay, now, before we get an Ictus, or before uh, we get another crazy donation up- Oh no! Okay, no, Flipside Basement is- Flipside Basement is good, there is more loot. There is more loot in the flip Flipside Basement. I need to empty some bottle of water, though. Okay, one water vial was emptied, so we can get one here. Boof, boof. Uh, do I get another one? Yeah, I do get another one. Uh huh, another one. Uh, uh, barrel is empty. Perfect. Barrel is empty. Let's quickly go before the, the Black Witch attacks us. There are gonna be three steps. Okay, one. Ta 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 ta. The, the second one. Second one. Second one. Torch. Uh, ale. Goodbye. <sighs> okay. Already we got some good wine vials. That's perfect. Scuffy Fly, thank you for the five euros. Should I become a member? Uh, no, you shouldn't. But if you want, I appreciate. But in this moment, no. Do it when I win the challenge, okay? Deal. AXP, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the big shots, my friend. <laughs> and now you have the crow molar. And you can use the emojis, such as the fantastic spamton image they are spamming in the chat in this moment. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go to the other wine bar- Do we even have- yeah, we have three glass vials. Let's go to the other wine barrels! No, I don't- no. I, I don't want to use a Chains of Torment for that stupid idiot. No, no. <laughs> Do I really- can, can, can you come over here? All the way over here, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 over here, over here. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, yeah. Now go up, go up, go up. Oh, we'll go there. Okay, perfect. Let's take more wine vials. One, two, three. Uh, 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 uh. yeah. Old wine va wait. Uh, huh? How did I? W whatever. That one was already empty, I guess. Okay, let's go back from the other zone. I didn't want to go all the way around. Look at the spamtos in the chat. <laughs> 
I love seeing the spam tones in the chat. That's a real uh, a real good spamming moment. Okay, we got all the... Oh, wait, no, we finished the, the glass vials. That's what happened. It's not that we finished the, the, the wine spots. We finished the glass vials. That's what happened. The cat! Thank you so much for gifting the five memberships! Okay. We got enough big shots now. There is no need to add more. There are enough big shots in the chat, really. There are so many spam tone images. We're gonna be fine for the rest of our existence. Thank you so much, the cat. But now... Okay, now let's stop for a second. Let's go to focus. Let's go to... We, we need to focus in order to complete this run. Remember, guys, this is not gonna be a joke. We are full of stuff to do and so little time. So here, there is still our dear friend, the Elite Guard, in the middle of a very important passage. Theoretically... Theoretically... Can I bird trap this one? I don't remember if I can bird trap this one. No, I cannot use the bird trap. I'm gonna damage the enemy. I can. I, I, it's another uh, not written rule that I can, that I can't use the bird traps. It's another non written rule because it damages the opponent. So technically, it's uh, like it's not a damage, but you know what I mean. So let's go very flawlessly to the end. Now the purpose is to reach Mahabre, harmless, in order to be able to you know kill a lot of stuff, get a lot of uh, items, and potentially win the game. Hmm... Should I need... Should I fight... I oh, I need to fight Isaiah before going, because I need the treasure chest for more I for more coins. Hmm... I mean, I don't really need it. Uh, you know, let's go out. Let's go ahead with uh, 80 mind, so we are able to cast one Chains of Torment. For now, we don't need the Isaiah maps, actually. Like... Uh, the, the arrow? The arrow is here? Uh, okay. <laughs> How are you coping that Delta Room Chapter 3 is still not done? Copy. De Delta Room chapter, chapter 3 is not done, exactly. I'm not coping, what do you mean? <laughs> What's your favorite color? My favorite color is uh, black, I think. And if you want to say. My black is not a color. I don't care! That is my favorite thing that I can draw with, okay? I don't draw like in the in the real sense of the word, but uh, I mean, if I could, uh, I would love to use the black a lot. Legend Gaming Bros, thank you so much for becoming a member. <laughs> we are never gonna finish the members, right? <laughs> never. <laughs> thank you so much for the support, my friend. Okay, let's uh, reach the cave dweller village from here. It seems the safest road. Then we are gonna go back using the other the the other part from the prisons. So, yeah. It's a way to optimize everything. Also, in this way, we're able to see uh, the, the lizard man should should have spawned. It's just gonna be a, a confirmation of the obvious. Let's see. Did the lizard man of all the possible? No, you know. We for now, we don't, we don't need to see if the lizard man spawned. Actually, we don't need to see that. And wait, uh, I saw it. Uh, the cat thanks so much for the 55 try, my friend. You are literally the best friend hunger YouTuber. Keep making content. Uh, aw, thanks, the cat. Uh, like, uh, I appreciate to hear that because uh, a lot of times, uh, um, uh, like, uh, oh, oh. Uh, Wait, because if we do the other option, there is the possibility that the game soft locks. Like, uh, sometimes I watch, uh, I love to watch other content creators, uh, and they're actually not quite bad. So, uh, knowing from you that, uh, for knowing from everyone, that you consider me the best one really makes me very happy. So, thanks, guys. Uh, in this confirmation, that is a dead end. We need to go on the other on the other part uh, in order to see something. Legend Gaming, thank you so much for donating one membership to the chat, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> but please. Okay, we have enough donations to the chat. There is no need to continue. Let's not be greedy. Let's not be greedy, guys. You can actually stop. There is no need to continue. Really, I appreciate your effort, but... Uh, you can calm down. You can rest for a second, okay? But thank you so much. Alright. So... Also, this time, I, I usually skip some lucky co one precise lucky coin in Mahabra, I don't know why. This time we are gonna use it, we want all the luck possible to get empty scrolls and that kind of stuff. Now, remember, if you go from here, you're able to actually completely skip the yellow mage cutting off a limb at the cost of losing, uh, of uh, getting... No! No! Guys... Guys, you know what this is, right? Do, do you know what this is? Do, do you know what this is? This is called... Screen Freeze.
Hmm. Okay, listen. We don't have a way to fix it uh, now. Wait, I'm thinking uh, maybe I do have a way to fix it now. Let me think. Uh, okay, wait. Uh, wait. Uh. Okay, we are in the main menu. Okay, we are in the main menu. Now, I need to do a particular trick if I want to save this situation. I don't know if it's gonna work, but there is a way to save this situation. Wait, let me let me see if I'm able to fix it. Give me give me one second, guys. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, how do I do it? I should be around here. I think no. There is no way to save it. I don't even have a book. I cannot save in this mode. I don't have book of enlightenments. No. We we have to re. No wait. I do have a. Pl Technically, if I do this, it's gonna work. Okay, I have a plan. Let me see if I'm able to create the the, the option. Uh, change, uh, control of switch, uh, input number, change weapon, uh, change level, change parameter. G give me one second, guys. Okay, give me one second. Give me one second. Ha! Huh. You think you outsmarted me, game. You think you outsmarted me. Hmm. Uh, open and save screen. There it is. Now, theoretically, theoretically, let me see if it works. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Yeah, in this moment, I am an hacker, man. Okay, close the menu. Okay, we're in the down right corner of the map. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we went down the stairs. We went down the stairs. One, one, two, three, four. Poof, poof. Uh, where am I? Five, uh, five, five, I was able to travel five tiles. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, uh? the Sorry guys, I'm trying to fix it. Uh, give me, give me one second, okay? I'm trying to fix it. Uh. There is a way to fix it. I'm pretty sure there is a way to fix it. Uh... Okay, I should be over the... Oh, wait, I think I know where I am. I am down here. Okay, if I am down here... If I am down here... No. I'm not down there. Uh, gi give me one second. Uh, I'm trying to work, okay? One second. Uh, okay, we still can open the menu. Uh, no. Mmm. No, wait, I, I think I know. There, there is one thing I could do. Uh, but it's kind of difficult to perform right now. Uh, is there a way to... Uh, th 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 there is a way, wait. There is a way! I have an idea! I have an idea! I have an idea! Uh, okay. I have an idea. This should... Like, uh, this is a pretty ch uh, a cheap thing to do. But, uh, you know, I'm literally fighting against freaking screen freeze. There is one thing I can do. Common event, Book of Enlightenment. I am gonna add it to the torch. Boom. So after I use a torch... Uh, okay. Let me save... Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be retroactive. Let's go to the up left. No, it's not retroactive. Wait, maybe. Uh huh. <gasps> I saved! I saved! I saved! I saved! Okay, let's reset. Let's reset. Let's reset. Okay.
Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, let me see. There it is! There it is! There it is! <laughs> I saved! <laughs> you stupid idiot! Okay. Okay, guys. Um, now, let's go for a second into the game files together. We are gonna prevent the glitch from happening altogether. Because I don't want the run to end because of a glitch, okay? I don't want the run to end because of a glitch. So let's go for a second in the uh, screen. Where is the screen? Screen, 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 screen. Screen. Uh, oh, the screen is it's behind the game. Uh, wh where is the game? Uh huh. Let me give me give me one second. Okay, this should be the, the screen. Okay, this is the screen. This is fear and hunger. Let's go for a second on G uh, J S. And then we go on, uh, I don't remember where do I have to go, RPG Core, I think, let me see, let's go on Notepad, I think it's this one, no, it's not this one, wait, no, 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 uh, maybe it's JS copies, no, it's not, uh, it's JS, it's JS, we have to go on RPG Cores to fix it, I have to remember to do this every time before starting the stream, uh, let's go to line 1872, there it is, Oh, sorry, we have to control G. 1872. There it is. If this skip count uh, minor equals zero. Save. We fixed the screen freeze forever. And wait, I, I saw a donation sound. Let me see. Oh, Yolozon, thank you so much for the 7 SGD, my friend. We did cook. Thank you so much, Yolozon. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. Do you need the RPG Maker MV to fix this? We, you don't. You don't need to use RPG Maker MV to fix this. Akiko, thanks so much for the ten dollars, my friend. Hacker voice. I'm inside. <laughs> Thank you so much, Akiko. I really appreciate it. I was inside, indeed. So <laughs> now, uh, of course, this save file will not be used to restart from here. If uh, I die, I still have to restart, okay? Now the game... Uh, wait, actually, you know, let's... Let's uh, re restart the game com completely, just to be sure that it works uh, with uh, the, the new changes we just made, okay? That's what we do. Let's just restart with all the new changes that we just made. Also, let me remove the event that I just placed to save. There it is. Okay, I removed it. Now, we can go back into the game, and hopefully, potentially, everything is gonna work perfectly fine. Okay, let's go. Ah, okay. Remember, this is not a save file that we can reuse. This is not a save file that we can reuse. Also, we still have 81 body, which means we can still cast one Chains of Torment in the worst case scenario. Hopefully, we will not need it. Ah, the Torment Lightened One. <laughs> Ah, this was one of the most stressful moments of the stream, honestly, up to now. Thorn the Ring, it's terrible! Now we mustn't do Optimize anymore. If we do Optimize, we lose the run. Like, uh, literally, if I do Optimize, I'm gonna immediately say, Congratulations, guys, we just lost the freaking run! I'm glad to catch uh, one of these live, love to, to see you in Connor's video playing Fear and Anger LOL. Oh, thanks, uh, Kai, Kai Harada. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Okay, we got one lucky coin. That's not too bad. Once we arrive to the library in Mahabre, we're gonna make usage of all of those. Is the vendor selling something important? If she was selling opium, I could have uh, maybe bought it, but the rest here, bottle of whiskey, 10 coins, it's very bad. Look, Andrea, thank, so thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend. Most epic moment I've wasted in Frap Stream. <laughs> yeah, one time we did one of these moments, but I already had one Book of Enlightenment. This time, we also were able to fabricate one, one book of enlightenment on the spot. So yeah, this is the craziest moment we had on the on the stream so far. Thank you so much for becoming a member, by the way. I really appreciate it. So, the record the record of viewers, you mean? The record of viewers is uh, 11,000. 11,000. So, the miss on Skin Granny is Insta loss. Uh, depends. Depends. If we get Alchemilla Volume 3, it's not gonna be an Insta loss anymore. Otherwise, it is gonna be an insta-loss. But if we get Alchemilla Volume 3, no. 
because with Alchemilla Volume 3, we can get a Brown Vial. Brown Vial? Anthony Hart, thank you for the two pounds for Pure the Goat. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Anthony. <laughs> thank you so much. The point is, if we reach... Uh, if we get Alchemilla Volume 3, Brown Vial will allow us to get one... Potentially two. Brown Vials. I got Plate Armor. Oh, that's true. Plate Mail, yeah. That's true. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, the Thorn Ring. The point is, Brown Vial will give us an extra turn for the battle, because we can... Because we can't... Uh, <clears throat> uh, nothing to see there. Nothing to see. We, we can't... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we can no not not opium for this not opium not copium copium restores a lot of uh, mind eighty my uh, like almost all the mind so okay literally just intentionally running to that ghost intentionally no it wasn't intentionally I can I can guarantee you it wasn't intentionally there is no lizard man oh that's very bad we don't have a hard leather armor that is very bad hmm. Okay, at least we have the spawn of the cavern here, so we don't have to deal with Moonless. We don't have to waste more Chains of Torment. Did you also used to collect Gormiti? I did! I loved Gormiti when I was younger. I loved Gormiti as hell. I don't know if you guys know what is Gormiti. Basically, it was the... the toys you were playing as a kid, usually. Like, if you were a kid and you played with toys, you had Gormiti. Literally. So... Now, there is one uh, torture here that is problematic. Wait, uh, is torture still here? Torture. Yoo-hoo! Torture. Uh. Oh, the elite guard. I didn't see the elite guard for one second. <laughs> I, I said, where, where, where is the elite guard, bro? Where, bro, where is the elite guard? Whatever, okay. Now, we could go and cook all the meat we have, actually, before proceeding. We could go and cook the meat. The moldy bread is useless. We cannot make the infinite uh, mind and hell and the hunger loop regardless because uh, we we can't use skills. I mean, I could enable. Once I get the pinecone pig, I could enable the possibility of getting infinite mind and food because technically, with the pinecone pig, I'm gonna be able to get them regardless. We're gonna discuss this once we arrive in that moment, okay? We're gonna discuss it in that moment. So, it's just a quality of life things, you know, but uh, anyways. So, Isaiah, 99 mind, boom! Are you ready to get tormented? Bam, 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 bam! Mm, no! And, um, um, guys, I, I, I think we lost. I, I, I think we lost. No, please. Technically, we are still alive, but without arms. Uh, no, wait, not even that, because uh, Blue Vial heals only 20 HP. I could have used a Red Vial to blind, even though I think about it, but I did No, it was it was not gonna work, because uh, he still had one turn to kill me, and we still lost one arm. We would have still lost one arm. No, no, no. It wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. Oh! 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 Should we continue? Uh, should we continue? We lost the shield arm. Mm. I don't even know if we should, if we should continue, honestly. Zionis, uh, thank you for the five dollars! Wait, I didn't see it! I must protect from Chains of Torment. No, it doesn't! <laughs> it doesn't! <laughs> it doesn't! Nah, it doesn't protect from, uh, from Chains of Torment. But, uh, mm. 
I don't even know if we should continue. Hmm. Let me... You know what? Let's play, guys. I'm gonna make you decide. Continue... Or reset. Continue... Reset. Remember, without the shield, we have less defense. And I know you may say, oh, who cares? No. It's very important to have all the resistance we, we can in this run. Zero Awakening, thank you for the five dollars! Now is your chance to be a big shot. Yeah, but the big shot is missing one important arm in this moment. Never back down, never give up. Hmm. Hmm. No, 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 I will not load the save. No, 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 I told you. It's not a save that we can load. It was just there because we got a glitch. That is not a save currently. That is just a thing that exists. We cannot use it. I, when I say reset, I mean hard reset from the beginning. Hmm. 75% of the chat is saying continue. Hmm. I named you Ragda uh, Brandon, the chat decided for Ragnadeddy. Hmm. Are you really asking after the head chains of torment grow molder? Yes, that's just a 50-50. That's just a 50-50. It's not uh, like an 80-20 uh, uh, or something. Uh, you know what? Okay, chat. Uh, okay, chat. You want to go with this? No, I'm not Australian. I'm it Italian, my friend. You want to continue this uh, decadenting... Uh, decadenting... De decadenting? Do you say de decadenting? Run in decadence. So, okay, I'm gonna follow you, maybe I'm the one that is coping, and you actually know better than me. So, let's continue. Maybe you know better than me what to do. Maybe. Maybe I need to stop thinking about the she- No, 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 Okay, stays there. Oh, he's stuck in, the, in that angle, perfect. Where, where is Chorchur, by the way? Chorchur? Chor? Chorchur? Chor uh? Chorchur? Chor chor uh... Oh! Chorchur is in the Bachman room! <laughs> okay. Chorchur is in the Bachman room, perfect. Hmm. We could kill Chorchur for 40 extra silver. Yeah, you know what? Copium. Copium all the way. Why not get Penance Armor? Very simple. I need to talk. Talk is a skill. Or I could steal. Steal is a skill. That's why Penance Armor is not obtainable. Okay, imagine missing even Tror Tour. Please! Oh, okay. Ah, at least the Tror Tour. Uh, yeah, Bachman, I, I just killed the Tror Tour in front of you. The, the, are, you gonna, are you gonna help me or, uh, or are you gonna stay there like an idiot? Alright. Why was there a pole to reset? Because I lost one arm. And uh, the arm I lost is very important because it's the shield arm, which gives me protection. Okay, if the elite guard stays in that angle, it's Jover for the, the elite guard. Okay, just pull the penance armor through the door. All oh, right, I could. How, how couldn't I think about it? How couldn't I think about just pulling the penance armor through the door? But anyways, so. Waiting for a no party member, no weapons, no armor, no girlfriend, no love, no parents, no future place. <laughs> no future! <laughs> what do you mean no future? <laughs> we only have to play in the past version of Mahabre. You know what could be interesting, but uh, unfortunately, there is one type of challenges that I would love to do, but unfortunately for how fear and hunger is... Where is Bachman? Bachman? Huh? B... B... Bachman? Uh... Did I... Did I destroy the event in some reason? In some way, shape, or, for, or form? Huh? Hello? The, l l l l l let me... I, I told to him! I told to him after uh, after I killed the torture. What do you mean? Backman should, should be already there. Uh... Backman? Did I... Did I forget to talk to him? I don't think so. I, I don't I don't think so. Bachman should be there. Uh whatever. We're gonna waste uh, some seconds by going back there. But let's do it. Also, we do have the ring of rates equipped, that's perfect. Having broken bones at this point of the run, it's kinda bad, but uh, we can't do anything about it. But I already speak I already speak uh, I, I I I don't know why. 
My my brain thought I sp I did spoke to him after I did speak to him after uh, saving him. You told to him, but I didn't tell him Torture is dead. But usually you don't need to do that. Usually you don't need to do that. I'm pretty sure. Hello. Okay. I I, I said both the options. Now you have no excuses. You have no excuses, Bachman. Okay. If you are not down there, I'm gonna get pissed. I swear. Is there a time you have to wait before he shows up there? No. Where did you read about it, Gustavo? There is no timer. He, once you defeat Torture, he should be immediately down there. Like, immediately. There is no timer. The timer is for him to make a marriage with uh, Sir Seymour. After you save him, if for like uh, 30 minutes you don't save either Jan or Sir Cyril, then they are gonna disappear, becoming a marriage. Hello? Uh, you need to talk to him in order for him to appear down here. Guys, uh, I played this game for 1000 hours! <laughs> Why is Bachman not appearing? <laughs> Why is Bachman not appearing? Uh, of course, you, you just need to talk to him once again because you forgot to talk to him. Bachman should be down there once you talk to him. You, you just need to talk to him. What about you freaking talk to him, okay? Hmm. Let me, let me try something different. Uh, no, no, don't check the wiki. The wiki is full of uh, wrong stuff. Don't check the wiki. <laughs> the wiki, especially in Bachman and Torture Quest, is full of misinformation. Don't trust the wiki. Whatever. I think I have an idea, though, because if I remember correctly, th there was a switch legated... Uh, uh, legated. Legated is Italian, whatever. There was a switch related to Torture, in uh, the, the door that leads to the blood pit. Maybe there there is gonna be something that is gonna help me. We are we are wasting a lot of torches, by the way. We are wasting a lot of torches for 40 silver coins. You know what? Let's go all the way to the end of the corridor. Then maybe we're gonna be able to see if Bachman actually appears. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna stop bothering about Bachman and we consider uh, having lost 80, uh, 40, 40 silver coins. So... Why is the wiki so full of lies? It's just because, uh, maybe it was... Uh, let, let's check if, actually. <gasps> Bachman is not here anymore! Okay, Bachman is not here anymore. Okay, maybe it was the blood pit. I forgot about that switch, but... Uh, did you see it wasn't talking to him again? Did you see, guys? Did you see, guys? No, 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 no! Oh, okay. Okay! Huh! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Goodbye, elite guard! Okay. After having passed through there like 1,000 times, uh, finally the elite guard was able to exit from the state of uh, infinite madness that he was present into. Do I have 80 mind in case... In case the Iron Shakespeare attacks me? I could also attack the Iron Shakespeare beforehand. Pocket Cat, thank you for the... Pocket Cat, thank you for the two euros! He's selling the girl a skill. If not, you should. You are right, Pocket Cat, but there is one problem. You may know better than me, since you are the Pocket Cat, that the girl does not spawn in hard mode. So we cannot sell the girl. But thank you so much for the support, Pocket Cat! <laughs> okay. You know what? I could kill the Iron Shakespeare. Yeah, I don't need to heal. Like, if I miss, it's over. If I miss, it's over. I don't need to heal. If I miss, it's over. Okay, guys? Yes! <laughs> okay, second boss defeated. Let me go on the boss list. Let me go on the boss list. Okay, control C, control B. Poof. And... No, 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 no. Uh, oops, oops. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. There it is. The Iron Shakespeare has been defeated. We didn't really need to defeat him, but the Iron Shakespeare soul technically may be usable in some fights if we really want to. Oh, wait, wait, I have to go back to the other screen. Actually, I was almost forgetting. Okay. Ah. All right, guys. The, the, the most uh, convoluted part of the challenge is over. We lost one arm. So it's still not optimal. But now we can go to Mahabur. Why is your boss list full of anime girls? I mean, what's fear and hunger about? Anime girls and stuff, no? 
No, 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 I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> So, after another flawless attempt at dodging them, I think we should go through the prisons uh, up there, you know? You should go through the, the prisons to Mahabre. It's an easier way, it's faster, we don't need to risk anything. Uh, easier, easier. Okay, guys? We don't need to risk anything. Are you ready? <laughs> mm. Thank you for the follow, Kratos. So, we only have one torch, and we are not even into Mahaber. Where is the, the Ballista guard? The Ballista? Bali ballista! Goodbye, Ballista. Ah. So, okay, we consumed all our luck. Like, all... This run is the most cursed run ever, by the way. The screen freeze, missing Isaiah, <laughs> double guard uh, sandwich. <laughs> this is the most cursed run! <laughs> Gustavo, thank you for the chupi RL! Luckiest one I've seen in a while. I mean, it's a balance of lucky and unlucky moments, honestly. And even to Zuhair, look man! Thank you for the six uh, mirror, my friend, clutch moment. <laughs> you know what's the problem? We used all our luck in that one single dodge. <laughs> we lost all our luck. We have no more luck until the end of time, sir. So, from now on, we either do everything perfectly, like, flawlessly, or it's Jover. Also, since, you're, since we're here, let me, let me, let me, also, I have to set the command remember to on. It's time to farm a little bit on the door before the Night Lurch approaches. It's time to farm a little bit on the door. Are you ready? Ci parli in italiano? Certo, amico mio. Posso parlare in italiano tutto il tempo del mondo. Ah, you're looking handsome today for Paul. Oh, thanks, sir. <laughs> I think you're mixing luck with uh, being handsome, but uh, thanks. Uh. <laughs> Akiko, no! No, Akiko! <laughs> Akiko, no! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Twenty dollars, Akiko! Thank you so much, my friend! What does the kakakachi days mean, by the way? I don't, I, I don't know that word. Is, is that a reference to something that I'm forgetting? <laughs> I, I don't know, but thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. <laughs> After this, uh, like uh, I lost all my uh, like uh, it was a it was a discharge of adrenaline all in one single moment. Can you come here? Yeah, come here, come here. Poof. 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 To not take damage. Hmm. It's a song from Dragon Ball. Oh, it's the Ultra Instinct one. Oh, wasn't it called the Battle of the Gods? Uh, the one with the tin, tan, tin, tan. Okay, there it is. The guard. It also has the if the, infle the infected flower, so it's even worse. No. Hmm. No. <laughs> okay, let, let's be real, let's be real. This run was so cursed that I deserve to lose at one point. Let, let's be real, guys. Okay. <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Yeah, it was inevitable, like, at this point. Uh, Snimek Lee, thank you so much for becoming a member! <laughs> thank you so much for the support! Let's be real, guys. We we had so many luck, lucky moments, uh, that, and, uh, okay, also so many unlucky moments. But still, give me a new name! Give me a new name, guys. 
We are literally gonna arrive to 4 a.m. We are literally gonna arrive to 4 a.m. <sighs> this run, I need to make a short or something of this run in particular. <laughs> <laughs> this was perfect. For Apollo, a sto I could call one for Apollo. Zero Awakening, thanks so much for becoming a member, my friend. Thank you for the support. Yeah, you know what? Now, since Rupert failed and even Ragnar Daddy failed, it's time for Frapolo to fight. Now it's time for Frapolo to fight. It's my chance to prove you how to play this game, really. Okay, maybe we were a little bit uh, eh, unlucky, unlucky in the previous run. <laughs> maybe we were a little bit unlucky, but uh, okay. You just wasted six hundred dollars donated from chat. No, Canaver Zuzu, it's not a waste. It's not a waste because I told you we are gonna arrive to four a.m. if necessary. <laughs> Frappy daddy. So <sighs> let's calm down for a second. It's not a difficult situation to retrieve. We just uh, need to be lucky with the 50-50 on the head of the crow molar. After that, I mean, to be honest, after everything that happened in the previous run, I deserve the next three runs or something to miss the head of the crow molar. Um, <clears throat> maybe, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say this uh, out loud, you know? <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say this out loud. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, maybe, 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 I shouldn't say this out loud, who knows. But we start with an Iron Curras, which is not bad, and... <gasps> Plate Helmet, Iron Curras, hmm, okay, Ale, uh, bro, I need to pass, Squidward, Squidward, goodbye, Squidward, goodbye. So, what is Peace Party now? You promise us to tell after the run? No, I promise to tell after I complete the run. After I win everything. <laughs> for now, I don't have to do anything. It's it's a prize for you guys, let's say. It's a prize for those that stay until the end of the run. Until the completion of the run. I'm gonna talk about it, I swear. But at first... Uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not, vi I'm not uh, bound to anything that they say, by the way. <clears throat> but first, let's finish the run. Let's finish the run, okay? Because that story is so peculiar that I wanted to keep a se to keep it as a secret for the old, uh, I mean old, to the old subscribers, so that it was something special that you know only us know, the others don't know, etc. You know what I mean? Perfect. But uh, I swear, if we complete the challenge, because uh, <laughs> I think it's finally time to complete this stupid challenge, I'm gonna talk about it. The news all your luck at the beginning leaves something for later. You are right, and I think uh, the first opponent we are gonna fight, uh, if we get the brown vial, is gonna be the skin granny. Because uh, she is another problem in which... Oh no, the elite card is not here. Uh oh. Pocket got thank you for the two euros! Something tells me this run will be the one. You jinxed it. You just jinxed it, Pocket Cat, but I love you regardless. It's unconditioned love. It doesn't matter what you do. I am always gonna love Pocket Cat. Always. Thank you so much, my friend. So. Give me arm guards or whatever. Arm guards? No, of course not. Uh, arm guards? Arm guards? Pl please. Uh, j j just. Uh, of course, nothing. We don't really need to loot the weapons. But uh, just to see how low our luck can be. We are missing everything! EVERYTHING! Okay. Since we missed all the weapon things, uh, coin flip, uh, theoretically, by going with statistic, the bookshelves should go fantastically. Right, guys? Did you study statistics uh, in university or something? Because uh, I did the previous year. So I know that in this moment, we are gonna have a very high probability of getting something interesting from the bookshelves. Are you ready for it? We got a spider shield. The spider shield is slightly better than the other one. I mean, everything is better than a literal piece of wood used as a shield. So, before checking, we are, we are gonna see where the elite guard is by going down here. Pipe, so we can actually use the copium powder we got. Uh, the, the lizardman spawn! The lizardman spawn is actually a good thing. So we have a chance to drop the hard leather armor. Why aren't you in the podcast? Oh, because I was busy. I was busy. Uh, yeah. Yesterday I was literally streaming. Yesterday I was literally streaming, so I wasn't able to participate. <laughs> and in the other days, the others were busy, so we weren't able to move the day of the podcast, so unfortunately. I love your accent. Oh, thanks, uh, Xebra Aish. Okay, it's here. There is a guard down there. 
Where is... If the Elite Guard is in this conformation, it's fantastic. And... Uh, nope. The Elite Guard is in the worst conformation possible. Near the, the, the elevator lever. That's the worst conformation possible for the Elite Guard. Not problematic, but the worst. And now, empty scroll, empty scroll, say it to me. No. Okay, guys, say it with me. Say it with me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Empty scroll, empty scroll, empty scroll, empty. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Go with me. Empty scroll, empty scroll, empty alchemy love volume two. Ah. This is starting pretty bad. This is starting pretty, pretty bad. Because you know what's the other problem? Do you want to know what's the other problem? If we don't get a way to get the Chains of Torment in here, I think the best solution is a reset. An instant reset. Like, there is no way to continue too much. There is no way to continue too much. The goal is a problem. Okay, now that he's looking the other way. Empty scroll, empty scroll, empty scroll, empty scroll, empty scroll! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We can do something. Gustavo, thank you so much for the 666... Uh, 600... 666 BRL, my friend! You know what to do with that book? Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna send it to the toilet, I guess. Thank you so much, Gustavo. I really appreciate it, my friend. Okay, we have a quill. We do have a quill. We do have a quill. Do we have a quill? We don't have a quill. Let me just try. No, I don't have a quill. Okay. Uh, the goal is arriving. Go goal. Go goal. Okay, the goal is coming back. There is another boo. Mm. Nah. Can you go down, please? Can you go down? Can you go down? Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. No, another one. Uh, whatever. Whatever. We're gonna do a longer uh, circumnavigation of the whole map in order to loot everything. Also, I should have an explosive vial, if I remember correctly. No, it was the previous run. I remembered incorrectly, actually. Perfect. With flower, flow fragment, and a stick. Give me a freaking quill. One freaking quill. Would you see more terminal challenges as well? In the future, yes. That's a cool name. Uh, where does the vault key disappear to when you kill the torturer? Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't disappear to anywhere. You just lose access to the to the um, penance armor altogether. Okay, let me take uh, studies of Grogroth. I want the the loot that was behind the other the other guard though. I want the loot. There may be a quill in there, and I don't want to proceed without a quill. I could get a quill from the vendor in the cave dweller village, but I want it now. Uh, are you gonna go? Oh no! Hey! No! 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 no. Hey. Two guards down there. We we go down there later. Later, okay? Later. <laughs> the, the 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 quill is not down there. I can guarantee to you. The quill is. Why the, today the enemies are so ag aggressive? I don't know why. Today the the enemies are so aggressive. Did you notice it? I don't know why. It seems to me that uh, it's almost impossible. Can't you empty scroll the vault key? Uh, no. C can you? I'm pretty sure you can. Hey, was this a chrome molder? Oh, Age Turner Oven! Thank you so much for the 11 try, my friend! Thank you so much for the support! Sorry, I didn't see it, sorry. <laughs> sorry, because I, I'm trying to keep attention to too many, so, so many things, but thank you so much, my friend! I really appreciate your support. Let me, let me check it. No, the, the, I'm pretty sure the, the empty scroll doesn't get you the vault key. Let me, let me check. This is my table. Okay. Uh, Christian Book, Ever the Meat, Mahaver, Gogo, Fellowship, uh, Black Dress, uh, uh, no, Pinecone, Blue Vial, Whiskey, Moldy Bread, Yellow Vial, Torchless Note, uh, Bacon and X, uh, Red Vial, Mocha Book, uh, Skinny Knife, uh, Pale Skin, uh, Chew of Keys, uh, uh, No Milk, Silver Coin, Green Vial, Tomato, Glow Mushroom, uh, Bird Trap, uh, Pale Skin, uh, Torn Page, uh, Iron Mace, Crude uh, Claymore, uh, Light of Armor, Iron Bow, Iron Spear, uh, Eclipse, Stone Crown, Lesser Soul, The Passages. Uh, no, there, there is no Vault Key. I'm pretty... Unless I'm not seeing it, there is no Vault Key. No, you cannot get the Vault Key from, from, from an anti-scroll. You cannot. So, let's go back to business. There is one place we can... We, did we take the Mocha Book? We're, we're gonna discover very soon, I guess. 
we're gonna discover very soon. Very soon, yes! The best uh, enemy for pinecon pig farming, in my opinion, is torture or the cave dwellers. Once you cut off one of their arms, the cave dwellers can't do anything. Except for uh, the spear cave dweller. Have you tried? No, Shmoa, I have a full list of all the items that you can use empty scroll on. Yeah, you can use the empty scroll to get silver coins, actually. You can do that if you are uh, an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> if you are idiot, you can do that. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can ask uh, Almir for a uh, for a silver coin if you want. <laughs> also, if you ask for a pinecon, you will get uh, two pinecons, if I remember correctly. Was it two or five? One of the two, I don't remember. But still, yeah, that's the gist of it. There is the annoying guard. Uh, I mean, goodbye, 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 my friend, goodbye. Okay. If the list is from the wiki, then it could be inaccurate. No, Shmo, it's my own list. Uh, I don't trust the wiki. I would never use a list found on the wiki. I don't trust it. I always use stuff I make. Like, uh, the chances in which I check the wiki... Oh, Quill! Perfect! Quill. We can completely skip the basement. The, 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 the caves. Okay. Ah. Oh, oh, lord. Poof. Uh-huh. Uh, to teach. Uh huh. Torment. Chains. Boom! Chains of torment is ours. And you know what? We, we can get something else. What do we need immediately? The White Angel Soul seems the most valid target. Because the only way which I can get it normally is by killing Chambara and the White Angel. So I think we start with the White Angel Soul. Later on, we're gonna keep the demo, of course, for sure. But for now, I think we go with the White Angel Soul, okay? Oh, Lord. Double turn in battle and infinite escape is perfect. Give... Uh-huh. White Angel. Poof. Poof. Okay. For now, the run is protected. Protected, not... Completed, protected. We still have to. We still have a long way to go in order for it to be completed. Can you come here, guard? Yeah, all the way. You know, I could also stop you. I have the white angel, so I have a one hundred percent chance to escape. So now the guard is gonna be very slow. I have the time to actually go here and get another empty scroll. Empty scroll, empty. Or maybe not. Hello. Um, chase of torment on the door here, and we go down. So we unlock the crow molder, I guess. Chains of Torment here, and we go down so we unlock the Crow Molder. Yeah, that seems good. Welcome for Chains! Yeah, I, di I drank water just uh, like uh, 30 seconds ago. Doesn't this, does this not contract, uh, contradict the we have to kill all soul bosses? No, Hasty! I'm gonna kill the White Angel as well, I told you. I'm gonna kill the White Angel regardless. I told you, I told you. Like, we can get the soul if we want, but we still have to kill all the bosses regardless of that. I can get the souls, but we still have to kill everyone. So, now we... Okay, we have six Copium Powder, which should be enough to go and fight the Crow Molar immediately. Hello? Uh, bro? Uh, no, I'm blocked! Okay? Okay, the guard is on the spot there. Perfect! <laughs> that was 900 IQ! That was 900 IQ! God damn it. Okay. <laughs> I'm so proud of that moment. Uh, bro? Uh, bro? The Crow Molar's here! Ha ha! You want to speed things up? I see. You want to complete? You want to speed things up? Yeah, okay. You can complete Ragnarok sending uh, if you use empty scroll to get all bosses' souls. You can, David. You can. In this challenge, is prohibited, but uh, yes, you can. And the Crow Molar is already here. Hello there! And William, thank you so much for the one dollar, my friend. Let's see if this one dollar will make us win or lose against the Crow Molar. We are as protected as we will ever be. Thank you so much, William. Let's go. Let's go! Please! Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Oh! 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 <laughs> okay, 
the, 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 the misfortune we got in that stupid cursed run of before is being repaid slowly with the Carol Molar attempts first try. Nero, thank you so much for the one pound, my friend! Thank you for the support! <sighs> okay. We, we don't have a soul stone, though. We don't have a soul stone. Hmm. And Andros Onodi, thank you for the 1000 HUF, my friend. Use this to bless the run. Okay, let me use it to bless the run immediately. Okay, the run was blessed. Now everything uh, is just gonna be coping over and over again. Thank you so much, my friend. So. Uh, now, we don't have a soul stone. And if I leave the room, the Carol Mother is gonna go into the basement. I don't want to do that. Because sometimes it may get bugged. So I prefer to actually comp to actually get the soul right now. How do we do that? There is a chest on this floor with a 50-50 chance of getting a soul stone. If we get the 50-50 chance correctly. Uh boop boop, boop boop, okay. Pocket got thank you so much for the two euros, my friend. The chromother is honestly pretty cute. Um, depends from the point of view. Depends from the point of view, but I see what you mean. Thank you so much, Pocket Cat. Yeah, 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 we're gonna do something. If we guard against the guard in the normal turn, then in the extra turn we can use Chains of Torment and immediately win. The reason we. Ooh! <laughs> okay, easy! Don't, don't miss, please. Okay. Whew, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Cell keys F3. That's it. Okay. Whew. Okay, that was very lucky, actually. That was very luck. Eh. Soul stone. Soul stone. No, we failed. We don't get the soul stone. Uh, eh, eh, eh. No, whatever. Oh, we have the white angel soul. Why am I scared? We literally have the white angel soul. Okay, the Kermolder is gonna go into the basement. Where do I find the nearest soul stone? Where do I find the nearest soul stone? Let me think. There is technically another 50-50 in the infested part of the mines. And we already have a way unlocked to the infested part of the mines, so let's go there. How much exactly is the health decreased by due to broken bones? So, uh, it's 20, but on some characters, after some screen transitions, if are not exactly screen transitions, I still need to investigate that part. But it becomes 4 HP on some characters. Not on all of them, though. Not on all of them. Okay. I just joined, bro. What are these rules? Crazy on you can pull these off. Frap. All the best. Thanks, Sayani. Welcome to see my friend. Are there multiple t multiple different version of the sensor mode? One with black bars and one with sensors, uh, with uh, pine cones. Oh, it's from different people. The one with black bars is from me. The others... Uh, I'm not gonna give them uh, advertisement. Because mine is the best one. Okay. Now, this is the door with a 50-50 chance of giving us a soul stone. There it is. Soul stone, soul stone, soul stone. Ah, oh, blue vial. That's okay. That's okay. Now, the, the only thing that is remaining, there is a guaranteed soul stone in the cave dweller village. We have to reach the village, but uh, it's kind of near. Did the Lizardman spawn? The, li the Lizardman didn't spawn, but we have the one in the blood pit, so that's fine. For Apollo destroying the competition. <laughs> I mean, I made the, my, the, my, the censorship mode with black bars. Why would I address uh, anything but that? that like, uh, that's not a bad censorship. It works, so... How many soul stones do you need uh, for the Ragnavada Ascending? If I remember correctly, five or six. Because the others, you can get them, uh, like, uh, already as souls, without needing a soul stone, you know what I mean? Also, since we have the White Angel, we may actually be able to kill the Salmon Snake. We MAY be able to kill the Salmon Snake. Do we want to kill the Salmon Snake right now, though? Like, the Salmon Snake is maybe the only reason for which we may, we may want to go back into the original dungeon after entering Mahavre, unless we have just to exit from here or to kill the remaining bosses. Hmm, we have to think about it. I really enjoyed your last video. Oh, thanks, Pocket Cat. I mean, <laughs> it's a Pocket Cat theory, so the fact that Pocket Cat enjoyed it seems pretty understandable to me, but thanks. For S ending, you should kill only one headed crow, you can kill double headed as well. You can kill double headed. Double headed is gonna give you the crow molar soul if you use a soul stone on him. But, uh, you know, why would you do that? Why? 
I mean, it could be a, a challenge that you impose yourself. I don't want to impose myself that challenge. I'm good. No worries. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good like this. No, no need to worry. No need to worry. I'm good. No, I don't need to. I don't need to prove my my strength against a double-headed curmoler. No, 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 no. Did you take drugs? Like, eh? What? Why are you saying that, Lost Paradise? That's that's not so nice. Uh, no. Why are you saying that? Whatever. What do we get here? War scythe. Ah. Uh, every time I see the war scythe, uh, you know. I feel kinda sad, because uh, I'm one of the most, of the biggest defendant of the War Scythe, because it's so cool. Even though, unfortunately, it's very situational and sometimes uh, suboptimal. Uh, poor War Scythe. You deserved better. Whatever. If you accidentally despawn the Chromoler, the double-headed can save this one. That's true, but uh, like uh, we kill the Chromoler as the first enemy, because uh, he is the biggest problem in this type of run. That's why we kill it immediately. You can leave uh, uh, co um, God of the Depths after killing Chromoler there. You can, you have to die to the Moonless Guard. There is a chance that you get the... The gentleman scene in which the Moonless Guard... Um, the Moonless Guard is gonna show you the, the length of his uh, stinger, if you know what I mean. I skip the dialogue so fast, you have to hold W while uh, you go through the dialogue. If you hold W... The dialogue is gonna go fast, and the reason I'm doing it, it's because I need to save all the time possible. Every single second is important, either for mind, for hunger, for everything. The, the timing is important, very important. How do I found Chromoler in Mahabre? Chromoler does not spawn in Mahabre. Completely no. And we don't have... Uh oh We don't have Red Vial though, uh oh I mean, we have Chase of Torment. We can go... No, we don't even need the chainsaw. We don't need to do the Chromoler skip, actually. The Chromoler is dead. <laughs> the Chromoler is completely dead. We don't need to do the, the Chromoler skip. We are fine. We are fine. Are you still in the New Gods podcast? Yeah, I am, Romeo. In this one, in this episode, in this episode, I wasn't present because I had stuff to do, and the others weren't able to change the the the, the day of the of the of the podcast. Uh, hey, uh, bro. Uh, uh, whatever. We have the White Angel Soul. Goodbye. <laughs> he just decided, I'm gonna stay here until he passes through. <laughs> Whatever. So, the lucky coin in the thicket is infinite if you don't take the lucky coin in uh, the uh, in the cave dweller village, in the first hut, if you know what I mean. Time does not stop when searching stuff and talking, exactly, Kami. When you're in the menu, yes. When you read, uh, when you talk, eh? The time does not stop. Why the arms of the stone guardians are connected? No, it's just a random bug. They are not connected. Like, there are a lot of things in the lore that imply they are different. If you think about it carefully. Okay, we have 40 in mind. Let me think. What is the next step? Thank you for the follow, Gonzas. We may go through the thicket. We are able to escape from the majority of battles. Yeah, let's go through the thicket. Let's actually go through the thicket. So we unlock another way down there. And do we have an explosive vial, actually? Explosive vial? We don't have an explosive vial! Uh, that's kind of sad. Whatever, whatever. We can go to the thicket later in case we need soul stones. The dogs are not a problem. The dogs are not a problem because uh, we, we have uh, 20 agility. So we can escape for sure from them. But apart from that, we don't have an explosive vial. So let's just continue. That is an impressive drinking noise. Oh, thanks, uh, Sodas. Sodasa. Thanks so much. Here we are. Uh, do we have the Cube of the Depths? Oh, yeah, we do. Is there something else we need from here, or can we just go? I mean, the Salmon Snake is necessary to defeat the Skin Granny. The Salmon Snake is necessary, but for now we don't have the Gaunt Armor, which is kind of required. Yeah. And Isaiah is not even dead. Hmm... Maybe before going, uh, we could do some other stuff. Let me think. Hmm. Hmm. I have 55 silver coins. No, you know, I think it's better if I go to the Grand Library and I immediately see all the empty scrolls I'm gonna have access to for the rest of the playthrough. I think that's better. Do you agree with me? Even if you don't, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Poof. 
So, we don't actually need to trigger the Bloody Man in the other part of the room. We can go through here, we don't care about the Body Snatcher, we have the White Angel Soul, so we're fine. The Soul of the White Angel is not, like, escape plan. If you use the Battle Menu Escape, which is not the skill escape, the Battle Menu Escape, you have a 100% chance to escape from uh, almost all the, uh, no, all the enemies in Fear Number 1. Because uh, the way to if you if if all the members in your party have twenty agility, by the way, not only the main character. If all the members of your party have twenty agility, because the way it works is uh, it's like uh, if you have double the agility of the opponent, the chances of escaping are one hundred percent. Long story short, if you have uh, the same agility, it's fifty percent. Do you understand what I mean? If you double your agility, it's one hundred percent. That's the gist of it. Now, mm, I think we can skip lighting everything. We don't have the the maps yet. I mean, not that we really need the maps, except maybe for the second map, which gives access to more silver coins. Can you tell more, us more about your first Fear and Hunger one uh, run? Oh, actually, there is a full video of it. It's called Fear and Hunger Made Me Afraid of Exploring. It's a full video in which I talk about my blind run experience, Skull of the Wizard. Greater Blood Magic, nah. I talk about my blind run experience. I have a full blind run, uh, um, bl blind run series of Fear and Hunger on my channel, actually. It's not so known because I did it, like, uh, very early on. Like, very early on. And, like, uh, I remember I compared uh, Fear and Hunger to the Subnautica of RPGs. It was, it is one of the greatest quotes that I've ever done. Like, I'm proud of that quote. Because uh, I still agree with it, like, uh, after all this time, it's still a very seasoned quote, you know. Like, uh, I still think Fear and Hunger is the subnautic of the RPGs. For the sole reason that uh, the, the way Subnautica works is uh, it's gonna do everything to make you not understand what is happening sometimes uh, and prevent you from wanting to explore. <gasps> <laughs> okay, 50 silver coins that we don't have to use for the Sorcerer Stone. That's good. We just unlocked Infinite Mind. Infinite in front of the vendor that was able to sell us Infinite Mind. We unlocked Infinite Mind. Do you see how perfect that is? Do you see the perfection? Let me buy all the of body for now. Later we're gonna think about what to do with them. Sorcerer Stone. Each turn in battle, you regen 10 mind. Wait, is, the, is it Black Souls art style Carter watching from a live chat window? Yeah, it is. It's Alice. It's Alice in that in the, in the, the art from Black Souls. You guys should play Black Souls. It's a very cool game. It's an H game, but you can turn off the H scenes. But I, I really suggest you, especially if you enjoy the genre, it's fantastic. You stole directly from the store stock. <laughs> I mean, technically that's, that, that chest is in his store, so maybe yeah, maybe yeah. Okay, the plan is very simple. We're gonna loot everything we can from a hubber. Then we go back and kill the Salmon Snake uh, and other people that we may need. <gasps> purple Vial! Ah, we can't use the Purple Vial. Ah, that's kind of sad. Is, is Nashra killable? I've never actually tried. No, Nashra is... What did we get? Skull of Berserk. Nashra is not killable because... The, per the reason it's not killable, even though he has 9,000 HP, if I remember correctly, he has a special uh, resistance to death. Death is what all enemies get when their HP go to zero. I mean, not all enemies in this game, especially death is handled in a very particular way. But let's say, in a traditional, in a traditional RPG Maker game, death would be what makes you die. What makes you die? And the fact that Najra has resistance to death means he cannot die whatsoever. Passages of Mahabre, eh? More loot, more loot, more loot. I still need an explosive vial. Also, let's go to Valtail. Let's go to Valtail. Uh, hands on the back. Uh, meditation. Uh, Giga Chat. Uh, hands on the side. Perfect. All right, Morning Star. And hello, Valtail. Goodbye, Valtail. Okay. <sighs> now, 
death is what makes you die. Yeah, I know it's a weird concept. But the majority of the enemies dies, in this game at least, in a very particular way. The torso of the majority of the opponents is immortal. It becomes killable after you deal a certain amount of damage to it. It's a very weird thing to discuss. I hope you're understanding what I mean. Like, uh, let me explain. The majority of the torsos are immortal, okay? Once you deal a certain percentage of their health, the game is gonna remove the immortality and then it's gonna deal all the remaining health as damage to kill them. That's uh, how it happens. Do you understand what I mean? Perfect. Where do you find a clue to open the vault hill door? Oh, in the present. In this place, in the present, it's full of the mannequins in the positions you need to use. It's full of the mannequins in the, posi in the correct positions. Now, how many rounds of fear and hunger have you done? Eh, it depends. I think more than... Uh, two... No, 105. Mm, 120, I would say. More than 120. I'm not sure exactly how many. But, like, it also, it also depends if you mean full run, if you mean which run, like, uh, I did a lot of different, uh, a lot of alchemillas we are getting. Please, I need uh, another empty scroll to get freaking Pinko Pig. It depends also from the length of the run, like, uh, there are so, so some uh, runs that are so low. <gasps> Alchemilla 3 is good. There are some runs that are so, uh, short that I don't even consider them, honestly. Like, there are some runs that last one second. Look at uh, Kahara as ending, for example. Kahara as ending, at, at worst, uh, is gonna be one hour, at worst. How do you get in Fiam and Hunger? How, you mean, uh, how did I, like, uh, me, personally? Oh, um, I, 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 I was search- um, I was playing lo a game called the Lona RPG, and I was searching for games similar to it, I found Fear and Hunger. That's the gist of it. Also, don't play Lona RPG unless uh, you have a strong stomach. Stomach. Don't play it unless you have a strong stomach, okay? So. Now, that is the variable in the code that triggers the spawn the defeat of our enemies, uh, and if it turns on, the, for the player it triggers game over. If the creator altered how this works for Najra's no death. Uh, what? Sorry? If the creator altered how this works for Najra's no death. What do you mean, how this works? No, 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 no! The majority of the enemies have this, uh, this particular thing that I say that they are immortal. Najra is one of those that, is, that doesn't have this... Uh, particular immortality, but has resistance to death, which creates immortality. I know it's a, it's a, co it's a complex to explain it, because I don't want to go too much into the technical discussion, because if I go too much, uh, I think we are gonna lose the, lose the point of the discussion itself, you know? Like, uh, I could explain you clearly everything, but I would require more time. In this moment, uh, I don't have time because, uh, you know, I, I want to complete the run. Do you understand what I mean? Perfect. You know, in the worst case scenario, I think we may need to kill uh, the Gaunt Knight for a guaranteed empty scroll. In the worst case scenario, though, because I think we will need the Pinecomb Pig. Need. We need the healing items, uh, we need more silver coins, uh, we need a lot of stuff. Are we missing something? Can I go back? There is the Temple of Torment with some soul stones, but nothing else, really. There are some crates to loot, maybe. Do we have the White Angel Soul Equipped? Yeah. Hmm, have you ever played Ao Oni? I did, Gustavo, I played all of it. All of it. Hmm. I wonder what happens if you mod the game to remove natural immortality and kill him. I think the, the, the event process as normally, because uh, it's not intended for you to kill Nashra. How many Chains of Torment runs have you done so far? I think around the six in total. Today, this is the third. In total, six, I think. I know Bradley about that that uh, that interaction with the Dark Priest. I don't have the Priest robe though. I could try to get him for the from the Dark Priest in the entrance. Eh, I could. Where exactly do I find the statue to pray to Olmir? It's in the backyard. You have to use a mocha book on. Uh, uh, you have to take a mocha book from the entrance of the dungeon and use it in the second library you found. You find. Hmm. Now. Now. Now, 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 now. What do we do? I'm so proud to hear you speaking English so well to thousands of people, you're the best. Oh, thanks, damn. Oh, you're Italian. Welcome. I I, I presume you're Italian since you're saying you're so proud because you, you know I'm Italian, so you're Italian as well. Okay. Now, uh, how long ago did you get your IELTS certificate? I, I got it three years ago. 
I got it on the last year of uh, high school. So yeah, three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. So, what is the the, the next step? Hmm. We oh, we can go into the tomb of the gods. We can go into the tomb of the gods because there are more scrolls to loot. There are more scrolls to loot. Propolo came just to say hi. Welcome, Alex Alenox Place. Welcome to see my friend. Does being a marriage change the endings you can get? You cannot get the S endings if you are a marriage. Yeah. Except um, except if you play as Enki if you, and if you do a very particular thing. But it's not intended, so I will not talk about it or elaborate about it. Also, guys, uh, I am working on a new iceberg for Fear and Hunger. Since you guys uh, uh, supported the previous... Uh, sorry, hiccups. Since you guys supported the previous one a lot... I am working on another one, and this time, <laughs> this time I'm gonna make it big. But, I, I already have, I think, 60 entries, and I still didn't finish, but I need some help, guys. So, you can private message me some entries that you may, that you may like to see into the, into, the, into the iceberg, especially, can you DM me some entries of lore stuff? Because about mechanics, I think I'm pretty experienced. But about the lore, sometimes I forget about stuff. So, if you if you uh, want to help me, the, uh, private message me some interesting lore facts I may talk about uh, in the iceberg. You're gonna give me a great help if you do that. Tier list will be great. Tier list. I mean, I already have some tier list. I don't think that's the most important part right now. Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Skull of Berserk! Okay, this is the hidden chapter of Berserk from Yura Kentaro. Trust me, this is the hidden chapter. Now I'm gonna read you something that is not present anywhere else. This is the real ending of Berserk. How can I get the free, free empty scroll? Oh, you have to kill the old ma- uh oh oh. Oh, I can run from them, fortunately. I don't want to wait. I don't- I don't want to waste uh, a freaking- uh, a freaking, how is it called? Can you come out? Yeah. Mmm, don't come here. No, 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 no. I'm gonna stay here until you go into the other side. I'm gonna stay here until you go into the other side. I I'm gonna, I, I don't care. I, I don't care. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna, no, 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 no. You don't come here. You don't come here. Mm -hmm. Do I really need to use Chains of Torment on this guy? Now, the torch is running away, running out. Sorry, not running away. You know, I, no, I'm not gonna use. Uh, I'm not gonna use the chains of torment another time. I'm not gonna use chains of torment another time. I'm gonna lure him down here. You're losing your mind. Oh, 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 Come down, come down, come down. Those jellyfish really want some chain. Yeah, but I have an idea. Here, I'm actually allowed to go on the left side. I'm gonna wait until Squidward comes here. And there it is. Goodbye, Squidward. Goodbye, idiot. Okay, give me empty scroll, empty scroll, empty scroll, um, empty scroll, empty scroll, empty scroll, empty scroll, scroll of the what? Uh, whatever, not empty scroll. Uh, okay. We will have to kill the old knight. Not a... We may... Oh! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty! <laughs> ah. No! Squidward, you're not gonna block me. Ah! Okay, we almost finished all the empty scrolls spots available in the dungeon. Almost. Do we need something else from a hubber? Hmm, which song plays in your video outro? Black Souls Battle of Wonderland. Hmm. You know what's the problem? Killing the old knight will require, and I'm not joking, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chains of Torment! Seven Chains of Torment. Do you realize how many Chains of Torment that is? More than six, less than eight. Which number is that? Uh, okay, let, 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 let's go. Let, 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 let's, just, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's kill the old knight. Okay. 
Yeah, my favorite enemy, the, the old... I loved when Old Knight uh, said uh, it's Old Knight time and the Old Knight at me all over the place. I loved that. We may pass through here to reach the... Yeah, we may pass through here. Echo, thanks so much for the two euros, my friend. Uh, thank you for the company while well, trying to fix my PC. Oh, you're welcome, my friend. I'm happy, I'm happy I'm able to take you company, to keep you company while you try to fix your PC. Thank you so much, Echo. Actually, actually, we may take the blue scene. Nah, it's not... Ne I mean, there are more healing items. Uh, We're gonna take the blue scene with the passages of Mahabre later. Not now. Now we still have stuff to do. We have to pass through this spot a lot of times. Do did we get an explosive vial? Whatever, there is a guaranteed explosive vial behind Nosramus. I can't believe I'm really gonna do this. Uh, what exactly makes the Chase of Torment special enough to make an only it run? It costs 80 mind. Using it consistently and only that to damage the opponents is difficult. And trust me, it's very difficult. The run already failed for a whole stream. So, here we are. We have the White Angels all equipped. We enter in battle. We cut off one body part and then we escape. That is the gist of it. Then we heal our mind and we go back. And we repeat this until we win, okay? Easy. It's gonna require a lot of mind, yes. Do I care? No. And just to be sure, just to be even more sure that I don't miss on the first turn, I'm gonna guard, okay? To prevent the RNG altogether so I don't get my limbs cut off, I just take a very mediocre damage, and we use Chains of Torment. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, boom. Okay. Now we guard, because uh, sometimes it bugs, and the uh, body parts uh, go back to life. Now we escape. There it is. Let's use uh, Copium. Or maybe a bottle of whiskey. Nah, Copium, Copium, Copium. <laughs> Look uh, <laughs> how, how crazy it is to get just one single empty scroll. The arm is still destroyed. Let's use Chains of Torment on the armor. One, two, three, four, five. No, I didn't forget to keep the Sorcerer's Stone. I need the White Angel Soul to have guaranteed st a chance to escape the battle. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna farm uh, mine against this enemy regardless. Okay, now we escape. Uh-oh! Uh, uh, no, 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 no! No, 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 no! No! Oh, this... No, I forgot about this bug! Okay, there is still a way to do it. There is still a way to do it. I know how to fix this. If you cut off his legs, he's not gonna be able to move. If you cut off his legs, he's not gonna be able to move. We are slowly gonna recover our mind and escaping just to be safe. Okay, okay. The bug is he doesn't have any cooldown timer in the movie, in the movement animation. That's the bug. Okay. Uh... Yeah, let's drink another ale. I don't want to risk taking panphobia. I don't want to... If I lose one mind in the precise moment I go back to the normal screen and I take panphobia, it's gonna be so bad. So bad. So bad. Okay. Now, let's cut off the first leg. We just have to cut off one more leg and then we're actually gonna be able to stop getting attacked by him. Uh, oh, I should have healed me. Whatever. Okay, let's heal me. Bottle of whiskey. Yeah, bottle of, wh bottle of whiskey. If we get the pinecone pig, we are gonna be able to heal any time whatsoever regardless. So, let's keep going. Another ale. <laughs> Look, the resources wasted that's just for this stupid enemy. Uh, let's escape again. Because sometimes this opponent in particular bugs. And some body parts get restored. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, mm. Okay. Now, if... Oh, uh, 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 go. Never risk, never risk. Let's wait a little bit more. Okay. Oh, finally! Oh. Okay. Okay, we can actually finish him off. We do have one copium powder, but let's use the tobacco. It's the only streamer I have ever thought about giving actual money to. Really? Oh, thanks, Karen! Oh, wait, I, f oh, I smoked opium. Whatever. Let's go with opium. So, Chains of Torment, we're gonna use it on the head. Boof! One, two, three, four, five! Mmm! Just two body parts remaining, two body parts remaining, two body parts remaining. Let's use a uh, tobacco, tobacco, tobacco. We only have tobacco now, so we cannot make mistakes. 
Have you played the Call of Duty? No, I don't like uh, shooters really. This is the perfect thing to watch on the side now. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm happy to know to know that. Okay, second last chains of torment that we need. Also, the, the torch is gonna run out very soon, but uh, whatever, whatever, we, we don't care about that. Okay, left arm. One, two, three, four, five. Boom! No, no! Ah! Ah! Whatever. You you know, I could also... I could actually do something. Hmm. Hmm. There is a way to... Is there a way to get access to an, uh, a nearby... Oh, there should be a, a closed door near here. I can use that to restore my mind. Ah, uh, I, I, I have to travel a lot. Like... Oh, wait, I, I can use the, the night itself. No, I cannot use the night itself. If uh, if I miss the, the run too many times in a row, I'm gonna die because of the night. No. The, the, there is a door, which is here. Near a perfectly calm night lurch, by the way. Near a perfectly calm night lurch. Hmm... Do I really need to go all the way back just to get a mind restoring spot? Hmm. 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 Ah. Let's do it. While we go back, we can also do other stuff so that the the tra the, the journey wasn't useless, you know. It's not gonna Did we unlock the the elevator? Uh-oh. No, we didn't unlock the elevator. We didn't unlock the elevator. Oh. <laughs> We didn't unlock the elevator! We have to go all the way back from here. Oh, it's gonna be so long. Whatever, whatever. We cannot risk it. This is being a decent run. We have Chains of Torment, we got White Angel Soul, we have almost everything we need to complete it. We are not gonna do it. Elevator will still be down regardless. Uh, no. Uh, what was it? My, my brain thinks uh, he's not gonna be there regardless, I don't know why. Maybe my brain is- No! Pff, maybe my brain is wrong. But, uh, you know, eh, let's just go all the way back. Let's just go all the way back. Is the time you spent in battle relevant to, to Legard's save timer? No, the only time relevant to Legard is the time in which you are in the overworld. In battle or in the menu, it doesn't count. In all the other places, it does. So, if this has all of this inspiration from uh, Berserk, there should be a Berserk armor. There is a Berserk armor, my friend. It's called the Penance Armor. It's called the Penance Armor, my friend. So, uh, what was I doing here? Oh, yeah. Uh, I could also turn on the lever since I'm here. Like, uh, the Elite Guard is not a difficult opponent. The Elite Guard is not a difficult opponent. And uh, as long as the Ballista Guard is looking the other way, <laughs> we can pass through there without problems. Hello there, my little friend. Uh, can I tell you that I love you? Can I tell you that I love you? Ring around the rosy. Uh-huh. I love you, my friend. Can you stop following me? You're gonna make some women happy in the future. I'm pretty sure. But uh, not me. I, I'm not interested, my friend. Oh, the lever! I already used the lever. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm stupid! The lever was already there! Ah! Whatever. Whatever. Ugh. I like how instead of some YouTube fanbase name like uh, Fraps, we are friends. Thank you for humanizing us. I mean, technically, Karen. Uh, usually, when I when I say good morning to my Discord server, I say good morning uh, Frapollers. But uh, it's just in that occasion. Like I don't have a real name for for my for my YouTube subscribers. And uh, Buckman is dead. Buckman is dead. I forgot about the Buckman. Uh, no wait, uh, did I forget about the Buckman? Oh yeah, I did, I did. I mean, that's fine. If we get the Pineco Pig... If we do get the Pineco Pig, we will not need Buckman anymore. Thank you for the follow, Pedro Tavares. Hmm. I could also just use the Cave Dwellers to farm mine, now that I think about it. Cave Dwellers were actually nearby. Hmm. I could have thought about that earlier. Hmm. This man says good morning on his Discord server. I do, yeah, I do it. I do it every time. I mean, sometimes I maybe do it in the afternoon because in the morning I'm busy, but uh, still. So, there it is, uh, Isaiah. We cannot escape from Isaiah battle, so for now we don't approach Isaiah battle altogether. There should be a, a closed door near the Iron Shakespeare. Let's go to the Iron Shakespeare, yeah. 
Let's go to the Arrow Shakespeare. We cannot escape from some Manebas, so that so I was scared. Or maybe we can. No, wait. No, 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 no. We can escape from the Manebas. It's the opposite way. You cannot run with the skill if you don't have escape plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I almost forgot. Oh, Arrow Shakespeare. Okay. We finally found a door. We just required like 50 minutes. Here we are. Let's keep the Sorcerer Stone. Enter in battle. And we guard. Okay, we found our mind restoring spot. All of these just to kill the old knight, by the way. To kill the old knight, to get the pinecone pig, to farm mind items, to complete the challenge. Do you see the loop? Do you see the loop? What do you need for the pinecone pig? You need a particular book called the pinecone pig instructions. Or to use an empty scroll. All, all this for one shot. Yeah, the, the guy that asked for... Uh, the guy that asked for uh, why is the Chains of Torment so complicated to actually dedicate to itself a run? This is the, the type of stuff we have to do to, res to do some resource management. We have to literally farm on a door. That's what we have to do. Okay. Now... We can reach from here the caves. Yeah, there's gonna be moonless. Uh, 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 uh. Let's re keep the White Angel soul immediately. Also, we have to be careful. We have both the, t the Thorned Ring and the... Uh oh. Imagine being God and giving someone Chains of Torment and a Pinecone Pig. <laughs> and imagine that person using them to annihilate everything inside of the dungeon. So, I'm pretty confident into this run. We have Alke... We do we have Alchemilia? I forgot. Alchemilia volume... 3! Yeah, we do have it. So, we, theoretically, in the future, we will be able to craft a brown vial. We need orange vial and green vial. Hmm... Orange vial. We are missing the orange vial, though. Eh, that's kind of difficult. Oh, here there is a yellow mucus. Okay, we got a yellow vial. Can we get another? Okay, we have two yellow vials, so we can craft one green vial for the brown vial. The first step towards completion has been achieved. We still didn't find a single red vial. Not a single one. Hello, Pocket Cat. I love you, Pocket Cat. I want to confess my love for you. Moonless, uh, don't, don't be annoying. Ah. Whatever, you silly billy moonless. Stupid sexy moonless. Try reloading the page, it might restore the sound. The, the page? Eh? What? Whatever. One of them I received from Isaiah, that's true, that's true. Uh, on the left there was the, the infested part of the mice. Sorry if I'm doing uh, so much, but I'm so tense. Like, in every second I could lose uh, all the progresses. <laughs> Like, all the progresses. Uh, do I have the White Angel Soul Ecliptic? Yes. So. Hello there! Now, Chains of Torment on the left arm. I'm gonna kill the Loincloth as the last one. You have your honor, so I'm gonna destroy your pride as the last thing. I don't want to be so harsh to you. And an original username, thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend! Now you have the Juicy Chromolar, and you can be actually considered a big shot from your friends. If you show your friends that you are a member to me, they are gonna immediately say that you are a big shot. Thank you so much, my friend, for the support. Yeah, we may go to the cave dwellers to farm. Oh, there is one problem, though. Oh, no. Going back from the white angel, from the yellow mage is kind of... Uh, no, I'm scared about doing it. I'm scared about doing it. Uh, okay, wait, listen, listen. There is one thing we can do. There is a door here, and there... It is the Night Lurch. Okay. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see... Me. No, it's it's very risky. Uh, can you come down here? Can you come down here? Bro? 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 Okay. He's up there. Okay. Come all the way down here. I'm gonna bring you all the freaking way. Do I have the White Angel? Yeah, just to be sure. There it is, the just to be sure part. <laughs> now... Whew. Now we can actually keep the Sorcerer Stone. The reason I want to do this, uh, I want to uh, lure him away, is because if he, if he stun locks me here, then it's basically Jover, unless we have uh, enough mind to use a Chains of Torment. And I don't want to risk. Can confirm my, all my friends think I'm the coolest big shot now. Oh, nice, Mason. I'm so happy. But wait, uh, you're not a, a big shot. You're the... Uh, I mean... You are a big shot. But you're not a member. <laughs> Whatever. 
Does the timing dialog keep the timer running? Yeah, everything that is not the main menu is gonna... Uh, the, the menu, I mean the menu uh, in which you can use the items, etc. Everything that is not that is gonna make the timer progress. Everything. Chase of Torment is a skill that deals a lot of damage, but also requires a lot of uh, uh, mind to be used. And that's the, the difficult part of the ch this challenge. We have a very powerful uh, uh, weapon, but we also are lacking a lot of ways to use it properly and to gain advantage from it at the start. And also, ju using just that is very problematic also, because uh, it's good if you like use it as a support, but if you use it in solo against everyone, it's kinda difficult. Okay, White Angel Soul Equipped, the last, the last, don't miss! One, two, three, four, five! Ah. Finally, okay, finally. Light Blue Vial, get me this, Bone Shears. Okay, attempt number one for an empty scroll! No. <laughs> Attempt number two for an empty scroll. No. Attempt number three for an empty scroll. No. But there is a guaranteed empty scroll on the table. Boom. Screw you, stupid game. Let's take the guaranteed pico pig. You you can defeat that monster just because you put his pants down. Yes, Vicola, exactly. That's how it works. Okay. We can get the pico pig now. Pinecone Pig is the only thing that will make it possible in this moment. Chains of Torment is like a shotgun with only one shell. Yeah, basically. And then you have to recharge very slowly. Okay. Pinecone Pig is the MVP once again. Pinecone Pig is the MVP. I heard that Tails is more likely than Heads for most rolls. True. No. Queen uh, Iconic. It's false. Especially if you don't use lucky coins, like it's literally a 50-50. Does the pine pig trigger on doors? Uh, not on doors, on enemies, Ezzy. On enemies. So, now it's time to get the pine pig, I guess. It is time to get the pine pig. Oh lord! Give the stupid sexy pine cone. Okay, now, we need another Chase of Torment to be able to set up the Pinecon Pig, because I need to kill the arm of one of the cave dwellers. Do we have the White Angel Soul by the Receptor? Sorry, yeah, we do have the, the White Angel Soul. Uh, did the Night Lurch... Oh, the Night Lurch came back. Uh, hello, buddy. Can you follow me? Can you follow me? Uh-huh. Pinecon Pig should be another god. Pinecon Pig is another god. What do you mean? Pinecon Pig is literally a god. Um, <clears throat> mm 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 Maybe, maybe. In my, in my dreams, okay. Okay, to be fair, in my dreams, uh, Pinecone Pig is a, is, a, is, a, is a god, okay? Pinecone Pig is a door, okay? <laughs> in my dreams, just in my dreams. I'm calling that you're dying to Night Lurch. Oh, thanks, uh, silly Billy. What a silly Billy idea that you have. <laughs> Mason Royal, thanks so much for becoming a member! Now you are indeed a big shot, my friend. Welcome between the big shots. Thank you so much for the support. Okay. We need one single Chains of Torment to set up the farming process. Then it's just gonna be e not, not easy, but uh, we are gonna be fine from there. We're gonna be fine from there. You're, ki you're killing Summon Snake now? No, 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 no. We are setting up the farming process. Now. Oh, oh. You know, there is one problem. There is one problem. There is one chance in which we can completely die. Do you know the cave dwellers are able to stun you? Okay, if we fail Chains of Torment and they stun lock you us to death, <laughs> there is still that possibility. 
I may do something to prevent it, like going to Mahabra and killing the Gaunt Knight to get the helmet that prevents us from getting staggered. But, uh... You know what? Let's just go. Isn't Pai the last remaining aspect of Venushka? Yeah, exactly, it is. That's why I'm saying it's a god. Okay. Technically, there is one chance in which the run is gonna die right now. Are you ready to see this chance? Waste of time. Yeah, exactly, it's a waste of time. That's what... Oh, no. Okay. Eh. Can you stop following me? No, on the other side, though. On the other side. Mm. Come on. <laughs> I hate the one with the spear. I hate the one with the spear. What does Pinecone Pig do? Pinecone Pig is an uh, infinitely usable farming way. You can literally farm all the items you want with Pinecone Pig. Can you stop a Okay, wait. I have a plan. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's go to the other part of the village to set up our farming process. Let's go to the freaking other part of the village. We don't have to care about the Caramolder anymore. Echo! There it is! Oh, sorry, I said an uh, Italian word. There it is. White Angel Soul is ready. I could also heal myself, just to be sure I'm not gonna die. Yeah, you know what? I have the power to craft a light blue vial. So, let's just do it. And a Novage vial, but uh, nah, 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 nah. Okay. Light blue vial is gonna heal me fully. Don't. Miss. Don't. Miss. Okay. <sighs> Everything in this game is so freaking tense now that we, do, we are doing this challenge. Okay, first of all, let's re-equip the Sorcerer Stone to go back to 100 monk, then we farm. Age Stan Reoven! Thank you so much for the 22 try, my friend! Chamber Rivals, the worst spell as to self-mutilate. <laughs> I mean... Technically, it is. I mean, Chambara is the tormented one, so the fact that he's using such a difficult spell to use consistently is appropriate, to be honest. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support, Age. Okay, now, it's time to farm. <sighs> I keep the Pinecone Pig. And let's go. What does the dirt item do? Is it useless? It is useless, Ashley. It has one event that should give you uh, some hunger, but it's not fully present. Like, there is one part of the event, but not the second part. Okay. Did I say I'm from Milan? I was reading about Pinecone Pig on the wiki, but I didn't understand how it works. Can you explain, please? Every time you enter in battle, you have a 25% chance of having the Pinecone Pig appearing on the screen. That's how it works. Like, as you can see, now I'm entering into battle and nothing is happening. But now, for example, there it is the Pinecone Pig and it brought me an explosive vial. That's how it works, basically. That's the gist of it. And, uh, please, music. I could put the, the farming music. I don't know if I want to farm a lot in this moment, though. I mean, maybe I do. Maybe I do need to farm at least for one hour to make the run somewhat doable. <laughs> Skull of the hi Highwayman, that's true, the Pinecone Pig can give you the Skull of the Highwayman. What's happening? We are farming with the Pinecone Pig! I know a lot of people will, will not like this part of the run. You can AFK farm if you have command, remember, and something to hold your spacebar. You cannot Queen Iconic. We cannot use skills. I may allow it. I may allow us to use skills during farming. Like, uh, because run is a skill. Do you think, guys, we can allow run to farm, uh, like, uh, passively? Can we allow Ran to farm passively? What do you think, guys? Would you be fine with that? I mean, we can we literally cannot die against this enemy. What do you think? Do we allow uh, using the the Ran skill? For something to say yes, yes, no. <laughs> we got one no already. We got one no. Is Pinko Pig the censoring? The creator of the Sephora mode used it for the yeah. Uh, uh, Pinko Pig is not uh, like a. There isn't only one censorship mod, I also have one better censorship mod, actually. So I don't want to talk about that one. That stupid censorship mod with the Pinecone Pig. I don't like it. You just mentioned farming and the stream froze for me. <laughs> so, I gotta suffer. I mean, okay, okay. Understandable, but you know what? Very soon there is gonna be a P pose. And we may put the farming music. We may put the farming music. Uh, is this one? Hello? Uh, no, I think this is the wrong music. Wait, uh, I don't hear it. Uh, 
Is this the Gabra music? Or the Bina music, maybe? Oh, this is Bina music! No, wait, no, 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 no! This is not Library of Ruina. We cannot use that music. I mean, I know, okay, we, we theoretically even uh, Spamton, but it's fine, it's fine. Spamton is, is better. There it is. Spamton is arrived! Uh, there it is! Do you hear the Spamton? Do you hear the... <laughs> Sorry, I had Library of Ruina because during the Library of Ruina stream we required that music for some copyrighted music in the battle. Pinko Pig sensor mode better than Fraps sensor mode. Bradley? Shut up. I think the Pinko Pig mode, the Pinko Pig sensor mode, is so anti... like a... anti... Um, how do you say it? It, it, it ruins the atmosphere. Like, uh, you are fighting gigantic monsters and they have a little Pinko under them. Like, bro! What, what do you mean? Do you understand what I mean? You can, uh, you can disagree, of course, but uh, that's what I think. Because that's better than... Bradley, if you keep repeating it, uh, nothing's gonna change. <laughs> Good evening, Jan! Good evening! Now is the moment in which we can actually uh, talk together. Yeah, exactly! Pinko Pig mode breaks the immersion. Yeah, exactly, because... Uh, like, uh, there is the Pinko Pig in this game, okay? There is the Pinko Pig. Like, for example, in this exact moment, uh, we are seeing the Pinko Pig over and over again. But the point, the point is... Uh, there, there is no need that... Uh, you know, actually, no, I don't want this Pantom music. There is something better I can put. Uh, there is a... Trust me, guys. Trust me, guys. It's more chill. I need something chill right now. More chill than the Pinecomb Pig. And there is one precise music that does the trick for me. Maybe you will not like it, but uh, I want this. Okay. This is much better. Ah. There it is! Ah, a more chill ambience. Are you ready? Maybe lower the game audio temporarily so it's more chill? That's true! I can do that. I can do that. Uh, fear and hunger... I'm gonna mute it altogether. Okay. How do you do it then? What should be done instead of it? Get rid of genitals entirely? No, a black bar. Theo. I literally did it with a black bar. I think a black bar, like this one that you are seeing, is less uh, immersion breaking than a freaking pine cone pig under the enemy. Like, you're fighting an enemy with... At least, uh, at least, uh, the black bar gives you an idea of uh, how big is the thing uh, hidden. The pine cone pig is very small instead, you know what I mean? But uh, you can disagree, of course. I wish there was a blur sensor mode. There should be one. I think I saw someone using it. That's also good. That is also... I, I don't think it's a released mode, though. I think uh, it was just uh, made by someone and they used it for themselves. I don't remember who it was. It wasn't Connor. Wait. Uh, it was... Uh, I remember I saw someone playing with a blur mode. There is a blur mode. Oh, is it released? Oh, okay. Then I'm stupid. I didn't realize it. But anyways, Trap likes teasing. Good. <laughs> So, also the Pinecomb mod censors a lot of unnecessary stuff like old knights and just gore. And also the third eye of the Valtail. The third eye of Valtail is censored in the Pinecomb Pig mod. That's the, the stupidest thing ever. That's literally a brain with an eye that is not genitalia. I do love Pinecomb Pig Krilladar, but not the censorship mod. Ah, all this farming to die to a night lurch. No, no, we don't, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that, my friend. We don't talk about that, okay? Very soon I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the bathroom for one second, because I really need to pee. And I think if we play our cards well, and if we're able to drop a hard leather armor from the Lizardman, the run is almost surely... One. Did you understand what I said? The run is almost surely won. The only real problem remaining is uh, Francois. Francois is the only thing that I can... Um, and uh, maybe the, the, the skin granny, but we saw she's not a problem anymore. The only real problem we can have right now is to actually um, die to Francois. Because Francois, since we cannot talk, since we cannot talk to Francois, Francois is actually the strongest uh, new god, if you don't talk. What exactly are you farming for? Uh, mind healing items, uh, health healing items, uh, and coins. Uh, to buy more mind healing items and health healing items. That's the, the, the loop. What about Skin Granny? Why is she no longer a problem? I can show you Strawberry. We do have... 
one green vial here. We are gonna get one orange vial by defeating Isaiah, and combining them, we get a brown vial. With the extra turn, Skin Granny is gonna be a joke. A literal joke. Oh, and also another problem may be Valtail. Honestly speaking. Valtail may also be another problem. We need to kill the third eye very quickly. Otherwise we may die. Yeah, the third eye may be problematic. Mm. I think you play this game too much, bro. What do you mean? It's a Friday night. Yeah, it's a Friday night. What about it? <laughs> what about it, video, video clank? What do you mean? <laughs> I always stream on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you play this game too much? <laughs> Whatever. What is King Granny in the lore? In the lore, she is a creature that appears after you... Uh, how do you say it? After you abandon your parents, or just uh, your family. And a lot of people in uh, Rondon and Oldgard, I think, uh, I think in Rondon, uh, had visions of the King Granny appearing in a dream. And we fight the King Granny in a dream. We'll get, uh, we'll ever get away from this battle? Uh, mm, very late, like, uh, it's gonna be a few, a few minutes from now, like, a uh, 10, 20, 30, 45, uh, 50, um, uh, uh, 60, uh, uh, 60, uh, 70, 80? <laughs> Thoughts on the popular Sulfuris Sun God theory? Uh, I don't care about Sulfur, to be honest. Like, I don't care about that that theory altogether. <laughs> I, know it's a, I know it's an evil message. But it has to be said. What does the brown vial do? Extra turn! And increases the attack, but we only care about the extra turn part. We only care about the extra turn. Yasek is googling about Lona since it has been mentioned here earlier. I guess we will play it soon. Really, and Andrea? Uh, I gotta tell you, uh, it's very cruel and cruent as a game. And you cannot turn off the cutscenes. You can close the game, of course, but uh, apart from that, there is no way to turn them off. So it's gonna be kind of rough if you want to do it. You can do it, of course, though, if you want. You should go to Fanger Nationals. Imagine, Fanger becoming an eSport game. <laughs> We're gonna be a sponsored team or something. Who do, who do you think would be the best parent for the girl? Darcy. If Darcy is able to stop thinking about her obsession for Legard and actually puts her work into actually raising a child, which by the way is Legard's uh, daughter, so technically Darcy may have a sort of affection towards her, if she does this, she's gonna be able to overcome the guard obsession, and she's gonna be able to have uh, um, uh, a daughter. Like, uh, she's gonna have a, a, a new purpose in life. Because in this moment, uh, I think uh, the reason why Dars is following Legard so badly is because she wants a purpose. And she found in Legard a man in which putting your trust. Because Legard wants to reach greater heights, you know, that, that kind of stuff. What about Kahara? It seems nice. Yeah, you're right! Kahara, the man that, the first time you meet it, steals from you. The man that, if you don't give him the crown, is gonna escape with the crown. The man that, uh, if you say that he tricked you because uh, he did trick you, is gonna attack you and he's gonna blame you because, oh, you started this, yeah! Kahara is definitely a good man, like, uh, <laughs> I think you guys are forgetting, Kahara literally, uh, literally stole stuff from us on the first encounter we had with him. On the literal first encounter, after we freed him from a cell. Do you understand? Kahara is a monster. It's the best boy. But it's a monster. Kahara did it for his baby mama. I, I don't care. He still did it. Okay, uh, I have to murder a man. But I'm doing it for my for my baby. Uh, the, the man didn't do anything to you. The man was, uh, was gonna go with you. The man was gonna travel with you and gonna help you. And you join with him and you steal. Kahara could have gotten better loot by not, by not escaping with our stuff. Literally. Can you explain to someone who never played this game what are you doing? Oh, I am farming with the Pinecomb Pig. Every time I enter battle, there is a chance that the Pinecomb Pig is gonna appear and I get a random item from a selected pool. That's what I'm doing. And I need all the items possible because I need to defeat. Valtail, Chambara, uh, Skin Granny. And the White Angel. Those are the main difficult boss- and uh, the, the nameless one, but uh, <laughs> the nameless one. Those are the main bosses I'm aiming for, and uh, the Salmon Snake, maybe. 
the summon snake is important towards defeating, towards defeating, uh, how is it called? Towards defeating um, Skin Granny. We cannot kill Skin Granny without uh, doing this. I thought farming is for noob lords. You were absolutely drunk. Those running around are pinecone pig. Yeah, those are pinecone pig. They are uh, uh, a pig made with a pie uh, with a pinecone shape, basically. The girl becoming a new god is simply too sad for me. I really. She doesn't become a new god. She becomes an ascended god. Like uh, she's better than a new god. But anyways, the the main point with the girl is uh, yeah, okay, she's dying, etc. Okay, 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 yada yada. I think uh, the girl would be happy. Okay. Of course, uh, dying is a difficult decision. Okay, okay. But the girl is technically helping the whole humanity and to an extent is even helping the other people that maybe helped her through the dungeon. So becoming a god is the best thing she can do. Like, she is very thankful toward the, towards the player. So becoming a god and giving you a painless death is the best thing she can do. It's the best thing she can do to help you. Can anyone explain why he can't run from the cave dweller? Some sort of glitch? Uh, can't... I, I am Ryan. I am running from the cave dweller, Sayani. What do you mean? I am running. What, do you, what is the problem? I kinda like having the legs. <laughs> what? Having legs. Uh, do, do you like have infinite power and the potential to kill everything in your way just by looking at it or something? I think you would. <laughs> I think you would have that power. <laughs> it's still a bit sad. I mean, you, you can... If you think about it... Uh, Initially, it is sad, yeah. But uh, if you are, if you think about it more, you will realize that the uh, girl is having the time of her life uh, as the god of fear and hunger. <laughs> Isn't the whole point that she only knows fear and hunger? I don't think she cares about the world. No, Jake and Dar, I, I, I think you need to uh, study the lore again because uh, the whole point uh, is that uh, fear, the god of fear and hunger, is a huge uh, uh, god. Uh, for humanity, because it's a, it's a god that, that actually understands humanity. It's able to give humanity a new ho a new hope for how convoluted that seems. Like, uh, the fear and hunger are very common things across the humanity, okay? And the fact that there is a god about those means it's a god that is able to connect with the human's pain. Do you know what I mean? This is why the god of fear and hunger is one of the best gods. Do you understand what I mean? Perfect. Joe Parsons, thank you so much for the five dollars! God, you are so handsome. Oh, wait a... Were you referring to God or to, or to me? Wait a... Thank you, in case you were referring to me. Thank you so much, Joe. I really appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much. The point is, like, uh, fear and hunger. If you think about Grogov, Grogov is destruction. But humanity... If, uh, um, the, the old gods abandoned humanity. God of Fear and Hunger is an ascended god. God of Fear and Hunger is able to interact with humanity. It's another chance, we may say. It's a, it's a last resort. We may say, okay, it's a last resort. Love the content. Oh, thanks, Joe. Thank you so much. She's the god who is the main cause that humanity reached modern technology. Exactly. Exactly, Taxels. Without the God of Fear and Hunger, probably there would have been, uh, like, uh, the whole humanity would have passed through a decay era or something. I mean, look at this age, this current age. Look at Fear and Hunger 1. This is an age of decay. The whole world is collapsing. Like, look at the dungeon itself. Look at the, the people in the streets, the, the kids disappearing because of uh, Pocket Cut. Do you understand? Do you understand the point? Uh, what I mean, at least? But, uh, of course, uh, of course, uh, to an extent, uh, there are only theories about this. I mean, it's pretty clear that humanity was able to uh, continue just because of God of Fear and Hunger. But uh, you can also have your theory, like, uh, I'm never gonna tell you, NO! You cannot have your theory! No, 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 no! I always appreciate all the theories, even though I may not uh, uh, agree with them. Ivarg, thank you so much for the $10, my friend! <laughs> thank you so much for the super, my friend, I really appreciate it! And welcome to stream! <laughs> Guys, I'm really new to this game, but what is he doing? Uh, why he's spamming around? Oh, Alessandro Pino, uh, Piano, P Piano, P P whatever. Let me explain. I am farming items, because in this moment I need all the items possible to be able to finish the run. To, to have a chance at the run, technically, not to finish. Do you understand what I mean? Perfect. What do you think this cave dweller is thinking about? Uh, why? Pinecone. Pinecone. 
Ö. Why? Ö. Depths. Ö. Ö. Cube. Ö. Pinecorn. Ö. Stick. Ö. Storm. No arm. That's what he's thinking about. Coffee or tea? Tea. I hate uh, coffee. I think the, du the old duality of the good bad sides of uh, Fear and Hunger God is kind of similar to Dark Souls 1 where the point is uh, if uh, it's good to let the human dark era begin. Yeah, that's similar, Davide. I like the, the comparison you did. We, we may consider that similar. Like, uh, even if you think about, if you think about it, uh, the dark era, it's uh, attempting to see if uh, humanity is able to do something uh, that, may be able, uh, that may be able to change the situation they are currently in. Because... Uh, um, um, Re-igniting the flame over and over again didn't bring anything. Like, uh, they are just uh, delaying the inevitable. It's better to try something new. And that's what the God of Fear and Hunger is about. Trying something new. Nilvan wanted to create the God of Fear and Hunger to change the previous order. And that's what happened in uh, Termina. That's literally what happened in Termina. Like, uh, the order changed. There is technology that was able to... Arrive to logic. This would have never been possible without the god of fear and hunger. Pizza or pasta? Pizza. In the endings where you become a new god, it shows that new gods often cause collapses if they actually go out and do things. So fear and hunger... Uh, wait, so fear and hunger had to hold back just enough to let progress happen. Um, no, not exactly. There is a difference between new gods and uh, ascended gods and old gods. There are a lot of difficulties. Remember, uh, 12, 11, I have birthday, so I really want some Frapolo 94 merch from Andrea to my birthday. <laughs> also, give someone a safe work gameplay tip for Lona. Thank you so much for the support, Yasek, for the 129 CZ K, my friend. So, uh, I mean, yeah, that day is my birthday as well. I may do some merchandise, we will see. Some uh, uh, tips for Lona. Okay, some tips are always travel with uh, some food and some potions. Remember that uh, resting at the inn is gonna restore fully your hunger and your stamina. And also it's gonna uh, remove the dirtiness from you. Remember that uh, it's never a bad idea before sleeping to use all your stamina to, do, uh, to, to wash yourself because it gives you experience. So you, you can level up. Reach level 15 as fast as possible in order to use quality weapons. That's the gist of it. How do you feel about getting sacrificed to Grogroth and being replaced with the warm by warm girl? Eh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> um, no, uh, no, I like warm girl, but I don't want to be replaced by her. If that makes sense, like, uh, <laughs> why? Why would I be replaced by? <laughs> I mean, I like warm girl. She's a great person, but uh, no, I, I don't want to be replaced by warm girl. Uh, actually. <laughs> You're the best, thank you. Tomorrow we started, I'm looking for tour to, to merch. Oh, thanks, Jacek. So, what happens if you drink warm juice? If you drink warm juice, you're gonna get warm uh, uh, status effect. I don't, brain warm, no, not brain warm. How is it called? Uh, stomach warm. I don't remember the exact name. And poison. Yeah, that warm girl, Theo. We, we did a podcast, uh, not a, po a podcast. We did a discussion together about the love of fear and hunger. Chris Burr, thank you so much for the two pounds, my friend. Why does Pocket Cat not want humanity to, th humanity to thrive? Because Pocket Cat follows. Uh, guys, uh, fear and hunger termina spoilers. Because Pocket Cat wants the, uh, is under the moon god, okay? The moon god does not want humanity to try to rival the strength of the old gods. And the god of fear and hunger, being an ascended god, is actually able to do something like that. Basically, that's the gist of it. Are we winning for Polo Son? Yes, uh, Matthias Rapolini, thank you so much for the 20 hours! We are winning, my friend. It's, it's ju it just needs time. But slowly, we are winning. Very slowly, by the way. How many how many coins did we get in all this time? Eh, only 48. <laughs> Maybe I should do a, a bathroom pose. Oh, another five coins, okay. <laughs> Finally. I think I should do another bathroom pose at this point. Hmm. Another, I mean, the first bathroom pose, technically. I think this is a good moment. I'm gonna wait. No, it's already 11, p 11 p.m., okay. But very quick bathroom pose, guys, okay? Very quick bathroom pose. B, right, back.
I'm back. I'm back for you. All right. So. Whew. Now we can go back to our farming. Uh, how much stuff do we have, by the way? Let me check. We have five blue vials, which can be converted into the uh, light blue vials. Twelve blue herbs. But unfortunately, we don't have Alchemilia Volume 1. We can buy Alchemilia Volume 1. But we need uh, 80 silver coins for that. We have uh, uh, 53 silver coins. Isaiah is still alive. So we have access to the other uh, treasure map. Mm, yeah, we're gonna farm until we get... Uh, 99 silver coins, I guess, for now. Johnny Memes, thank you so much for the, so much for the 10 PLN, my friend. Will you make a sensor mod for Fear and Hunger Termina? For now, no, but in the future, when I actually play Fear and Hunger or something, yeah, I may do that. Thank you so much for the super, my friend. I really appreciate it. And, uh, oh, oh, chat is dead. Oh, oh no. Uh, uh, give me one second. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, there it is. It's back. Okay, perfect. So... Whew. Yeah, sometimes this happens. Sometimes it's also not uh, fixable, we may say. Sometimes it's not fixable, I don't know why. Now, Water Vial. Shh. I mean, Water Vial is good. Water Vial, it's uh, paradoxically gonna be usable, because <laughs> against the against the Francois, Francois is gonna apply on us Burn. Burn is gonna be very problematic. What on earth are you playing, uh, playing now? Uh, I'm playing... Uh, what on earth are you playing now? What do you mean an original person? I'm playing Fear and Hunger! <laughs> of course! One of the best games on planet. Did you crawl out of the bloody toilet every time you take a break? Yes, I do hand on attempt. Every single time, it's difficult. It's very difficult. If Rare hates humans, why bother holding back Pocket Cat when he tries to harm them? The Moon God telling him is an aggression that, um, either because they are afraid of gods like the little girl? Uh, Booster! That's a debatable topic, there, are, there may be some different reasons for which he does that. My idea is that Moon God does not want Pocket Cat to interfere directly. Like, if you think about it, the only reasons in which uh, the servants of the Moon God are allowed to, ta to try to take the girl from you is uh, without interfering. The Moon Lady literally asks you to give her the girl and she's gonna heal you. Pocket Cat asks you, asks you to, give her, to give him the girl and he is gonna give you an item. Do you see? They literally cannot uh, force you to give them the girl. When Pocket Cat tries, the Moon God stops him. So the reason is, uh, Moon God does not want them to interfere. That's uh, the conclusion I arrived to. Also because, uh, even in Termina, the Pocket Cat cannot interfere during the festival. That's basically what I think. You can disagree, you can disagree, I don't care. That, that's what I think. What do you are, why do Harvestmen want the girl? Do they, do they serve Moon God too? If they want it for a different... They want her for a different reason, uh, Genius Kojumbo. <laughs> for a more simpler reason. A more simpler reason. <laughs> are you planning to make videos on Termina? For the 100th time, I will do videos on, of Termina in the future, yes. Yes, I promise to you. From the bottom of my heart, I promise I will do videos on Termina in the future. But first we are gonna do a Roblox video. Are you ready? On uh, tomorrow, actually, tomorrow. It's gonna, there's gonna be a Roblox video because... Uh, <clears throat> you, you may not know this, but uh, there is um, Fear and Hunger roleplay mode for uh, Roblox. And I may have found it. This is just a little teaser for tomorrow. I may have played it a little bit. You're gonna see. Are you going to do videos on Library of Ruina? I would love to do something like that, Ezekiel. But I don't know what could the video be about. Because I almost finished the whole game. I could do a sort of video essay or something. I need to think about it. It's a difficult topic. I, I always wanted to do video essays on the games I play on stream. But uh, uh, there is something that is backing me down from doing them. I, I, I gotta be honest. The, the biggest thing that, that scares me is... Uh, uh, I don't know how to explain. Is uh, uh, approaching a different community without having maximum knowledge of, on the game and giving my because uh, you know what I what I what I you know what I what I what I'm saying. Let me explain. Oh, uh, Jan, thanks so much for the 100 CZK, my friend. Thank you so much for the support, Jan. I love you. I really appreciate all the support you give to me, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much, my friend. The point is, uh, 
I'm scared about approaching another community without having a lot of, of experience with the game. I know you may say, you played the game, bro, what do you mean? Yeah, but uh, it's still, like, uh, it's not like since you play a game, you know everything about the game. I'm very scared that everything I say will be misunderstood, because I don't want to create tensions or something with the others. But, uh... I could still do some video essays. I I'm uh, I have a kind of idea of making a video essay of Black Souls. First of all, then I may think about something else. Just max out your knowledge on every game before making a video on it. Uh, yeah, uh, easy, <laughs> easy. <laughs> That's the main point. Maxing out knowledge requires time. So if I really want to do something like that, I should change my schedule of uh, video publication. I could uh, change from one video per week to maybe one every two weeks or something. Because I would need more time to make my researches. The, like, going at the current pace is already kinda tiring, we may say. So if I really want to do something like that, uh, even bigger, it's gonna increase the amount of work required. So I for sure will need uh, more time to work on that. Especially because... Uh, if we consider the amount of time required to get the sources, the amount of time required to organize them, the amount of time required to record them, and the amount of time required to edit them... Also considering there is also university, and you know, real life, because uh, at least one time every two weeks I want to go out with friends or something... It's kinda difficult to keep up the pace, you know what I mean? That's the gist of it, sorry, this was a little bit of uh, explanation of Frapolo94 life. My life goes like this. Morning, I check the comments, etc. Because uh, I also try to answer to almost all the comments, uh, at least all the comments uh, to which I uh, there, there is a need to answer, like if we're if, if just saying uh, thanks or something. In general, I try to answer to everyone. Then I study a little bit. Uh, I go to university in case uh, it's a university day. In the afternoon, I start working on some ideas for some uh, uh, videos. Then, if uh, in the if in the evening I do have a stream. Then I'm gonna do the stream. Otherwise, I, I start to do some recordings. And that's the, the, the lifestyle I'm adopting uh, for the last uh, four months, I think. It's going, it's been pretty, it's been pretty well. It's been uh, working pretty well. But I think if I increased the amount of work I put into stuff, I would lose it. Like, uh, I would go into burnout. You know, is it called the burnout? Like, uh, I don't think even a power nap could save me from that. I would literally go into burnout. I hate the YouTube chat. Oh, what happened with the YouTube chat? Is it blocked? Uh oh. No! Is it blocked, guys? Uh. No, okay, it's not blocked. Oof. Why don't you just farm Pico Pick during the university exams to get all the answers? <laughs> That's a cool- I, I need a Pinko Pig in real life, I need to do it. There, there is someone that made it, I need to do it as well. Burnout here is in the correct term. Oh, perfect, thanks, Julia. Yeah, like, uh, if I increase the amount of work, it's gonna be- I, I need to find an editor, but uh, I don't have money to pay the editor. Because, yeah, let, let me explain, okay, of course, the, the support you're giving me is great, but, uh, there are taxes. You know, it's all connected. <laughs> there are taxes. <laughs> Two tech people from uh, over 600 people in chat. Tech people unite and follow the purple. Oh, thanks, Yachik. Bring an empty scroll to exams. Uh, right. Oh, Lord, <laughs> give me exams. <laughs> I gotta see this stream to the end. Uh, Broskai, you just signed a contract that is very dangerous. Because I may stay here farming with the cave dweller for at least another 40 minutes. That's not my dude, I used to be too tired to, to even study after university, let alone to do other stuff. Yeah, it's so crazy, like, uh, you know when you think back about, uh, like, when you were in high school or something? Like, when I was in high school, I was full of free time, and I never used it for something useful, or something important, or something interesting, something that could give me uh, an, uh, a growth, either a symbolic one or a physical one. I never did that. Now that I'm in university, I want to do a lot of stuff, but I don't have more time. And in the future, when I'm gonna also work, it's gonna be even more difficult. <laughs> you know, like, it's so funny, like, I'm realizing the moment, the, the boomer moment in which you start going like, ah, I miss the old days, you know, that moment. I'm starting to reach that freaking moment. You have no idea. And I'm and I'm just 21. Like, if already at 21 years I talk like this, imagine when I arrive to 40 years. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be depressed or something. <laughs>
<laughs> Chris and Burr, thank you so much for the five pounds, my friend. I love your streams. Please don't stop doing streams. Sir. For sure, I will not stop. I said it's gonna be more difficult when I also am gonna work. I never said I'm gonna stop. Thank you so much, my friend. I will appreciate it. You're on my third monitor. Please do something into on your third monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for Paul if you're from 2002. No, I'm from 2001. And I, my, my birthday is on the 12th of uh, November, yeah. So, I'm from 2001. I'm gonna be 22 very soon. We have your future. Keep doing uh, YouTube. We will support. Oh, thanks. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm never saying I'm gonna stop. No, 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 no. Absolutely. But maybe I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. I'm from uh, Milan, Antonio Scrivano. As you're older, you'll get more time in the future, but you will probably be more tired than usual. Oh, yeah, there's also that part, yeah, the body becomes more tired, etc, yeah. What do you study at university? I do study uh, management engineer, my friend. 86 silver coins, we can almost go. Jan, thank you so much for the 100 CCK, my friend. Okay, another try. Will you ever finish the Monster Girl Quest Paradox run? Was really invested in it, but I understand those videos didn't have much views. Thank you so much, Jan, but... Uh... Paradoxically... I have to make a discussion about this. Okay, this is gonna be a discussion about the Monster Girl Quest Paradox, so if you're not interested, uh, you, you can leave. So, the point is, I have, actually, on a folder on my... No, not on a folder on my... Uh, how is it called? On my... my uh, how is it called? External hard disk, like uh, seven episodes of Monster Girl Quest Paradox, almost up to the final dungeon of part two. The reason... I am not releasing it. I'm not releasing them anymore. It's because YouTube started being annoying to me. YouTube was starting to demonetize my videos and put them to 18 plus, etc. So you know, I was scared they were gonna do something like uh, strike my channel because uh, in the end, Monster Quest Paradox. Uh, I, I know Fear and Hunger was passed, but Fear and Hunger is less anime-ish. Maybe that's why it is able to go over the YouTube uh, things. But uh, you know, Monster Girl Quest Paradox is more anime. That's why it's more problematic. That's why I decided to stop. But I do have some uh, non-published videos about, Mon about uh, Monster Girl Quest Paradox. Nicola Mer Mercadante, Sir Mastro Cat. Thank you so much for the 5 euros! Collaborate with qualche artista in caso service avete piacere di contattarti in privato. Oh, thanks Nicola. No, I, I don't have any like a, uh, I don't have contracts with some artists. I have some people that help me. For example, uh, Crimson Calo and Red Nettle are two of the main artists that help me on the channel. The 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 how is it called? The sprite of uh, for Apollo 94 in the starting soon screen was made by Crimson Calo. The sprite of Apollo 94 in the outro of my of my videos was made by Nettle. So yeah, I do have people helping me. Is Paradox a sequel from the first Monster Girl Quest? Paradox is a... it's not a sequel, but uh, you need to know the stuff from Monster Girl Quest in order to play it. Maybe to risk it now, it'll be better to release it on a different platform. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Can you blow off his legs for funnies? I could, but uh, it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> like, uh, imagine, uh, blow off the, that person legs, it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play Fear and Hunger 2. Look at my vods. Just a random person that is, uh, 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 I don't, I don't see, that is here. Thanks for the six, six years, my friend. Turned 23 today. Happy to watch my favorite streamer play my, my favorite game to the last hours of it. Then, uh, you know what we say? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to... Just some random random person that is uh, here. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> All right, I think we are. We can stop. We are at 91 silver coins. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we can go to buy some uh, elixir of mind and elixir of body. For now, it seems good. Hmm. Are we gonna play that Dungeon Knights game on Roblox? Oh, yeah, I already played it. Germany sucks. There's gonna be um, a video on it tomorrow. You're gonna see. So, yeah, we can leave for now. We can leave, let me stop the music, let me stop the music. We're gonna go back to being serious for one second. We need to reach Mahabre and to spend all the stuff we got. Also, we got plenty of bottle of whiskey and ale. Not bad, not bad. Absolutely not bad. Now, the only problem is... 
let's uh, re-equip the White Angel Soul just to be sure that we don't get killed by the Spear Guy Cave Dweller. And there is the Spear Cave Dweller, but fortunately, I am smarter. How do we reach Mahaber from here? I think we just go down. Yeah, let's go down. It's easier. It's easier. Poof. The new Black Souls spin-off should come out soon. Are you interested? Of course I'm interested. That one, I think I will be able to play it on stream. I am pretty confident in it. Because usually, Ini Mini Mini Mo puts uh, us, uh, an, an inherent sensor mode for the H scenes. So I should be able to play it. Alright. Now, okay, let's calm down for a second. Eh? I'm getting so excited because... Uh, this may be the run in which we actually win. The ghost, by the way, is the sca- No, 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 okay. Listen, I have a plan. Let's slowly carry this ghost all the way to the right. So it's not gonna bo- Oh, he has an invisible wall. Ah. Whatever, you stay there. Goodbye. The problem is, uh, we don't have a way to kill the ghosts. So if we get stuck in an angle by two ghosts... It's over. Uh-huh. Can you stop following me? Perfect! There it is! Do you see the amount of effort we need to go we need to do just to reach Mahabre? But uh, no worries, after we reach Mahabre and we buy stuff, we are gonna go back to farming! Immediately! We're gonna go back to farming! And uh, oh! Nicola Merchadante, thank you so much for another 10 euros! Pubblicherò prossimamente, prossimamente qualcosa sul tuo Discord, però in caso se l'idea che possa fare delle illustrazioni delle tue sulle tue van possa interessarti, tutto ciò in maniera gratuita. Amo questo gioco. Oh really? Oh? That's so sweet. He basically said that uh, he's gonna publish on my Discord some of his uh, art artwork, and uh, if I like it, uh, I may ask his uh, services. Thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate the idea. Thank you so much for the support and for the availability. Really? Now, no, 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 no. Okay. Whew. So, there is one bloody man here. Fortunately, we only triggered one single bloody man, so it's not too difficult to actually juke it. I may go and uh, reach for the old passage key, since we are here. Yeah, I may reach it, we are gonna get it eventually. Watched a lot of your videos, helped me quite a lot too, while trying to do S ending, still having hard time uh, uh, with doing Anki's one, which not, with no glitch. For this I got was, was Enlightened One. You can do it, my friend! Enli if you reach Enlightened One, it's just a matter of seconds. You got this. You got this, really. Trust me. What's the difference between Normal Ghost and the Bloody Man? You cannot use uh, necromancy on the bloody man. That's the main difference that I may consider in it. That is the main difference. Okay, the plan is very simple. We're gonna buy some elixir of mind, or maybe should I buy Alchemilia? Hmm. Alchemilia is gonna give me six, three light blue vials. Uh, no, that's not worth it. Three light blue vials right now. For now, we are gonna wait for the Alchemilia. Okay. For now, we just buy elixirs. Especially, we're gonna buy elixir of mind, because if we stay without mind, the battle is lost. So, elixir of mind all the way. Maybe not all the way, maybe... Let me let me also get uh, one or two elixir of body. How, the amount of stuff we have is increasing exponentially. Let's see. Five bottles of whiskey, five ale. Um, 40 dirt. <laughs> <laughs> After the yesterday's live, what do you have to? What do you, uh, what do you have to? I remember you needed volunteer. Oh, it was for the Roblox uh, roleplay. No worries. Uh, I already did it. No worries. No worries. There is no game audio. Oh, I forgot to put the game audio back. <laughs> You're right. You are absolutely right. Where is it? Why didn't you guys tell me? Why didn't you? <laughs> Whatever. You spend more time talking to yourself than I thought. More time talking to myself? What do you mean? I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> like, uh, well, I gotta be honest. One of the reasons for which I play here is because I'm able to talk to someone. Because there is so much stuff I want to say while I play. You have no idea the excitement I have to be able to, to share my thoughts with other people. You know what I mean? We were telling you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> then I didn't see, I guess. Then I didn't see. <laughs> okay. I think it's time to kill the Gaunt Knight. Gaunt Knight, it's not too problematic. We are probably gonna go with the safe strategy. Oh, also, we can craft seven torches because we only have seven cloth fragments. But uh, that's fine, we can get more cloth fragments in the future. Yeah, that's fine. Is the Night Lurch scene disabled in the sensor mode? The Night Lurch scene, no, it happens, but uh, it's censored. Literally. 
It's just censored. Now, there should be a Lord of the Flies, but we do have the White Angel Soul, so it's not a problem. Hello, Lord of the Flies! No, wait, actually! If, the, if we enter in battle with the Lord of the Flies, there is a coin flip that is gonna deal us 10 damage. Even if it's just 10 damage, I don't want to take uh, damage. <laughs> so, do we have uh, tobacco? 12 tobacco, by the way. 12 tobacco. I do watch anime. In the, in the past uh, months, uh, not so much because I have to do other stuff, you know? Between exams, in university, etc. But yeah, I do watch anime. Let's go! Here we are, here we are, okay. In the base turn, we just guard. In the extra turn, we are gonna destroy one arm. We should be able to one shot. Ooh, the miss! Yes! Oh, double! Double! Double miss! Okay. Nicola, thank you so much for the 10 euros! I would like to do it also to test myself and then I really like the community that has been created around you. Aww. I hope to be able to share with you the, all the affection I feel for this game. Yeah, I gotta be honest, this is maybe the nicest community I've ever seen. Thank you so much for the support, Nicola, really. And I agree with you. This is literally the nicest community I've ever seen in all video game communities I've ever seen. I was so lucky with this. Like, uh, I, I couldn't have hoped for a better community than this. Never. And, uh, miss, uh, me. The. Bro? That is not normal. Uh. Whatever. Uh. Bro? Are, are you. Are you fine? Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Now you're gonna never miss anymore. Yeah. We used all our luck. Now we are gonna be the one that miss, right? One, two, three, four, five. There it is! There it is! <laughs> Called it! Called it! <laughs> <laughs> perfect, that's a perfectly time cut stream or something. At least you're of mind, I want to finish this one soon. Guard. <sighs> Wait, how much damage do we take? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oof. 21 HP. Mm, no, I don't want to risk. I will need to heal myself regardless. But I still have the shield. Theoretically, I can take another hit. He does less than 10 damage, even if I miss another time. Yeah. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Um, bro. Okay. Yeah, uh, that, that's funny and all. Yeah, uh-huh. I, I keep misc against you, but uh, please. This is the instant karma. The <laughs> this is the instant karma, guys. He missed like a four times in a row and now, and now we miss a lot of times in a row. <laughs> that is the instant karma. No, 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 no. This, this is perfectly clear for me. This is inst this is the, the, the best instant karma moment I've ever had. Let's use another elixir of mind just to kill this stupid idiot. Okay, let's guard again, just to be sure. <laughs> we are not going to die. In the worst case scenario, we could just escape. Come on! Oh, finally. Okay. We should still guard in the normal turns. Hmm... Yeah, it's gonna halve the damage. We are gonna heal uh, the, um, the the bleeding. That's uh, three damage we don't want to. We don't want to take. Okay. Normal turn we guard. What did you do in your previous life? Uh, I don't know. Seven... Does he do 14 damage? That's crazy. Hmm... Maybe... Maybe I should... I should escape. Oh, I can't run for this battle. Okay. Maybe I should... Okay, let's just use ales to restore my mind. There is no need to use the others. So many elixirs and wines wasted for this guy. Not wasted. Invested. Invested is a better term. It was necessary. Like, there wasn't a way to do it without using them. There wasn't a way to do it without using them. Uh, yeah, we can use one chase of torment. It's not gonna kill him immediately. So it's fine. Poof. Okay. Here we guard. We need to heal our mind as fast as possible. Eh, six damage. Six damage, yeah. We are definitely able to tank another hit. I need to heal my mind. Even just by a little bit with ale. Perfect. Okay, let's guard another one. Then we're gonna heal. He takes the damage from bleeding in the meantime. 120 every turn is not a low amount. 
Hmm. Light blue vial? Light blue vial it is. Do you think a D&D &D campaign inside the dungeon of Fiavendanga would work well? Probably, yeah. It also depends from the people. Like, uh, honestly, Dungeons & Dragons campaign almost always depend from the people that are playing. Like, the campaign could be the best campaign ever, but if it's played by, uh, we may say, weird people, then the campaign is gonna be a disaster. You are really bad at conserving... Uh, what do you mean I'm bad at conserving items? <laughs> Will you and Connor ever collab again? I would love that. Uh, like, uh, in the last interaction we had, uh, it seemed like there was a uh, hope, there was uh, um, room for other collab collabs, but we never really talked about it, uh, and there isn't really a game I can think of we could collab on again. Uh, like, uh, I saw he played Baldur's Gate. Uh, I would love to play it. Also, Risk of Rain too, but... Uh, Hey, it would be kind of weird for me to just randomly appear. Uh, hey, hey guys, um, I, I'm Frappolo because uh, he usually he usually streams with uh, Iron Mouse, so I would be a little bit out of place. There it is. There it is. Ah, the final upgrade to our armor, and we still have the shield, which means more defense. Okay. Now. Now. <sighs> Iron Mouse is just the female Frappolo at the end of the day. Eh? Iron Mouse is female Frappolo? <laughs> what? <laughs> I would never imagine myself as Iron Mouse, honestly. Like, uh, <laughs> at all. Like, uh, I think me and Iron Mouse are completely different. Uh, I don't follow her that much, but uh, for, the, for the part that I saw, we are completely different. C9 Equinx mode. Uh, thanks so much for the $2, my friend. I love your content. Thank you so much for the super, then. I really appreciate it. Let me put the heart. Thank you so much, my friend. Now I remember this Chris Bro Chris Broad? Who even is Chris Broad? <laughs> Regular Eye Patrol said last stream that he's gonna do Fanger as endings in the future. You could hold his hand through the, the man like a toddler. Uh, <laughs> that's not the, the way I would have said that, but uh, I mean, if Super Eye Patrol wants, uh, I'm available for it, but uh, you know, I don't want to ask him <laughs> I'd want to ask him hey bro do you want to collab with me for the S ending eh, that's kind of weird you know what I what I mean so we do have one silver coins you know what does that mean we're gonna farm even more also since we go back it's finally time to kill salmon snake Isaiah and then we go back to farming Someone has already asked this, but have you played Darkest Dungeon? I did, my friend. I played it on the hardest difficulty without the DLCs. And I started Darkest Dungeon 2, but uh, eh, I really didn't like it as much as the first one, so I just stopped. But anyways, people are blessed to have you teach them. Aw, thanks. Uh, I always, uh, like, uh, I always love to be able to teach someone, uh, something to someone, especially if it's a thing that I'm very experienced about, because, uh, you know, when uh, when it's something I'm not experienced about, uh, I don't want to pretend I know stuff. And that's also the, the other reason that is keeping me from doing video essays about games, because I would need an incredible knowledge to do them. But anyways, the point, yeah, uh, I loved being able to do that, uh, like, uh, showing stuff that the people don't know, to, like, increase their knowledge uh, and the share information in general, because it's the, the that that's the whole thing that uh, brought uh, games like Fear and Hunger, uh, not Fear and Hunger, sorry, uh, Dark Souls uh, to a great status uh, in the community, like, uh, if you think about it, uh, one of the greatest parts of Dark Souls is the fact that you can, uh, in case you don't know something, you can interact the, with the community, they can tell you, ah, if you kill the, 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 the tail of the dragon, you can get a short sword that is very strong, and also, remember to go here and here to get some cool items that can help you in all the battles forever and ever, and uh, remember, where, for first in a smoke there is the summon of Solaire on the little pedestal in the staircase, then do this, then do that, do you know what I mean? Are you gonna play Baldur's Gate 3? Maybe, yeah. I may be interested in playing Baldur's Gate. Absolutely. Let's use one elixir of body. Perfect! The next enemy... ...is the lizard man. We need a lucky drop for the hard leather armor. So, lizard man, don't cheat me. No, I could, all, I could just wait until I get to the salmon snake soul before fighting him. So in case I miss... In case I miss... I will not have my limbs cut off. Yeah. Let's wait, did we get the granny last run? We didn't get the granny, we died against the granny last run. And that's why today, it's gonna be much different. I, are, I am more prepared, I got less empty scrolls, and I, did, I don't have the ring of wraiths. 
But I can assure you, today, I'm not gonna... I, even if I need five more hours to get all the stuff necessary to complete the game, we are gonna do it. I said it. Okay. Um... Also, since I'm in this floor, I could cook the meat I have with me. Yeah, I could cook it. I have a lot of rodent stuff, but I have the turnip. So, uh, Isaiah. I do have the White Angel Soul. Let's just go. Poof! Try to miss this, idiot. <laughs> okay, that's my boy, that's my boy, perfect. If the game added a new ending, did you have any kind of idea what could it be? Yes, sir. you can watch my discarded ending theory. That's what I wanted. A person created by the dungeon which is deeply connected to it that actually influences everything. That's the kind of ending I would love. I always wonder what Isaiah's coin toss does if you fail. Nothing. But there is an unused item called the Iron Branding, Branding Iron, which actually says that is uh, in the description says that it's used against the people that are marked, uh, to mark the people uh, that are that, that took the plague. And uh, Isaiah attacked is about a plague. So Isaiah is one of the people that con that has the plague. And theoretically, maybe, in one point of the dungeon, there was gonna be, I don't know, an enemy that was able to mark you if you had the plague or something, maybe? Or maybe a death cutscene against Isaiah, in which he just marks you, maybe? Welcome to Shim Subet! That's what I mean. Do you, do you understand? Alright, we got everything we needed from this part right here. Also, did we, did we go and take all the items from down there? I don't remember anymore. Oh, the goal! At the very start of the run, this goal was very problematic. Now it's just a pushover because we can just, uh... Run? So, down here, there were a lot of rooms with two guards. Uh-huh, throwing knife, cabbage... No, I don't... I have to not get stuck. I have to not get stuck. As long as we don't get stuck, we can do... I mean, even if I do get stuck, it's doable. I have my tobacco, I have my copium, yeah. Let's slowly smoke. Poof. Uh-huh. Run away. Uh-huh. Smoke. Uh-huh. <laughs> and we're gonna keep going like this. We're gonna kill this stupid guard. Technically, it's a waste of resources, but we are outside of battle. Mm. Or maybe we just don't care at all. Nah. Nicola! Thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend! Now you have the Karomo, learn your name and you can use the emojis. And most important of all, Welcome to the big shots, my friend. You deserve it. Uh, I went for the for the wall. Whatever. Thank you so much, my friend. All right. Now that Isaiah is dead, we can actually go and kill the Salmon Snake. And after the Salmon Snake, with the Salmon Snake soul, we go and kill the Lizard Man. What's your favorite PS2 game? That's a difficult question. I have never thought about PS2 honestly as a console by itself. I would say Persona 4, maybe? I'm not uh, completely sure, like I would need to think more about it. I would need to think uh, way more about it in order to give a concrete answer. On the spot, I would, I would say... Yeah, I would say... Um, Persona 4, on the spot. So, we could also kill the Cave Mother. Wait, uh, let's kill the Cave Mother. Why not killing the Cave Mother? We are here, we have a Soul Stone to collect the soul. Two Soul Stones, perfect, even better. All right, uh, are you ready to get another of the I don't know, another one of the souls required to complete the run? Here it comes. Also, here is another soul stone. Perfect. Boop. 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 Let me have fun. PS2 is the most popular console in Brazil, gaming history so by far. Oh, interesting. Here we are. Just to be safe, I am gonna guard in the normal turn in case I miss. Just to be safe, okay. Perfect. Are you ready to get tormented? <laughs> According to Jujutsu Kaisen, a way to get closer to someone is to ask, what's your type of woman? So, Polo, what's your type of woman? I... I love uh, uh, women that uh, 
like, how can I say it? You know, the those that are a little bit more... Uh, it's kind of difficult to explain it. Those that, have, that are very passionate about something. Like, uh, I want a woman that is able to express her feeling. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, even what I'm doing now to an extent, let me explain. What, what I hope to do with these streams is to be able to transmit the passion I have for this game to you, the excitement I have, that kind of stuff. That's what I want, basically. I love it. I love that part. If you think, uh, if you if you mean aesthetically, I would say longer uh, dark hair. The rest is not really important. <laughs> the rest is uh, aesthetically is not really important. Like uh, I give much more importance to the to this aspect. Of course, uh, it doesn't have to be. I don't know. It doesn't have to be uh, a literal uh, cave mother. Okay. But uh, apart from that, uh, I'm not uh, pretty. I'm not rigid on the aesthetic part. I'm not rigid. We may say it like this. Do you understand? Do you understand what I mean? Perfect. Let's go on the second part of the fight. Boom! Back from my nap. How many times did you restart uh, in this stream? Uh, two times overall, Brandon. Let's keep guarding. Basically, summary. Um. No, summary is not passionate. Uh, summary is more. Uh, Terrifying, uh, more than passionate. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Boom! Uh, and another one of the bosses. Is dead. Let's go to our boss list. There it is. Boom, boom. Boom. Let me take uh, the freaking thing. Okay. And Cave Mother is defeated. Three dead. Nine to go. Let's go back to normal. So, Capolo, you introduced me to Fear and Hunger, and now I love it so you're a big part of my gaming life now. Oh, thanks, Silly Billy. I'm happy to know that. I always love when I'm able to introduce new people to Fear and Hunger. I think this game deserves a lot more uh, recognition. We finished Torches. <gasps> we finished Torches. Uh-oh. Mm. But we have uh, eight cloth fragments. The fact we are finished, we are finishing Torches is pretty bad. Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jordan! Thank you so much for the 10 euros, my friend! Here's some money for support. Also, for some reason, I had a bu bugged lucky coin in the thicket loadout. I could always take and farm for some reason during my Yankee run. The idea is... If you don't take the lucky coin in the cave dweller village, the lucky coin in the thicket is always gonna be present. That's how it works. Thank you so much for the support, my friend! All right, <laughs> this was a pretty, this was a pretty nice surprise. Uh, being able to get so many, so many things. Also, it's time to craft uh, the brown vial. We may also craft another. Oh, wait! Two brown vial. Two. Hmm. We don't have to waste them. We don't have to waste them. Would you rather have the woman of your dreams or pocket cat? Uh, they're one of my dreams because uh, no, Pocket Cat. I always have time to find the woman of my dreams. Pocket Cat doesn't exist here, IRL. Pocket Cat, absolutely, absolutely. Like if you think about it, uh, <laughs> Pocket Cat doesn't exist, IRL. Like uh, <laughs> of course I would love to have Pocket Cat. So now, um, we need to kill the Salmon Snake. Salmon Snake is the next one that they have to kill. I don't have enough mind. I could go into battle with a cave dweller to restore mind. Mm. Temuji, thank you for the two BRL. Smash or pass, find your video when. I wanted to do something similar, but it seems a little bit uh, eh, odd. A lot of people may not, like, I don't know how to explain it. I think if I do a, a Smash or pass video, it's going to be very weird in some parts. You know what I mean? Maybe not on a video. Maybe I'm going to do it as a joke in a call on Discord server. Maybe, maybe. We'll think about it in the future, but thank you for the support, Temuji. We need a Fungus Measure Pest video. No! <laughs> no. Welcome, Shakespeare. Welcome to see my friend. How many... How many tobaccos? Three tobacco. Three tobacco should be now. Yeah! Yeah, let's go for the Salmon Snake. Let's actually go for that Salmon Snake. It should be fine. It should be fine. We have 80 mind precisely. But before smoking the tobacco, I'm gonna reach it. I'm gonna reach the Salmon Snake. If I remember correctly, Salmon Snake should be almost one-shotted. Almost because uh, he has like a little bit more than uh, the, the health required. The health required to kill it with the Chains of Torment attack. So if we are lucky, 
and we don't miss, he's gonna die immediately. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna adopt a slower strategy. A slower strategy that is also gonna use... Uh, how is it called? Gonna use Chains of Torment on the Tongue to kill the Tongue immediately. Okay, Gaunt Armor is there. White Angel Soul is equipped. Let's do this. Hello, pain of my existence. <laughs> Don't miss! One, two, three, four, five! Yes! Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this man. Ooh, miss! Okay, perfect. Uh, now we just wait. He should be dying in the next turn, if I remember correctly. So I'm just gonna wait. I don't even need to heal myself uh, in the mind. I don't even need. I am able to resist to um, the, the stun. There it is! Perfect. And now we get our juicy... Best soul in the game. Juicy best soul in the game. Also, let me fill some water vials with glass. We still have five glass vials. That's good. Uh, Night Lurch is far away. It's far away. Perfect. Okay. Someone's next soul garden. Let's go back on the list. Four dead... There it is. Eight to go. Just eight. We are at one third of the job. One single third. Andrea Wittich, thank you so much for the two, do two years and fifty. Someone's next measure pass. Um, technically, he's a dragon. Uh, mm, nah, pass. I'm afraid that he's gonna destroy me. No, 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 no. I pass. <laughs> No, 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 no. A dragon is too powerful. Uh, a dragon is too powerful, honestly. No, 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 no. <laughs> but thank you for the support, Andrea. <laughs> That's a very interesting question, by the way. So, what's the next step? The next step is we can kill the lizard man. We can actually kill the lizard man, and I'm gonna do it immediately. Hmm, I should use a door. I should use a door in the prisons. To maybe farm some mind. Because I think... Uh, Moonless, uh, uh, are you guiding me to the elevator? Oh, thanks, Moonless. You're so kind. Aw. That's my girl. Aw. Thanks. So. Embrace the fairy within you. Wait, guys. Uh, is... Uh, uh, would would it be? If you smash a dragon, are you a furry? Is... <laughs> is, that, is the dragon... <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> is the dragon really considered for that kind of stuff? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Ah, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I thought the furries uh, only had, uh, uh, you know, hair. Like a dragon has scales. Uh, isn't that uh, important towards what is a furry and what's not? Oh, we can't. Oh, no, we can't farm on these doors. Because we have the cell keys. Whatever. You're a skelly. It's different. Oh, a skelly. There is also the subcategory. I had no idea. Like, it's the first time I hear that name, the Skelly. Okay. I had no idea. Oh, here there is the Iron Shakespeare. We can farm on that door. We can absolutely farm on that door. Here we are. Oh, I need to, uh, to keep the thing. I need to keep the... The Sorcerer's Stone. That's not the Sorcerer's Stone. That's the Peculiar Doll. Okay. Let's go. Najwa, smash your pass. What, what, what do you... Dexy. Dexy, what do you do with Najwa exactly? I, 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 explain it to me. Like, eh? <laughs> like, do you want to get uh, incinerated or something? Would you rather, would you rather day, date Moonless Cave Mother or Skin Granny? Moonless Cave Mother or Skin Granny? Moonless, if you give her rotten meat, she's gonna stay chill. Skin Granny is gonna tear your face apart. Cave Mother is gonna. <clears throat> Whatever. Whatever. Don't scare me like this. Uh, you almost keep the thorn ring. I did, Theo. <laughs> Imagine losing all the progresses because you accidentally keep it. Maybe we shouldn't talk about this. Maybe we shouldn't talk about this uh, out loud, you know? Okay. The next step. Did we, did we kill the, 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 the Iron Shakespeare? Let me check. Uh, Iron Shakespeare is dead. Okay. So. So. Uh -huh. Let's go to the Lizardman. We have a chance to get the best 
uh, armor for fire attacks. Salmon's next soul, so even if we miss, we don't actually uh, take damage. And the reason I'm... No, wait. Uh, I can just carry with the white angel soul. Huh? Where is it? Bro? Uh, br bro? Oh, there it is. And we teach. Thank you so much for the six euros, my friend. Kiss, marry, kill. Cremona, lit guard, skin granny. Uh, kiss... Uh, 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 oh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Mm, kiss. Uh, uh, elite guard. M Mary Crowmoller. Kill uh, Skin Granny, I guess. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay? That's what I do. Okay. We guard in the normal turn. We are gonna use Chains of Torment in the extra one. Licking the lips so we don't get uh, poison. Okay. Chains of Torment. On the torso. Go! One, two, three, four, five! Boom! Oh. Mm. And that's why we guarded! That's why we guarded, guys! Do you see the strategy? That is indeed why we guarded. <laughs> because these, even though you play the best you can, this can still happen. But uh, we still have our shield arm and I'm not gonna lose it, no matter what. Chains of Torment! One, two, three, four, five! Okay. Give me hard leather armor. Hard leather armor! <gasps> okay! That, that's also good. It's not fantastic. It means for Francois we may need to use a different strategy, but that's okay. Shimpit, thanks for the, for the three euros, my friend. A skelly. <laughs> yeah, the people call me a skelly, so I guess that's what I am now. But No, I, I, I wouldn't smash the, the Salmo Snake. Absolutely no. Thanks so much for the support, by the way. I really appreciate it. Okay, first of all, we are poisoned. Poisoned, which means white vial. I should have one white... I, I should... I don't have white vials. Oh, there it is. Eight white vials. <laughs> I don't have white vials. <laughs> okay, we go back into the cave dweller village and keep farming, I guess. We kill this Aya. We kill the cave mother. Salmon snake. Iron Shakespeare. Carol Muller. Okay, all the Pere Mahaber bosses have been killed. If you had to die from a death animation, which one? Um, eh. The... Eh, that's difficult. I would say the Elite Guard one. The one in which uh, it uh, ki kills you with the Morning Star. That one. Kiss Mary, kill Marina, Bella, Olivia. Uh, kiss uh, Olivia, marry Abella, kill uh, Marina. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, uh, that's what they think. So. Ragnarvalder would only smash someone literally in the head, most likely. What's your favorite enemy design in this game? You mean, uh, aesthetically or design even in the sense of how the battle works? How the battle works? Chambara. Aesthetically, I think Darkness. The creature that uh, Najra summons from uh, Darkness. That's what I love. What I love. That, that aesthetic. Darkness. I love it. It's fantastic. Also because it shows you how powerful Najra really is. Like, uh, uh, Najra can use her thing which does uh, 350 damage. Bro! Najra freaking summoned a gigantic monster! That's what Najra can do! Okay. So, let's go back to the Cave Dweller Village. We did get a Ring of Braids, which is not too bad, but not what I wanted. <laughs> Could the Darkness defeat Grogor Remains? I doubt it. Oh, wait, you mean the Traces? Yeah! It could, actually. I'm pretty confident it could. Pretty, pretty confident. But anyways... First time I saw that thing, I actually shit myself- Yeah, exactly! <laughs> I also love that part, like, uh, not only the aesthetic, but also how impactful it is. For the moment in which uh, it appears, everything. It's fantastic, I love darkness. Darkness is uh, the, the, the monster summoned by Najra in the battle against Najra. That's what darkness is. Here we are, we have to do the, 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 the passage from up here once again. We're gonna lose another... Oh wait, we don't need to lose a Cloth Fragment, actually. We can just uh, keep the... the... Salmon's next soul. Ah, I have to be careful when I go there, because I have the Thorn Ring very near that. Okay. Boom! Uh-huh. Eh. And we are not bleeding, because we have the Salmon's next soul. Let's re-equip the White Angel, while we have to traverse this little part right here. Uh, yeah, okay. I am gonna... I am gonna escape. 
There it is! Uh, did you miss me? Did you miss me, little friend? I am back! Hello? Are you still without your arm? Perfect! Okay, first of all, let's go back to full mind and full health. Then we actually start farming again. I want... 99 silver coins. I will not continue playing without 99 silver coins. Okay? I just love how Moonless appears in Termina. The little girl grew so much and looked so cool. That's, that's true. I love as well that part. Even though... Uh, I think they could have done uh, something a little bit different with Moonless. Like uh, making her straight up uh, a complete enemy. Okay, she attacks you. Uh, but uh, I would have loved her to be a, a, like a, uh, a friend of the Moon God. Like uh, Moonless... Uh, being brainwashed by the moon god and going from being uh, moonless to moonful. Like, uh, moonless becoming a full moon. Imagine fighting an enemy called the full moon, which is a moonless, which is uh, way, way bigger, and that uh, freaking uses a, a sword in the mouth. I mean, uh, it's literally Great Wolf Sif, but uh, don't, don't think about that, okay? Okay. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Let me tell you, it's time for the farming! Farming music. There. We go. I agree without some school. Oh, thanks, Zambia. Yeah, imagine full moon. Like a. An, <gasps> moonless moon. Moonless moon scorched. Moonless moon scorched. Guys, guys, hey, hear me out. Okay. Moonless can get moon scorched. If you fight her in Mazo mode, she's gonna be called the full moon. And it's a different fight. Jesus, that would be cool. Jesus, that would be cool. <laughs> Full moon. I, I, orange, 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 orange. E orange. If you are listening to this, if you are listening to this, add full moon to the game, and make it so that if you are fighting on Mazo mode, her, she's always gonna be a full moon. Can you turn off the game sounds again? Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, that's true. I forgot. We're gonna stay here for a while. I want 90 silver coins at least. That'll be sick as hell. She's already one of the easiest fights even in Mazo. That's true. A literal girl without without wheelchair can do it. So yeah, I kinda agree, unfortunately. What would her Moonscorch form look like? I think uh, like uh, her eyes uh, should become way bigger. And uh, watching uh, everywhere. Hmm. And then I I really don't have any other idea for the, the design because uh, like uh, on the spot I wouldn't exactly know. But still, uh, the full moon part really intrigues me. <laughs> <laughs> what community would you live with in the dungeon? Hang with the, the blue man group, uh, gel with the guards, or maybe eat meat with either bunnies or wolves? I think... Hmm... I mean, the blue men have a farming industry, so they have the most survivability in the dungeon, actually. I think I would hang out with them. Like, uh, they literally have a cave moss that is growing in their city. They have a way to renew food. They are playing Stardew Valley, basically. They are playing Stardew Valley underground. <laughs> what do Italian women drink of... Uh, uh, think of foreigners asking for a friend? Italian women? Um, I don't actually know. I have never asked to women what do they think about foreigners. So, I don't know what to answer. I have never asked uh, to any girl I know about this. Uh, Blue men die to Moonless Guard. They do, but uh, like uh, they have a, a, a set up uh, agriculture thing. So they have the most potential to survive. Is Moonless recruitable if you're in Hunger 2? No, she is just an opponent. Alright, would you play a Hunger 3 that takes place in a dystopic future? Yes, I would love that, but. Uh, also, I would also like if. Uh... Orange has just uh, scrapped everything from the current story of Fear and Hunger and just made a new game called Fear and Hunger 3 without any connections to the others. I would love it. This is my most controversial take. But the point is, uh, you know, we already explored a lot. The new god uh, thing, uh, the, the way in which uh, old gods uh, abandoned humanity. Okay, there are some uh, unclear things. But I don't think everything has to be explained blatantly. Like, uh, I think uh, the uh, ending uh, C, I think it is, in uh, Fear and Hunger Termina, is much, much more fascinating than the others, because you have no idea what's going on. And uh, once you start dipping into the lore, you discover about the soul for etc. 
That's what I think. That's what I think. Like, uh, I, I generally think just starting... Like, uh, you, you already proved... Uh, Orange, you already proved you're able to do... You're, you're just describing Dark Souls 2. That, that's not true. That's not true, Zionis. Dark Souls 2 was made by a different director. And that's why it's completely different from uh, Dark Souls 1. Like, uh, if Miyazaki worked on Dark Souls 2, it wouldn't have been different. Orange can still work on Fear and Hunger, you understand what I mean? I'm not describing Dark Souls 2 at all. Also, Dark Souls 2 is deeply connected to the predecessor. The difference is Dark Souls 2 is a living plot hole. But I don't want to go into that uh, discussion now. <laughs> I don't want to go into that discussion. The point is, I think the story of Fear and Hunger is good. It's, it's, it's over. That, that's it, that's fine. Bloodborne, yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm describing Bloodborne in this moment. I want a, the Bloodborne of Fear and Hunger to come to fruition. Just in time for farming, hi, welcome Icarus! Exactly. I want what Bloodborne was for Dark Souls in Fear and Hunger. I want a second, uh, a second game that is actually way better than the main saga, which completely uh, overcomes it. And that is only available on PS4. So those that don't have a PS4 have to wait until the 60 FPS release is gonna be released for PC. That is never gonna happen. I think Fear and Hunger 3 will take place in the Vinland. Hmm, I don't know. Crazy theory, what if the moon, what if the moon in Terina forms a marriage with the soul for God? The reason is they are scared of a new God's power. I think they need of a new God power, okay. And they and uh, they need to join together and nothing can surpass them. That's kind of weird. New gods are uh, weaker than old gods. And also, it would be pretty weird to form a marriage in the first place. They are just, uh, they are concepts. They cannot form a marriage, like, uh, they are not physical entities, but, uh, hmm, hmm, like, uh, in general, a marriage of uh, two gods already exists. Vinushka. <coughs> so, and then a massive open world fear and hunger. Massive open world uh, may make him lose the charm. The one, co the one bigger, co biggest complaint I have about Termina is that the fact that the map is so large and the zones are much wider, is that you lose a little bit the sense of claustrophobia you got from the first game. Like, in the first game, there are tight corridors, and that's it. Maybe Mahaber, but Mahaber is not so big. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Like, uh, open world would ruin fear and hunger, in my opinion. Mirror needs uh, to, in my opinion, in my opinion, not go into the open world road, but go into the uh, tight place. Road because I think Termina was going a little bit too far with the zones, but uh, that's fine. You you can absolutely disagree. Same with Dark Souls and the Ring. Yeah, Elden Ring has a lot of good ideas, but unfortunately, the the good ideas are shadowed by the fact that there are a lot of problems. I love Elden Ring personally, but yeah, that's similar to we may describe the pro the, the the Elden Ring incident. The thing I'm, I'm trying to describe with fear and hunger. <laughs> That's why uh, Mirror should uh, two into the tight place. No, <laughs> Mirror should uh, stay onto the tight place theme. You know what I mean? No, I'm not saying larger zones cannot have an oppressive atmosphere. No, 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 no. Don't uh, misunderstand me. I'm saying that uh, Termina, in my opinion, didn't didn't do this well. I'm not saying uh, you can't uh, make uh, a large zone uh, with a obscure atmosphere. I'm saying Termina, in my opinion, didn't do this well. So if Mirror stays on that topic and makes it even worse, then it's gonna be problematic for the for this for the survivability of the game. You know what I mean? Fear and Hunger 3 setting the Cold War spa space race. Villain will colonize rare. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> That'll be cool. Warmth as the torch mechanic. Wait. You're just describing the ideas of the podcast. Wait. <laughs> you're just describing the ideas of the podcast. I asked on Reddit and the personal, and uh, he personally replied that uh, his next game will be something completely different. It was honor to get an answer from you. <gasps> Did he say that? Nice! That's good. Completely different. Okay. Maybe we are on the good road. Maybe we are on the good road. Maybe it's uh, for real gonna be separated from the lore. Maybe. Also, uh, di did we get any coins? S we only have six co- Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Whatever. 
current hunger, diabetes, you eat to recover HP, but it makes you fat and slower each time. Uh, there was a game, was it Metal Slug that did it? There, there is like a food that gives you points, but it also makes you uh, bigger and you are uh, like you, you are uh, you have more difficulty to jump, etc. Interesting. Have you ever played Inscription? If you haven't, uh, I recommend it. It's a fantastic game. I have never played Inscription. I may be interested to play that. I know it's a card game, so I may be interested because uh, for those that don't know, I was a Yu-Gi-Oh player up to I don't know. Four, five months ago, then I just stopped. Uh, Master Duel play right away. I never had a physical deck because I don't. I didn't have the money to to buy any cards. Like uh, the, the the last deck I had was a light sword deck, literally. Which character in Fiona Hunger is the best hugger? The best hugger, Moonless or the girl? One of the two. Moonless maybe shy. The uh, sorry, the girl is shy. Moonless is more uh, direct. So maybe Moonless. Alright, funny you mentioned it, Frapper. I'm currently sleeping a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Nice! <laughs> nice. I, only, I, I loved when I was a child the feeling of buying a new uh, booster pack of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, getting an ultra rare. Now I kinda lost that feeling, so that's why I don't play anymore. If you don't win in two turns, you lose. That's kind of a stretch chosen one, but yeah, yeah. The problem of Yu-Gi-Oh is that it's so complex, which is not a problem in the sense that it's bad. It's a problem in the sense that... Uh, I don't like it anymore. Like, the game uh, is still functioning, we may say, absolutely. I'm never gonna say, oh, I'm not gonna go on the classic, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh now is bad because the turns are very long. No, no, no. It just became something else. I just don't like the something else it became. Did you play the H version of Black Souls or the C4 version? Both, my friend. Both. The H version, I played it when I played Black Souls on my own. The, 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 the C4 work when I played the Black Souls on the channel. If you are interested, guys, I have a full Black Souls playthrough, Soul Level 1, Difficulty 9, on my channel. If I was born five years earlier, I feel like I would have been addicted to Magic the Gathering. Yeah, Magic the Gathering actually may be good. I've never tried it, uh, unfortunately. I've never tried it, but, uh, hmm. I don't know, it seemed uh, like a, when I was a child, it seemed so uh, convoluted. Now that I think about it, maybe I made the wrong choice. <laughs> Dweldering Soul Level 1, nah, I don't really want to Dweldering Soul Level 1 in this moment, nah, nah. Come on, can we get some money, please? <laughs> it's gonna be so long, okay. I want to give myself a timer. No, no timers, actually. No, no, no. I'm gonna stay here all the time required. We are not greedy. It's not even about the turns being long, it's about the game turning it from a strategy game to a game where your only objective is to decimate the opponent's HP as quick as possible. Not exactly. Like, the point is, uh, now the game uh, does the same thing, but much, much in a more convoluted way. Master Girl Quest crossover with Fear and Hunger? I mean, Master Girl Quest does some collaborations. Imagine if they contact Fear and Hunger. Imagine if they contact Fear and Hunger. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I would pay bad money for it. Uh, Pinko Pig, can you please? Do I need to really do another bathroom pose? <laughs> do I need to really do another bathroom pose? Ah, did I miss something? No, Afri, you really didn't, didn't miss anything. Like, <laughs> you really didn't miss anything. I got 15 minutes in before losing the priest coin toss. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Understandable. Darkwood, I want to play Darkwood in the future, actually. I want to play Darkwood in the future. Another A, okay. Even though we are not getting uh, uh, coins, we are getting a lot of mind-restoring items. I may actually, you know, stop farming and just take the treasure map from Isaiah and use the remaining money I, I have to buy Elixir of Body. Because I have a lot of mind-restoring items already. Weirdest but most wanted crossover with Fear and Hunger? Hmm... With fear and hunger. Hmm, that's kind of a weird question. Uh, let me check for a second my library of games. Uh, weirdest, don't starve together. I think there would be an interesting crossover between don't starve together and fear and hunger. I want uh, in don't starve together the crow molar as a boss fight. I want uh, the crow molar as a boss fight, and in fear and hunger, I want uh, I want the how is it called? The Dungeon Guardian as a boss fight. In the mines. That's what I want. Easy. In the mines, you don't have the Crow Molar, you have the Dungeon Guardian. Which is gonna be a gigantic Rhino 
which is literally based around darkness, maybe, with a similar design. I would love it. That would be interesting. Imagine, don't start together, X, fear and hunger. Just got into the game a few days ago and I've been loving binging all your videos. Oh, thanks, big w 33 d 420 Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. So, yeah. I'm waiting for a fear and hunger sensor mode that doesn't add black bars or pango picks and sensor things in a more natural way, like adding loincloths or just making stingers look like stingers. Eh? Stinger... Stingers look like stinger. But whatever. What is the art on top of the, ch the, the chat that looks cool? Oh, that's the art from uh, Black Souls. A game... Uh, H game? That uh, you, ca you can actually find a full playthrough of it on my channel if you're interested. If you want to see what is the game about. That guy, the guy that made Black Souls make makes great art. Great art. We will consider making a mod where you can use Devour skill in mid-battle to devour your enemies. That's too much work. Like, uh, the only mod I'm doing uh, is a bug fix mod, because I want the game to be playable. I think I'm gonna leave the extra content mod to other people. I think I'm gonna leave the extra content mod to other people. Whatever. Can you give an in-depth analysis on Hegel's phenomenology of the spirit? Yes. So... Hello, Rob, I just got home. What did I mean? What did I lost? Welcome, Detox. We are farming. Uh, this is probably one of the, 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 the last or the second last farming moment of the stream. Because after this, we are for sure gonna die. Uh, we are for sure gonna win. Also, hmm. Since we are at it, we may kill the Dark Priest to have a chance for a priest robe, to have a chance for an empty scroll. Hmm. Hmm. That seems a good plan, honestly. Hello for Apollo. I learned about your channel from Connor and I've been binging your content since. Good stuff. Oh, thanks, Giulio Aurelio. Thanks so much, my friend. The bosses I've done until now are these. We are missing White Angel, Black Witch, Butterfly, Old Guardian, Neil, Van Valtel, Chambara, Francois. Easy. I could kill the Black Witch. I could kill the Black Witch. Hmm. Before trying to kill the Black Witch, I think I should try to get some magic protection items, though. Hmm. Why are H games, H scenes called that? Like, what does the H stand for or anything? Um, it's a particular category of... Uh, uh, I didn't want to say it, but uh, the guys answered you. <laughs> I didn't want to say because uh, Mr. YouTube is always watching. Uh, so... So... Uh, is there a mode that adds the Vowers and Soulstone filling option to the other choices? Uh... No, never seen a mod like that. It'll be cool. It would be cool. Maybe someone is working on it, who knows. You know, the world is very wide. Maybe someone in the world found this necessity. I don't really find this necessity, honestly, but... Uh, will you do a Fanger power scaling video? Like a tier list or something? You mean, uh, in difficulty of the enemies lore-wise? Nah. I will do a tier list of the bosses. Like, uh, from how the mechanic of fighting them is. Like, uh, that kind of stuff, you know? But uh, apart from that, no. The boss is like, I don't want to do something lower wise in a tier list. If I use a soulstone on... Uh, oh, wait. If I use a soulstone on you, what kind of per per perks would I get? Eternal damnation, which comes with great intelligence. Because everything has a price to pay. If you want the enlightenment, you need to suffer 100 years of pain in the span of a second for the rest of your seconds of your life. That's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. Uh, uh, this is still for Polo Run. Yes, sir. we didn't die. We are still here. We are just getting some money in order to potentially buy more elixirs. You sure you don't want to hang out, uh, bro? I live in UK. I will, I will, I'll watch you play. <laughs> Video Clank, uh, I, I need to complete this run. I need... How Termina could have more claustrophobia while maintaining the Resident Evil aspect of it? Pretty simple. Just make the areas less opened. Cut off the whole uh, uh, trees part, please. Just make it a freaking, uh, I don't know, a freaking uh, little zone you pass through. Make more ruins in the city. Uh, make the city less big. Like, uh, the, point is, the point really is that the map is, the map is very wide, the sewers are very big, the city is very big. It would be, uh, you would need to rechange from, the, from the, the start in order to change something in the map, honestly. You know what I mean? It's a difficult change to change it afterwards, I don't know how to explain it. Welcome Nick, we are farming with the Pinecone Pig, in order to complete the run. 
Are you farming for 19 or for 90 coins? What do you think I'm farming for? Not me, a mer me, merely 19 coins or 90 coins? I sent you the message from Miro to your Discord PM. It, uh, it might be very interesting or to you or even disappointing. Oh, thanks, Yasek. I'm gonna check it out later. So, I don't mind the city being big. No, 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 yeah, that's perfectly fine. I think the city being big reduced a little bit the claustrophobia aspect of the game. Be because, I don't know, being a bigger ambience... I'm not saying bigger ambiences cannot create claustrophobia. It's the exact opposite. Like, uh, if you think about Shining, in Shining, the whole purpose that makes you scared while watching the movie, not scared, but uh, more uh, uh, annoyed, which uh, serves to the scare part, is the fact that the, the hotel is so big compared to the, the people that are inside of it. That's what makes you very scared, okay? So yeah, big places are able to actually scare you. But I think Termina didn't do it well, regardless. Why are you still on this cave dweller? Oh, because I need more items. That's... that's why. <laughs> that's basically why. Party... play Lies of P. Lies of P? Oh, I heard that name, I've never played it though. How many... how much money do I have? 58! Oh, 58! That's not bad. That's not bad. We, we may actually... we may actually keep going. Very soon I want to kill the Dark Priests in order to have a chance to get a priest robe. If we do get a priest robe, we're gonna have a much easier time. Is it possible to use enemy skills through cheating? It is possible, Zionis, and I think some of them may actually work. Potentially almost every single one of them. Except the coin flip attacks. Like, the coin flip attacks will not work for obvious reasons. Unfortunately. What's your ideal pinecone pig size? Uh, like a... a mouse size, I would say. I want a pinecone pig of the size of a mouse, honestly. I'm going to make an H version of Fear and Hunger called Vrekt and Nere. Uh, uh, Fear and Hunger is already H, whatever. The characters are Kukara, Harsi, Kinky, and Onde Ragnavalder. <laughs> Onde Ragnavalder, okay. <laughs> That's an interesting name. So, you know what? In order to stop the monotony, we may actually stop farming here and go back into the main entrance. Because if we go back there... We may try to kill the Dark Priest that we do have... We do have... Uh, six Copium, six Tobac... Nah, let's just stay here. Max Steve 136 thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend! Now you have the Kermode under your name. You can use the emojis. And you are officially a big shot. Welcome, my friend. And thank you so much for the support. What does the Pico Pig do? Bro. Are you really asking me? What does the pinecone pig do? Bro, are you really asking me? What does the pinecone pig do? B bro. Oh, Andrea Wittich, thank you for the two years and 50. Kiss, Mary Kill. Marty, Bazo, Joy Mutant. Mm. Okay. Kiss uh, is gonna be. Uh, oh no, that's so cruel. Okay, you know what? Kiss uh, Joy Mutant. Uh, no, wait, actually, no, that's even worse. Oh, that's even worse, no. Uh, uh, kill uh, Bazo. Kiss uh, Marty. And uh, marry Joy Mutant. Joy Mutant is less less monstrosity than Bazo and Marty, in my opinion. That's it. Mirthful Mega Mirk Mayhem. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Now you have the Carumoller. You can use the emojis. And once again, welcome between the big shots. This was your chance. And you are indeed a big shot now. Welcome, my friend, and thanks. Ah, <sighs> so I think we we may actually go to the priest. What do you think, guys? Do we go to the priest right now and we try to get some loot, or do we stay here? Very soon, the farming is gonna end regardless because we need to go to the vendor in Mahabre. And I think after the farming ends, we can try to defeat some enemies, like uh, some boss souls enemies. I mean. If I had a fifth monitor, you would be there. <laughs> Instead, look at me, mister, that stair says hi. I only have one single monitor, because my desk is not big enough to make space for multiple monitors. I mean, theoretically I could, but I would need like a, a smaller monitor on the side, which would be kinda annoying. Also, looking at multiple monitors may feel very weird to me, because I've never been uh, used to actually having multiple monitors. You know, that kind of stuff. But anyways. So, I have an arrow. You know what? 
Let's go to defeat the Dark Priest. To have a little bit of pause from the from the from the farming. Let me reapply the volume. There it is. Okay. I've heard Kaharas as enemies in canon. Is that true? Uh, the point is, I cannot tell you, Gustavo. Like, uh, some people are gonna agree, some people are gonna disagree. It really depends from uh, who you are talking to. Because there are just uh, theories. There is not an objectively correct theory about this. Because for now we don't have enough proofs about it. That's the gist of it. That is the gist of it. Uh, we go back from the... From the downest part, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. This game is like a Souls game, you decide what story you believe. Yeah, I mean, Dark Souls is more clear with the lore. Like, there are a lot of more certainties than in uh, Fear and Hunger, honestly. Like, if you think about Solaire uh, being the son of Gwyn or not, that's really well explained if you played the whole saga. I'm not gonna say if he is the son of Gwyn or not because of spoilers. But you know, like, I think uh, Dark Souls gives you a lot more certainties than other games. Uh, how long, uh, uh, how do you kill uh, the soul bosses without attacking? With Chains of Torment. That's how I kill them, fish with legs. This is a Chains of Torment only run. I used Chains of Torment to kill them. <laughs> but whatever. Same thing goes for Fanger, Termina makes out of stuff cannon. No, not a lot. That's the point. Not a lot of stuff cannon. Okay, there are some things uh, that became become canon because of uh, Termina. But you can't say that, the, that like the lore revealed itself. No, no, absolutely no, absolutely not. But uh, here we are. So two chances of getting priest robe, and we're gonna get a soul stone also, which is not half bad. Now, remember they have a built-in coin flip attack. We enter into battle. Do I have something that reduces the fire damage? I don't. I don't have anything that reduces fire damage. Hmm, Ferramo increases fire damage. No, if they use the lantern, they use the lantern. I can't do anything about it. I enter, I kill one, I escape, I kill the other. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, boom! Okay, waves the lantern. Now we escape, he's gonna be dead, and we can smoke our copium. Copium for everyone! Copium for everyone! Let's go! Oh, Boom! Okay. Perfect. So, we find talisman, priest robe! We have another empty scroll, guys! We have another empty scroll! Another priest robe! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect! Okay. Perfect. This gives us a very small amount of magical defense. Hmm. Why do you do that, Lamao? Because I want to, Agent. Why do you watch the stream? Because you want to, right? <laughs> hmm. You know what's the difficult part? The better RNG I get, the more sad. I'm gonna be if I fail the run. Ah, oh, the more sad I'm gonna be if I fail the run! Hmm. Okay. We got the priest robe. What do we need the next empty scroll for, though? Under Witch, thank you so much for the 2 euros and 50! Kiss, Mary kill, bread, Lisa, Terry. Oh. Terry, Mary. <laughs> Terry, Mary. Terry, Mary. Kiss, uh... Bread and kill Lisa. That's what I do. Thank you for the support under we teach. Hmm. What is Gaunt Armor? Gaunt Armor is the armor you get by killing the Gaunt Knight in Mahaber, my friend. Um, guys, what do you think we should get with the Empty Scroll? I can't think of any good target. Skills are useless. I could get Alchemilla Volume 1 to reduce the farming, but... Uh, hmm. 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 Let's smoke some more Copium in the meantime. Okay, Copium is there. Heh. How much time have you spent on this run so far? I think around uh, three hours, I think. Face step, it, it's a skill, we can't use it. Hmm. Italian Usbando, escape plan. Uh, no, I don't need escape plan. I can't use the run uh, skill regardless, so escape plan will not work. Silver coin, shut up. Hmm. How many, how much silver coin, how many silver coins do we have? 
We have 61 silver coins. If we go back to the cave dweller and we farm until we are at 99, then we go to Mahabre and we may actually try to complete the run. And when I say complete, I mean complete. With a uh, C in caps, okay? Hmm, the rules are on the side, uh, Ashval of us. Uh, like, uh, they are literally on the side! What? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I placed the rules on the side so that people don't have to ask uh, where are the, what are the rules. <laughs> the rules are literally on the side! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> I found it really funny, but... Uh... <laughs> sorry, sorry. This is not meant to laugh at you, this is to laugh with you, of course. Gustavo, thank you for the chubby RL, my friend! Uh, kiss, marry, kill, moonless, girl, chore, chore. Marry... Chore, chore. Kiss, uh, moonless, kill, uh, girl. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay, face step allows glitches to be done, that's why it's banned. No, it's banned also because it's a skill. <laughs> like, it's a skill regardless. <laughs> what are some future Fear and Hunger challenges or content videos, live runs you are planning to do? Uh... No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. Zionis, thank you for the $5! Dash is used all the time, you're always cheating. Uh, Zionis, can you read on the side? Look in the parentheses. Dash isn't used, so it's allowed, okay? Also, it's my challenge, so Zionis... You can go to jump into the blood pit. Into the freaking toilet, okay? You're gonna stay there for the rest of the run. Perfect. But thank you so much for the support. So I don't know what to get with the with the new empty skull we have access to, honestly. I don't know what to get. Hmm. Hmm. Is there some piece of equipment we don't have access to anymore that we actually need? We may get to the hard leather armor for Francois fight. Hmm. You are only used to uh, supposed to use Change of Torment, uh, no blocking and no items. Uh, you do your challenge, I do mine. <laughs> hmm. Kind of lost count of the time watching the stream. Uh, all the best for the ending, my guy. Hope you don't stumble upon a night toward toward the end. Thanks so much for coming, Sayani. See ya. Thanks so much for coming. Hmm. You know, for now we really don't don't need to think about what to get with the empty scroll. There is still plenty of time to think about that. Yeah. But we could go and fight this King Renny. Are we ready? Let me see how much stuff do we have. Okay, let's look for a second all the stuff we have access to, okay? Let's look for a second. Three light blue vials. Then... Five elixir of body, which means overall eight stuff that recovers 80 each on average. Okay, so 640 HP healed. Elixir of Mind? We have a lot of Elixir of Mind, right? Uh, yeah, and also we have a lot of uh, bottle of whiskey. And ales, to that, to that extent. Kiss, Mary kill, Darth Raccoon, Maldedug, Albon Jones. Uh, kill... Uh... Oh no, that's difficult. Kill uh, Albon Jones. Kiss, Dark Raccoon, Mary Maldog. <laughs> Let's do it like that. Does Greater Block Magic not work for chains, or is it not allowed even though it's a passive? Greater Block Magic is not a passive. No, wait, no, actually, yeah, it is a passive, but yeah. It, it doesn't work for uh, Chains of Torment. It only reduces the cost of Necromancy and uh, Hurting, and uh, the HP cost of uh, Blood Golem. So yeah, it's not, a, it's, it's not useful. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We are gonna kill this King Granny, guys. I am going to skin Granny. Let's go. We don't have anything else to do, right? Am I forgetting something? What about the escape plan? The point is... Uh, Guys, let me explain. Escape plan only works for the skill escape run, not for the battle menu escape. We can't use the escape skill run. So, escape plan is useless. I could get the Alchemilla, the problem is, uh, Alchemilla, we may already get it by farming a little bit more. Is there something more necessary than the Alchemilla that we actually need right now? The best thing I'm thinking about is the hard leather armor to fight Francois more easily. Because Francois is gonna deal TREMENDOUS fire damage to us. There is another thing we may get, which is the trench coat, by killing um, Body Snatcher. The point is, I don't want to enter into a battle with the Body Snatcher, because if the Body Snatcher lands the Paralysis Dart, 
we are done. There is no way to move after we are hit by the paralysis dart, and we are gonna lose into the battle. Do you understand that? So I don't want to risk taking the trench coat. We are getting stuck. We are getting stuck. We are getting stuck. Okay. We are fine. Hey! <laughs> the road is blocked, it seems. Okay, perfect. Hmm. Are we gonna stay there? <laughs> Bro! Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Can you... Uh, uh, bro? B bro? Uh, baba boy? Baba boy? Can you move? Can you freaking move? Please, stop going up and down! Uh, bro? Uh, okay. Come here, come here, come here! <laughs> the pain just to reach the freaking Mahabre to maybe die after all this farming! Okay. Fight Francois with four armor. No, 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 no. You think I'm stupid? You think I'm stupid? Welcome, Carlos. It's going pretty well. Let's just enter into battle with the Night Lurch. Oh, take advantage. Okay. Goodbye. I could have killed it. It was five silver coins. Ah. I mean, technically, we can kill it. We can escape with the White Angel Soul until we get the prompt of taking advantage. Easy. I didn't think about it, but we can actually do it. There it is. Take advantage. Get tormented, idiot. Boom! There it is! Yasek, thank you so much for the 129 CCK, my friend! Lend him your energy, share your energy with him! Citizens of the universe, lend him your energy! Dragon Ball Z for Apollo 94 and Son Goku, good luck! <laughs> thank you so much, Yasek, for the support. I really appreciate that. And there it is, five silver coins. We could also go and kill the other Night Lurch to get five more silver coins. Hmm. Let's smoke Copium first of all. Hmm. Nah, we don't need to do that immediately. We can wait. We can do it later. We can do it later. Okay. That Night Lurch was destroyed. I don't know why I didn't think about just killing it prior with this technique of waiting for the take advantage moment. Where does Night Lurch keep coin? Um, somewhere near the horn. Okay. So, body snatcher! My, the desperation of my life. Are you still here by any chance? Oh, there it is. Okay. Remember, we don't want to fight the body snatcher. He's the currently only way to get a guaranteed fireproof armor. But I don't want to fight him because it's dangerous. Long story short. There is the bloody man, we're gonna make a uh, ring around the rosy. Perfect. <gasps> Almost went to the bird trap. Almost went to the bird trap. What do you think about Final Fantasy VIII? I love Final Fantasy VIII. It's one of those games in which I love actually being able to manipulate numbers to gain great advantage. Ah, <sighs> okay. So. Is there something we need to do here in the present? Not really. It's safer to go into the uh, wild in the past to, kill, to the skin granny. It's time to fight the skin granny, guys. Make your bets. Because now we are either gonna win immediately or lose. What do you think, guys? Am I gonna be able to beat the skin granny? Or am I gonna have a very slow and inexorable death? Tell me. Make your bets. Do we have some believers or some non-believers in the chat? Lose, win, lose... <laughs> I already two lose, okay. Many silver coins, 78, okay. Uh, thank you for the follow, Timothy Ogden. Thank you so much, my friend. Explosive vial, ring of the steel blood, nitroglycerin powder. It's lagging a little bit, let's open and close the menu to reset it. Ryan Solis, thanks so much for the two dollars, my friend. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go indeed! We're gonna kill that stupid granny! We're gonna make him fall off the chair! You're gonna see, you're gonna see! Thank you so much, Ryan, I really appreciate it! Okay, Scarab, we don't need to care about the Scarab, okay. Let's take the loot from Jean. Blue vials. Which means one light blue vial. And a lucky coin. Perfect, we have more stuff. More light blue vial. Two more light blue vials. Not to underestimate it. Only seven sticks, but uh, if we farm a little bit more with the Pinecone Pig, we potentially have infinite sticks. Perfect. So, quick question. The other day I was able to do all the S runs, uh, and there was something weird I noticed while doing the infinite empty scroll glitch with Enki, it registers just the marriage. Yeah, it does. It just makes you disappear after using the Golden Throne. Yeah. Don't use the glitches, you idiot. 
you have to do it by yourself. That's the, the gist of it. <laughs> the empty scroll spot is gonna make you... Uh, it's gonna make the game think you're the marriage. Don't use it, idiot. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm just joking, by the way. I love you. Here we are. Parista robe. Parista robe, tear the cloth, and the rest. So. <sighs> Here we are. Hello. First of all, it's full of crates that we can actually loot. Glass vial, glass vial, uh, nothing that can't be loot, I guess. Tinder boxes. Can we get some more silver coins? Uh, I don't really need to care about the torch, honestly. Here we are into the brothel. Hello. Yeah, yeah. No, no worries, guys. No worries. Uh, yeah, there is nothing happening. I will not turn. I will not turn on a torch for some reason. Nothing too special. Trust me. It's just that I don't want to. I want to do some torch management because I know exactly where to go. That's why. Do you understand that? It's just torch management. It's better if you don't see any of these, because uh, there is nothing here, really. You just have to run through a straight corridor, and then you go back after you visit the, she the scene. So you actually can proceed into the next zone and stop doing the sound, you stupid idiot. Okay, uh, so... As I was saying, uh, um... See, uh, yes, um... Yeah, we go up here, we go up here. Pocket Cat! I love you! Come here, Pocket Cat! Pocket Cat! Pocket Cat! Uh... I mean, I don't really see anything. I don't really see anything. Are we gonna see? Uh, we don't. We 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 even barely see the pocket cut on the screen. No. Okay. You know, I may light up a torch. Actually, eh, this is kind of difficult without a torch. No, okay, it's doable. Let's take some more stuff. Rotten tomato. Ooh, who got torch? I do have a torch. Here there is an enemy, but uh, nah, whatever. Torches are not the main problem of this of this challenge. Let's just use them. Okay, then we- <gasps> Two light blue vials from the chest! That's very good. That's incredibly good. Hello, Enki! Hello, Enki! Yeah, 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 yeah. you are tormented, you are dark, you are uh, a goth, you are uh, not the uh, boy band, uh, uh, like a uh, uh, music player or something. No, 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 no. You are so cool, yeah, go away. Now, give me my guaranteed empty scroll. So, here we get... Uh, Opium powder, copium powder, and then empty scroll. Okay. Now we go back to the goat armor. And here, we should keep the iron mask just to be double safe in case we forego to guard. Hmm. Hmm. What are those noises? Oh, they're, do they're doing cardio. It's a gym. No worries. Hmm. Am I gonna remember to guard in the normal turns, or am I gonna forget? Nah, whatever. Whatever, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, even like this. So. Now. Here there are some more crates on the left side, if I remember correctly. There they are! There they are. Wooden buckler, bone saw, bear trap. If you move a little bit more, we're able to take even a stick, which is not bad. Silver coins! That's perfect, that's perfect, okay. Let's continue, let's continue. We're almost there. Hello, Ragnarvaldo, yeah, your population died, etc. Are you part of the group that thinks Enki is an ugly hunchback goblin, or the group that thinks Enki is a fanboy goth? I think Enki Enki's a chad, honestly. <laughs> Neither of those. Enki is just the chad, in my opinion. You created the tutorial for the skin granny, I hope you remember when you block. Uh, the problem is, if I accidentally miss the guard, is the problem. Also, the fact that they make a tutorial doesn't mean I'm gonna remember that information forever and ever. It's full of information that sometimes I forget, like... <laughs> you know, it's not like uh, because you, you made the tutorial on something, you are the... you are always gonna know that thing. There is also the I for gore part. So... Now... Yeah, the rest of the story. Let's take uh, an explosive vial. Eh, uh, decent, decent, and pinecon. <laughs> Until the end, of the pinecon. Okay. Here we are. Skin Granny is here. We're gonna start with some grilled meat. Then we keep the salmon snake soul, which is essential. I'm gonna place. Uh, mm, Hmm. I get more defense with the Gaunt Bass in it, though. Wait, do I? Let me let me double check. She does slashing damage, if I remember correctly. Let me check which one gives more defense, because I don't remember. Uh, Iron Mask, 
is... Iron Mask gives 90% uh, slashing. Gaunt Bastinet, 85% uh, slashing. I mean, it's a 5%. It's not gonna be so impactful. I prefer doing this, so in case I ac accidentally don't guard, I'm gonna be safe. I prefer doing that. I prefer doing that. Okay, first turn, Brown Vial. Then, Chains of Torment. Then, we win. Okay. That's the gist of what we have to do. Summon Snake Soul? Yeah. I have a mask? Yeah. Oh boy, let's do this! Round two! Idiot! Ah. Okay. Brown Vial, because I want to be COMPLETELY safe! Hello, Granny. I'm so happy to be alive. Ah, I'm so happy, you have no idea. Okay. Now, in this turn, we can not heal us. We can use an Elixir of Mind. Or maybe we can use Bottle of Whiskey. Now, this is a boss fight. On boss fights, I have to use Elixir of Mind. It's on the other enemies that they have to not use them. Okay, we guard again in the normal turn. Okay. I could use another Chains of Torment and end the battle immediately. Like, immediately. Because she has 1800 HP. But, we are playing this safe. You know what does it mean? If we miss the Chains of Torment, we are in a bad position. Actually, no, wait. Wait, let's think about this. If I miss the Chains of Torment, I have to heal in the normal turn. Nah, nah, it's not convenient. No, I don't want to risk. I risk to lose even more resources if it doesn't work. Let's go very slowly. Light Blue Vial. I don't need to risk anything. How has critical state not happened? I have a keep to the Salmon Snake Soul. That's what. That's how. What do you mean, Oracle? You don't know the... The Salmon Snake Soul protects you from uh, critical state. Always. Okay. See you in hell. Boop. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Oh. Skin Granny is dead. Okay. That's a good start. That's a good start. Can you hurry up with the dialogue? I have five mind. If the mind goes to zero during the cutscene, I'm gonna feel so angry. I'm gonna feel so angry. If the mind goes to zero during the cutscene. Okay, I have the torch equipped though, so it's, it should be fine. Yeah, 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 Your psyche is crumbling. No, no, I agree, I agree. Come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Yeah. Five mind, okay. Whew. Okay, let's use ale. No, wait, let's use the copium. Let's use the copium. Ales are still usable in battle. Let's use the copium. There it is, copium. Ah, we were the big shot this time, fortunately. Okay. Boss list. Boss list. Boss list. It's not time to rest, because it's still full of dangerous enemies to kill. Like, look at that. We have to still kill Valtail, Chambara, and Francois. We just killed the, the, the first one, which potentially was the easiest one, because uh, Skin Granny does low damage overall. The real problems are gonna be Valtail and Francois. They are gonna be the real problems. Valtail, if we get bad RNG, has the potential to completely kill us. Completely. Like, not even joking. Valtail is the scariest one. Hmm. You skin that Grand Italian man. <laughs> okay, what do what do we do now? Uh, I'm um. Uh, let's let's relax for a second. Let me drink also in the meantime. <laughs> We could kill the Black Witch. We do have the Priest Robe to take a little bit less damage from magic attacks. Yeah, we could kill the Black Witch. Gustavo Lal, thank you so much for gifting one membership to the chat, my friend. And there it is, another big shot that joins the clan. 
Thank you so much, Gustavo. I really appreciate it. Hmm. We may go for the Black Witch. It's a somewhat easy kill. Is Nilvan the Skin Granny? Yeah, we get Nilvan's soul by defeating the Skin Granny. That's the point. Yeah, I think we can go and uh, kill the Black Witch. That's the easiest kill remained for now in the in the screen. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, make a gulp sticker. Gulp sticker, okay. Hmm. Did the torturer give you double uh, trouble like last time? The torturer? T torturer? No. Torturer didn't. No, no, no. It didn't. Okay. We can go and kill the Black Witch. The point now. Uh, but, like, what about just getting a light and soul uh, with empty scroll? Lemao. Lemao, you stupid idiot. Look at the side of the screen. Look at the penultimate rule. Have to kill all soul bosses. What about before talking you actually think a little bit, Temple Man? What about, you stupid idiot? I'm just joking, by the way. I love you. No worries. I love you. <laughs> no worries, I love you. Ooh, Nicola! Thank you so much for gifting one membership to the chat, my friend! And another big shot joins the clan. Thank you so much, Nicole. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, my friend. Where is a stupid idiot emote? <laughs> I could do a stupid idiot emote, actually. Like, that's like my catchphrase at this point. I always say, stupid idiot. <laughs> like, the point for which I made that rule, in which I have to kill all bosses, is because... Uh, Otherwise, uh, you could just uh, use empty scrolls to get all the souls, and it wouldn't be funny anymore. That's the point. Okay, now we have si seven 69 body. If we keep the Ring of Braids, we are actually able to farm a body, technically. Hmm. 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 Where do I farm, though? Is there someone I can farm on here? I don't think so. Oh, there is the door! There is a door near some bloody man. Nah, it's not necessary. Hmm. Nice body. Body? What do you, what do you mean, body? <laughs> what happened with the body? <laughs> Stupid idiot. So, Black Witch time. Black Witch time indeed. Hmm. But I want to restore my mind to... F my, my health to fully. The problem is, uh, here in Mahabre, there isn't really an enemy I can use to restore my mind a lot. Like, everything is able to attack you even just with tackle. I'm thinking about it, but Lord of the Flies tackles. Moolah's Guard tackles. Har... Wait. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh oh oh. No. Hmm. 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 Oh, I can't run. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna kill it. Ah, whatever. Chains of torment. Poof! Whistle, 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 whistle. Whistle, 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 whistle. That's fine. We just guard until the end of our time. We just guard until the end. Whistle, 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 whistle. Now. Guard it. Easy. It's gonna be a long battle. I, I thought you were able to use the battle menu run against the Harvestman. I remembered incorrectly, unfortunately. But uh, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. I don't, I don't want to use more mind to kill this stupid moron, and we can just use the copium after this. Is this a 24-hour stream I'm looking at? Maybe Lucas! <laughs> okay. There it is. He's dead. So, let's smoke some more copium. So, no. We can't use Harvestman to actually farm. There is no one... In Mahabra, we can use to farm, unfortunately. You can farm the monkey, the monkey just kill the baby and its arms, and you're good to go. But uh, doesn't it tackle? It tackles, right? I'm guessing Chains of Torment still misses on the head. It has a chance to miss, yeah. What about the uterus before the baby spawns and then leave to another one? They have a chance to... They, they can attack with the arms, though. I mean, I, I know what you mean, but... Uh, mm, 
They, they still have a chance to deal damage to me. Because, because the, the escape is not gonna be 100% every time. Yasek, thank you so much for the 49 CCK, my friend. Is the big statue there a Pocket Cut reference? No, it's a it's Grogrof. The big statue here is a representation of Grogrof, basically. That's uh, what it is. Because Grogrof had difficult, uh, different representations in the in the various books. Like, uh, in the one you can find in Termina, he's a Cerberus. Here it's a freaking uh, Hulk head or something. It's diff it's different, it depends from the place. Thank you for the for the donation, by the way, Yasek. I really appreciate it. Hmm. Mankin doesn't tackle. Are, are you sure? Did I did I misremember? Ah. Hmm. Whatever. No. No. Whatever. I can still do something else to restore my health. I'm full of. Uh, what do I have? Red herb and blue. Herb. Yeah. Let's use some blue herb. One, two, three. Perfect. We still don't have Alchemilla Volume One, so they are kind of useless. I may get Alchemilla pretty soon, though. Okay. Let's go for the Black Witch now. Let's go for the freaking Black Witch. Do we have the White Angel? Yeah, okay. For the Black Witch, we're gonna keep the Priest Robe, because it gives a minor uh, defense against magic attacks. Which means that uh, her most powerful attack, which is Black Orb, is gonna deal less damage in case we miss, uh, and she's able to damage us. This is gonna put us into a position in which we have a chance to survive. If my calculations are correct. <gasps> Maybe I, I, for a second I forgot that here there was the bastard that we can't guard the coin flip off. But uh, since we're here, let's buy some elixirs. Let's buy one elixir of mind, one elixir of body, one elixir of mind, one elixir of body, one elixir of mind, one elixir of body. One elixir of mind. Okay. Okay. Heal first. Yeah, yeah, I'm healed. I'm healed. No worries. Is Anki as ending uh, possible without opening the menu? Yeah, you can get the you can get the the, the the skeletons even without opening the menu. So I don't see really a problem. Like uh, you just have to do a little bit of resource management. But if you get locust swarm and you will, then uh, Sylvian is just a long battle because you deal very low damage. Like, you need a lot of healing items, maybe. That's what you need. But apart from that, you can do it. Let's go from here. What about the keeping the soul anchor? Uh, oh! <laughs> You're right! <laughs> I forgot. Okay. I mean, if you allow yourself to use the spirit anchor, then it's doable. Be be I mean, you want to do a ending without opening the menu, you can't. Like, a <laughs> it's not a matter of it's possible to be told, nah. Like, if I, if, for example, if I wanted to do the challenge, I would allow myself to open the menu to keep the soul anchor in the end of the game. That's the only moment in which I would allow myself to open the menu. Like, you, you're already being masochist. You don't need to be even more masochist. No, there is no glitch that keeps the soul anchor, unfortunately. There is no glitch that keeps the soul anchor. Middleworm only run will be possible. Uh, if you have like a uh, 1000 hours of your day, yes. Otherwise, no. No. Nicola, thank you so much for gifting one membership to the chat, my friend. Uh, who gets it? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Karma 7. Thank you so much, Nicola. You made another big shot to join our party. Thank you so much, really. Okay. So, let's do Oh wait, did I loot the vases down here? Oh, I forgot. Perfect. Let me make some calculations, guys. Let's make a, let's open RPG Maker. It's time to make some calculations. So, Black Witch uses two attacks. The attacks are the attacks are Ritual Knife and Black Orb. The Black Orb she uses is the skill number one hundred and seventy-five. So. Ritual Knife, uh, let's look first Black Orb. Black Orb does 30 damage with 22% vari variation. Okay. Big shot, there it is. Ritual Knife... Uh, Ritual Knife instead does 30 damage, which is a, and is a physical attack. It's gonna poison you, it's gonna infect you, and it's gonna infect both arm and leg. Hmm, okay. So, 30 damage 3 times, and 30 damage with a physical attack. So, without any protection, she deals 120 damage on average, okay? Now, 
we do have the um, the priest robe. The priest robe makes it so that uh, we get uh, where is the priest robe? There it is. Five percent resist uh, less damage from black orb. One percent, ten percent is uh, three on thirty. So five percent is like one and something. So we're gonna take like uh, 29, 29, 29, for example, which is uh, eh, pretty bad. Hmm. If we miss this Chains of Torment, it's Jover. You know what we can do? I have a plan. Listen to my plan. We guard on this on the first turn. In the extra turn, we use Chains of Torment. If we fail, I escape from the battle. Yeah, yeah, it works. It works, actually. It works, guys. It's perfect. Like, reason with, it, with me. Guarding, we, we take less damage. In the extra turn, we attack, the, we attack with Chains of Torment. If we kill her, good. Otherwise, we have 100% chance with White Angel Soul. That's what we do. Yeah, I could use the Eastern Silk Rope. That's true. Is this really the moment to take them? No, I want to kill her now. This ends here and now. Okay? Hmm. This ends here and now. Skin Granny? Wait, Angel Soul is there. Let's dance. Okay. Guard in the starting turn, so we take less damage and we should survive. Eh, six damage. And then Black Orb. We should have, took, we should have taken 12. Okay, we would have probably di died. Okay, Chains of Torment on the torso. Boom! One, two, three, four, five! Boom! Oh. I... I may have made a mistake. New plan! New plan! We are gonna use Chains of Torment on the Black Orb arm. Okay? We're gonna use Chains of Torment on the Black Orb arm. So she's not gonna use Black Orb anymore, she's just gonna use Ritual Knife. And that's kinda easy to manage. Okay, guys? New plan, new plan. I, I thought she was gonna die, I don't know why she didn't. She should have, a, she just, she should have less than 900 health. Uh, wh whatever. So, Light Blue Vial, this is kind of a waste, okay? But uh, it's fine. Guard on the starting turn, otherwise we die. Ritual Knife for very minor damage. Her HP resets when you escape. Yeah, her HP reset, but uh, if we kill a limb, the limb will not be restored. So, Chains of Torment on the Black Orb arm. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Okay. Now, how much damage did she do with the Ritual Knife? I think she did six. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah. We should survive. Did she do six with the seven? Okay, we guard. We guard. Boom. Is that a glitch? What is a glitch? Wait, what? Okay, now. Light blue vi I don't I don't want to risk. I don't I don't want to risk anything. We take this slowly. We weren't gonna die, but just to be sure I don't uh, I don't uh, I don't uh, die. I'm gonna do everything very slowly. Okay. Now we use Elixir of Mind because she is a boss fight, indeed. We could just go for the torso now. We're gonna take a little bit more damage from Ritual Knife, but if you're able to land this, she's done. One, two, three, four, five! Boom! Okay. Take the damage, you idiot! 75. Oh no, wait. No, no, okay, no, we should, we should be fine, okay. Extra turn. Wait, does, does she die because of damage? Or uh, do I have to kill all of her HP? Let me, let me double check. Uh, black? Uh, you almost gave me... Th that's weird. Enemy HP, uh, 60%. Oh, it's because it's hard mode. Okay, I was looking at the wrong HP pool. Okay, I was looking at the wrong HP pool. In hard mode, she has 2500 HP, and she dies when she reaches below uh, 60%. 50% of 2,500 is uh, uh, 1,250. So yeah, we should be almost there. I'm just gonna wait a little bit more turns. I don't need to attack or something. Yeah, we can just wait. I'm gonna... I don't even need to heal, honestly. 
I could heal the poison, but nah, 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 nah. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. She's gonna die. E there she is! Okay. Ah, perfect, okay. Before doing anything else, let's equip the Salmon Snake Soul. One, we remove the infection. Then, wine via, uh, white vial. There it is. We're almost ready. Let's re-equip the White Angel Soul. Perfect. The last thing we have to do is we go into the boss list and we put another line on the Black Witch. Six down. Six to go. Six down. Six to go. Okay? Okay. I love to see your videos on Fear and Danger, game, on this Fear and Danger gameplay. I love it both video and games. Oh, thanks, Yuki Tenzan. I appreciate that. Would you recommend Black Souls and Black so uh, and or Black Souls 2? Absolutely. Absolutely. They're great. Absolutely. Okay. Valtail is gonna be a bigger problem, though. Valtail is gonna be a bigger problem. But I guess if we get the Jingaza Kabuto, and we can because we have the passages, right? We do have the passages. The passages! Yeah! Perfect! Okay. First of all, Copium. Copium, Copium. Where is my Copium? Copium. There it is. Ah. Copium. Then. Uh, we still need to check on the guard, by the way. Do I have the White Angel Soul equipped? I do have the White Angel Soul equipped. Perfect. I hope I can sleep before 2 a.m. I mean, I hope as well, Broskai, but you know it's not gonna happen. You already know it. Is Chambara harder than Valtail, in your opinion? Like, uh, in general? In general? In general, uh... No, Chambara is, uh... Yeah, yeah, Chambara is harder than Valtail, in my opinion, yeah. Because you need more party members to do the fight uh, very fast. Valtail, you can do the fight very fast, but um, uh, the point, uh, the difference is, Chambara, you may have to wait if you want to use uh, either a uh, poison strategy or to attack the wheels. You still need to attack the wheels. So Chambara, in my opinion, is harder, in the sense that it requires more time. Okay. Let's go back to the past, because it's easier to move around the dungeon while going in the past. What do I have to do? I forgot. Wait. How did I forget? What do I have to do? Uh, oh, um, uh, Passages of Mahaber, Passages of Mahaber, okay. <laughs> what do I keep forgetting? Wait, since we're here, since we're here, let's take the, the treasure of uh, Isaiah and we buy stuff with it. Thanks for the How to Become a P Guide, the part where you become Jesus is extremely useful. Oh, thanks, Karma7. Yeah, that's one That's one of my most controversial video because I got some people hating on me, saying, uh, 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 how to become overpowered doing 90% of the game. Bro! <laughs> it's an how to become overpowered guide. Like, uh, were you expecting to become overpowered in the first five minutes or something? Like, uh, eh? Do, do, you, do you understand my... my the, the reason I'm... Uh, I feel this weird, but uh, whatever. I don't know, maybe maybe it's just uh, wrong to make a guide on how to become overpowered across the whole gameplay. Like, uh, I don't know, whatever. Whatever, we don't think about that now. Now it's time to focus. Because we have access to a lot of healings if we buy the Alchemilia. You could with the debug spots. Yeah, but in the, in the guide I specifically said I will not use debug spots, that's why. This game is already unfair. A little help along the way is not bad. Yeah, I agree, Index. Index, sorry. I'm happy to see you pop off. I hope you do some long-form essays on Fear and Hunger lore still. Would love to watch them repeatedly. Oh, thanks, uh, Aftermath RB. I, I prefer to do mechanic stuff and gameplay stuff rather than lore stuff. That's why... That's why... Even in the iceberg, as you can see, I had less lore stuff. And that's why in the new iceberg I'm working on, I will try to put more... Uh, I will try to put more lore stuff, but uh, it's still a work in progress. People really want to find ways to cheese a game without even playing it. <laughs> How do you become overpowered before opening the game? You just play something else. You just uh, play Cookie Mama for uh, Nintendo DS. That's what you do. To become completely... O if you do this, you can be assured you will be completely overpowered, okay? I love your super, you super video. Oh, thanks, Inex. So, Eastern Sword is my favorite weapon for that reason. Yeah, I love Eastern Sword as well. Great damage, easy to get. Like, you literally can get it at the start of the game if you get an, an explosive vial. There are a lot of guaranteed explosive vials. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. 
So, also, since we're here, we can go into the past zone of uh, this part of the dungeon. Because there are some uh, vases we can loot. You know, maybe we're able to find, uh, I, I don't know, an empty scroll or something. Blue vial, eyeglasses. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Okay, we don't care about uh, the other chest. Also, my torch is running out. How many torches do I have? One torch and I can craft uh, eight more tor- Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are fine, we are fine. That's uh, how Farpolo learned how to cook games. <laughs> With Cookie Mama. <laughs> uh, if you want to be overpowered, you need to follow. You need to follow? What do you mean you need to follow it? Eh. Okay. I mean, we can fight the guard, but I don't want to waste time, honestly. It's more a wasting time moment than a difficult moment. The whole dungeon is completely accessible right now. And here we are once again. After we do this, we will not be able to traverse this part ever again. We will have to go through the- <gasps> No! The ghosts were too near. I was scared they were gonna, uh, they were gonna make me stuck. We're gonna lure this ghost all the way over here. Uh-huh. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Uh, better better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Okay. Whew. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. There should be all the new gods except for Nilvan. I'm coming for you, you bastards. I am so coming for you, just wait, just wait. The Ragnavaldor is gonna destroy you. The Ragnavaldor is gonna annihilate you. And we got another torch, that's good. Eastern Perfume, the most useless accessory in the game. Perfect. After maybe third ring, because it's not only useless, but it's also detrimental. Another torch. Now, I'm gonna come for you, you stupid bastards. Can we get something from the... From the um, the chests. I would love to get a hard leather... No, the hard leather armor is not in the pool of the chests, unfortunately. I would love that, but uh, unfortunately. For is coming on the new gods. I am gonna come on the new gods, yeah. I'm gonna come to the new gods. I'm gonna kill them, I swear. Is Chains of Torment not a magical attack? It is... M no, okay. Let me explain. There is a difference. Chains of Torment is a magical attack, but is not an otherworldly attack. So it doesn't deal damage to the harvest, to the, um, to the ghosts. Because uh, it's magical, but it's not otherworldly. There are three types of attacks in the game, okay? F uh, no, four actually. Uh, physical attack that do physical damage. Physical attack that do otherworldly damage, which uh, are not present in Fear and Hunger 1, unfortunately. Magical attacks that do magical damage, which is otherworldly, and magical attacks that do physical damage. It's uh, pretty convoluted, we may say. Like, the only uh, the only thing, whatever other magical but not otherworldly attacks, uh, Combustion, Pyromancy Trick, uh, and that's it. Uh, Locust Swarm, I think. Locust Swarm, uh, Flock of Crows, those are the ones that I, that I remember in this moment. You're going to continue this week, uh, or next to finish once uh, for all tonight. Uh, I'm gonna finish uh, everything tonight. The challenge, Chains of, uh, Chains of Torment only run, ends today. And it's gonna end up with a banger. You're gonna see. Why did you get teleported back into the mines? I'm confused. Oh, I used the Passages of Mahabre in here. That's why. I used this, the, the book called The Passages of Mahabre while I was here. Let's take our Jigaza Kabuto. Now... Oh, here there is also another soul stone. We may need it for the old guardian, now that I think about it. It should be on the left side. So, so do, do we have the white angel soul? Yeah, we do have the white angel soul. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, always check. Always check. Because uh, these guys are able to completely annihilate your run, regardless of what you do. Uh, the soul stone was on the other side, actually. Here. There we go. Okay. We don't need to kill the organ. Because we only need to kill the organ in the, old, in the golden temple in order to unlock... The, the road to reach the end of this place. And here we are. Boom. Uh, why hurting and black orb are not physical as well? I mean, they injure the body. Yeah, don't, don't ask me. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> because the developer wanted to balance them, I guess. Nicola, thank you for donating another membership to the chat. Today we are making a lot of new big shot. Thank you so much, Nicola. <laughs> Thank <sighs> you. 
Now it's uh, 1 a.m. in the morning for me. Do you think mumblers are rational beings or are they kinda like animals? Uh, it depends. Are animals not rational always? It depends. Alright. Look at them, Jingaza Kabuto and Eastern, Eastern Silk Robes. This may give me some survivability against Valtail. Let me see specifically how much survivability we are, talki we are talking about. Jingaza Kabuto, where is it? Jingaza Kabuto... Uh, Jingaza Kabuto... Big shot, there it is. Uh, Jingaza Kabuto. 7% uh, uh, less damage from uh, Otherworldly, and the Eastern, Eastern Silk Robus, 30% less damage from Otherworldly. 30% damage, combined with the 7, it's a 37% damage reduction. Black Orb does 30 damage on each attack, with a 22% variation. 10% uh, is 3. 37 is like uh, 10 or 11. I think 11. Yeah, 11 less. So we're gonna take 19 three times on average. 19 three times. Jinga Sakabuto kinda sucks then. No, it's a headpiece. There are a very few headpieces in this game that are able to reduce uh, otherworldly damage. So it's always appreciated. Does an Eastern Sword give us like 70% critical chance? The Eastern Sword? No, 40. The Purified version 70. Yeah. Okay. Just guard first turn, change the next. Um, Bradley, can you count with me for a second? 19 times 3? What does it do? 38 plus 19? 48, 57. If Valtail does Black Orb two times in a row, I lose in that case, don't you think that? If I guard, I take half of damage, which is less than my 50% health. But what if also the headbutt attacks? It's gonna be a pure RNG. We are gonna stall the fight, but uh, there is also the third brain. Uh oh. There is also the third brain. The third brain is a problem. Okay, first of all, since we are here, can we farm. Uh, can we farm uh, our HP on something? Is there something to farm our, H our HP on? Uh, uh, before going back into the, into the deepest part of the dungeon, let me see. Can I do something with the stuff I have here? Hmm. No, the Black Witch is already dead. The Black Witch is already dead. The Ballista Guard. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, the Ballista Guard? No, 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 no. But uh, the Ballista Guard comes regardless. <laughs> Okay. What can I use? Oh, the, the goal! No, I can't talk. I can't talk. <laughs> Does speed boost stack each other? Can you use a brown potion with fun white angel to get three turns per fight? No, you only get at maximum one, but... Uh... There is one fight in the game, which is the God of Fear and Hunger, which has 20 agility. In order to get an extra turn against the God of Fear and Hunger, you need to equip the white angel soul, and during the battle, use the brown vial. Or fast stance, I think. <sighs> okay, what can I use Chains of Torment on? Mm, I could use it on the, the guard. You know what, let's use it on the guard. But uh, no, I have only 40 health. Is there something else? The butterfly! The butterfly! Let's go to the butterfly. The butterfly now... Oh, oh, oh. Can we escape from the butterfly? Oh, the human hydra! Can you escape from the human hydra? Let me, let me, let me check. I don't remember if you can escape from the human hydra. Because I don't want to kill all the faces. It's gonna be a big waste of my time and of my, uh, items. Uh, if escape... Okay. Yeah, the escape is available, technically. Okay. Okay. No, I've never tried to escape from the human hydra. I have never needed in my life to escape from the human hydra. <laughs> <laughs> I have never needed in my life to escape from the human hydra. Never. Especially with the battle menu escape. Okay. Here we are. Okay. We can escape. Perfect. Let's just guard. Yeah, you just say your phrase, guard. The one thing about the game Frap did not know... I mean, no, 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 there are a lot of things I still don't know, because the game is, a, is still a discovery for me. But the point is, uh, there are some enemies you can't use the battle menu escape from. I know you can use the skill escape, of course. I was referring to the battle menu escape. 
What did the hydra scream? Uh. Okay. So, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, you idiot. So, the next step... Hmm. What is the next step? The next step... Let's go back to the White Angel, first of all. We are actually able to go back into Mahabre and try to kill Valtail. Hmm. Difference between run skill and battle menu run. Run skill is a fixed probability for different battles. Battle menu run, uh, it has the potential to be a 100% chance to escape. Okay. Uh, let me check one thing about Valtail. I need to s I need to check if the brain restores its, its health when translating phases, if you know what I mean. The, br the, the, the third brain, I mean. That's really the only part I'm scared about. That is really the only part I'm scared about. So, okay. Uh, enemy appear, Valtail, third eye. Enemy transform, okay. Enemy transform theoretically doesn't give back the HP. So the third brain should die, right? Uh, let me check. Third eye has 1500 HP, yeah. Okay. It should die with Chu, Chu, Chains of Torment, which is not a low amount. Alternatively, alternatively, Valtail should have 9000 HP, right? 9000 HP, yeah. And Valtail dies when he is at... When he is at... 50% uh, HP. 4500 HP! Oh no! Um, uh, uh, you know what? We we're gonna keep. Uh, we are gonna keep um, th th this for later. Can you use Pine Comping to start fights with Human Hydra and run away infinitely for items on loop? Uh, yeah, you can. You can. Don't subscribe. Don't, don't subscribe. Don't like. You can. Hmm. Black Witch Soul does not work with Chains of Torment, right? Valtel is gonna be so long. Uh... Chat to beat Ragnavalder as ending. I want to do it in the future, something like that. Hmm. It's gonna be so long, Valtail. Maybe we should do it later. Yeah, maybe we should go to Chambara. Chambara and the uh, White Angel. And then we take some time to think about our resources. Hmm. Pinecomb Pig does not work on door. We did beat Skin Granny. We did. Hmm. The fight with Valtail is gonna be so freaking long. Uh... With also the possibility of the third eye to just completely annihilate me. We are over the half of the bosses. Uh, let me re-show you guys. We killed six bosses. Six are remaining. But uh, Chambara, uh, like Butterfly, is uh, guaranteed to get. Like uh, it's not a boss technically, so we are in a pretty good position. Hmm. Should we fight Valtel immediately? The point is, I don't know if I have enough healing guidance for Valtail. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough healing guidance for Valtail. I have four light blue vials, eight elixir of bodies, which which means uh, 12 uh, healing overall. Hmm. It's kind of problematic. Do you have the purifying talisman? It doesn't work on Valtail. And I can't talk because it's a skill. <laughs> guys, uh, guys. Uh, it's a Chains of Torment only run. Skills are banned, okay? Perfect. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you decide, guys. Chambara or Valtail. You decide. Chambara or Valtail. Chamb Valt. Disney. <laughs> the similarities between Valtel and Chambara, by the way. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. No, Valtel is winning! Why Valtel is winning? No! <laughs> you guys want me to suffer, right? You guys want me to lose the challenge. You guys want me to succumb. You guys want me to, want Valtel to freaking destroy me. Ah. Okay. Hey, craft armor. Oh, this armor's right here, okay. Man. Oh, Chambara is winning now. Oh! Okay. Ah, finally. Finally, Chambara is winning. Perfect. You know what does it mean? 
that we are gonna do Vault Tail. We are gonna do Vault Tail. <laughs> you thought you had the li you had the freedom to choose what to do. You thought you had the freedom to choose what you do. <laughs> you thought. If you don't go to Valtail now, you will have to fight him later with less items. No, I'm gonna make another Pancom Pig farming session. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna farm I'm not gonna fight him without the items. I'm gonna farm for the items. There is no way I'm just gonna but even in the opposite order, like at the there is no way. There is gonna be another Pineco Pig farming session, of course. <laughs> Whatever. Now, why do you love like the Black Witch? Ha <laughs> I love the Black Witch voice, honestly. I wonder who voiced it. Is it a sound effect that uh, Miro got online? Or was there an actual person that made the ha 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 ha? I would be interested to know that. That's the real lore I'm interested in too. That's the real lore I'm interested in too, actually. Productive moment, by the way, guys. Very productive streaming. Very productive streaming. Cat, thank you so much for the 20 CA dollars. This is called the Frapple 194, the tormented one. <laughs> and Cat, thank you so much for the 5 CA dollars. And the key goes another for the ten dollars. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, guys. To to be fair, to to be fair, the run is almost at the end. Theoretically, this is very easy even in this moment. The cheese bucket! Uh, thank you so much for the five eight dollars, my friend! Uh, it's okay, let's grow back, right? Uh, they, they, they don't. <laughs> oh boy, I, I think it's better if I start moving. Uh, invitation, thank you for the 10 CA dollars! I would have called you a thrown run, but uh, you don't have legs anymore. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, technically, you know, since my legs are gone. <laughs> since my legs are gone! <laughs> Uh, where is he? Oh, down there. Hello? Hello? Okay. We overcame the body snatcher. That's good, that's good, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Wait, uh, I missed one, I missed one. Wait, uh. Oracle, thanks so much for the two dollars, my friend. And Carlos Eduardo Diaz Arias, thank you so much for the 10,000 cope. Cope. We are coping. Legs are not needed where we are going. I mean... Technically, 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 guys, let's think about this uh, for a second. Technically, technically, the game is still perfectly finishable in this moment. We don't have to do that, mu that much stuff, you know? We don't have to do that, that much stuff, actually. Let's go on all the bird traps because we, we don't care anymore. Okay? The game is still perfectly winnable. We may have lost our legs. We didn't lose our pride. Okay? <laughs> C9 and Quick Snimo, thanks for the two dollars. Give wheelchair. We don't need a wheelchair. We are gonna win. Thank you so much for the support. Hmm. 
<laughs> just prolonged the stream for like three hours. The problem is I'm gonna finish the torches and I don't have a way to recover infinitely them. The Pineco Pig only gives me so many torches, like uh, to an extent uh, it's gonna be a problem. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We are gonna kill Valtail, Chambara and uh, um, White Angel back to back. No, actually, 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 no, actually, no. Just no. I guess we will set up a farming method with the uterus. We need to stay. We need to stay in Mahara in this moment. We will not go back to the other parts of the dungeon anymore. We will stay in Mahabra. The needs for the two euros. Uh, would have lost. Uh, would have lost legs with Samus Next Soul equipped. Yes, Samus Next Soul does not do anything in the overworld. Absolutely nothing. Thank you so much for the support, Denis. Restart at this point. No, I will not restart at this point. Uh, Andrew Wittich, thanks for the should should yours and 50, uh, 50 cent. Uh, Rebel 94 was uh, defeated. <laughs> no. We may have lost our legs. We are still here. We are still here. We are gonna win this stupid game, okay? Thank you for the support. Focus. We need a lucid mind in this moment. 97 silver coins. Before doing anything else, we should go to the vendor. 97 silver coins means we can buy a lot of stuff. Should we buy Alchemilia? Should we buy Alchemilia Volume 1? Alchemilia Volume 1 unlocks the crafting of blue vials, which unlocks the crafting of light blue vials. Or mix of blue and red. But mix of blue and red is kinda unreliable because, let me check just to be sure. Mix of red and blue gives 50 HP. Which is not uh, as much as uh, light blue vials. Do I really need to use 80 silver coins for uh, 11 mix of blue and red? With the potential of them not even being useful? Hmm. Technically, yes. <laughs> Technically, yes. <laughs> hmm. The Alchemilla is sold from one vendor in Mahabre. You know, I think we do get it. I think we do get it. Uh, give leg back. Uh, how do I give leg back? I cannot give leg back. But uh, it's fine, it's fine. Stupid bird trap, god damn it. Ah! Whatever. You can restore limbs with the Lady of the Moon, but we can't have any party members. Uh, thanks Azura for telling me a way to restore my legs that doesn't work. Thanks. <laughs> Whatever, it's gonna be a little bit longer, guys. We're gonna stay a little bit more together, okay? We're gonna do a pyjama party. This is a pyjama party. This is a Frapollo94 pyjama party moment. We are gonna stay here forever with this, okay? Also because uh, I think we can't outrun Chambara. But we do have 20 agility, so technically Chambara cannot do anything to us regardless. We can literally tank Chambara. Easy. <laughs> Guys, if, if you like this, uh, subscribe and leave a like. Subscribe and leave a like. I do have ragnaphobia in this moment. Okay. Let's start. No, I'm not gonna use debug spots. No, 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 no. I prefer to die. I prefer to die than to use debug spots. No, 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 no. If I, if I, if I have to die, I'm gonna die. I don't care. I will not use debug spots. No. Okay. We should start by killing Chambara and the White Angel, I think. All of this because of a stupid moment in which I got distracted, god damn it. I, I tell you what, you beat Valtail, I sub. Hmm. That's a, that's a cool bet. Okay. That's a cool bet. Okay. You know what? I'm all in for challenges. Yeah, it says that it, it, says that it costs 70 uh, silver coins, okay? You trade 80 silver coins for the Alchemy level in one. Cheater. Cheater! Cheater! Okay. Let's do all the mix of blue and red we can. Then we make two blue vials and we make one light blue vials. Perfect. Easy. Cheater. Ah, this was going so well. <laughs> um, yes. What do we do now? 49 body. Okay, let's set up a farming spot on a uterus. 
Let's set up a farming spot on an Uterus. I want to see if it works. Someone told me in the chat that you actually don't get tackled. I, I mean, wait, I can actually just check if the Uterus is able to use tackle. Because I don't remember, honestly. Like, a, I do remember. Uterus. And... Oh, it doesn't use tackle. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So if we kill the arms and we kill the baby... The baby doesn't respawn, right? Uh, does the baby respawn? I don't remember. I think no. No, no, no. The baby doesn't respawn. No, there, there is no way the baby respawns. Okay. We can set up a farming spot on the uterus. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not so sexy, but... Uh, I've seen worse farming spots. Uh, and we can't leave Mahabra anymore. Like, we physically can't. We're gonna lose so much time. So... Uh, uterus, can you come here? There should be an uterus right above here. There it is! Okay. We found the uterus. Now, just to be safe, I'm gonna use one mix of red and blue to go back to full HP. Now, the plan is, entering battle, kill one arm. Then escape, then kill the other. Uh, after restoring my mind. Yeah! We're gonna do this. Hello, Terus. Oh, oh, uh, mouse bug, mouse bug. Okay. Uh, left arm, we start with the left arm. Yeah, we start with the left arm. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Oh, no, oh, okay. This locating joint does, does uh, nothing, but the uterus is coming out. The, the, the baby is coming out, sorry. Okay, we're gonna guard. We escape now. Okay, the arm should stay dead. Then. Uh... Let's go back near the entrance. Maybe the uterus is gonna follow. If the uterus follows me, it's better. So I can actually farm it uh, while knowing where I am. Should I put kneel before anything? No! <laughs> I want to kneel because I don't have a legs. <laughs> uh... um, uterus, where are you? Ut uh, I should use a torch. Ah, let's use a torch. Whatever. Oh, hello, uterus. Uh, hello? Okay, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Follow me, I'm gonna bring you to a very nice place. Oh, perfect, you don't have bounds limits. Come here, come here, come here. Okay. Now. Wait, the baby's already out. Oh, oh, hey. Uh, the baby has 900 HP, right? The baby should have 900 HP. So Chains of Torment should one-shot the baby. If you're able to attack the baby. Let me see. Uh, Embryo, it's called. 900 HP, yeah, perfect. We have enough damage to one-shot the baby if we land the hit. Baby! Goodbye. Yes! This locating joins. The embryo fell on the ground. Uh, yeah, for, for sure. The embryo for sure fell on the ground, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can... No worries. Everything is fine. The embryo definitely fell on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be assured. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, the baby fell on the... I mean, technically. But uh, I made him fell on the ground. Like... A... <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Chains of Torment to kill the last arm. And we do have our farming spot to perfectly functioning... The, the embryo didn't fa the, There is no embryo! What do you- <laughs> There is no embryo! What do you mean? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay. Let's get the Sorcerer Stone first of all to restore our mind. She's just a little slow on the uh, uptake. <laughs> I didn't know about this bug, so the embryo is able to go through- uh... So the, the embryo goes through all the stages, starts crawling towards you, what? Uh... Um, interesting. Uh, the ghost baby. You know what time it is, right, guys? <laughs> you know what time it is. You already know it. Not now. I think before doing this, we are gonna kill Chambara. We do have enough healing items to kill Chambara, technically. And the White Angel Soul. Yeah, we have all the elixir of body, all the elixir of mind. We do have the power. Yeah, later we're gonna use the uterus. Later. Now, 
Let's go back to the White Angel Soul. It's very important. The White Angel Soul is very important. Uterus, behold the power of my stand! <laughs> ah, that stupid bird trap. Ah, that stupid bird trap. Is there any way to skip plus five on a dream? To skip plus five oh, on a stream? Uh, no. <laughs> you can't. You have to watch the whole... This is. This feels being back to the uh, Olivia Maso mode no wheelchair moment. Actually. Oh! Yeah, let's go, let's go. This feels uh, like going back to the Olivia Masomod no wheelchair. Favorite Italian dish? I would say... Carbonara. Carbonara. If you win against Chambava, I'll get Chalky Milk. Then I guess uh, it's fundamental for me to win. Like, uh, I, I, I cannot lose no matter what. It's so important for you to get Chalky Milk. I cannot lose. No, no, no. I can't. I can't. Goodbye. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> No, the spider is a problem. The spider is a problem. Ah. Goodbye. Boop. <sighs> Let's go into the secret laboratory. Favorite alcoholic beverage to restore mind. Oh, to restore mind in game, you mean? Uh, bottle of whiskey. Complimented by Vigusti. Oh, thanks, Karma. All right. Ah, uh, it's so slow. You know, it's better that this happened now. It could have happened, uh, you know, um, three hours ago. And maybe... Now we wouldn't even be here in this moment. If you don't move, the spider don't attack you. Uh, yeah, I know, but I, I do have 20 agility, Kawe, so I don't care. I don't care. It's just more annoying in this moment, because uh, we are already in a slow moment. Uh, a very slow moment. Uh, 27 hunger, let me... Moldy bread, yeah. Silly question. Green or red purple grapes? And therefore, white or red uh, or rose wine? <laughs> Wait, uh, did the scarab block the passage? No! Oh. I would say purple grape. Purple. Hello, can you come here? Okay. One, two. Attack me. <laughs> One, two. Okay. Goodbye, scarab, you idiot. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. Uh. Whatever, can you stop following me? Mm. Stop following me or we'll jump down. You know what? I'll jump down regardless. Goodbye. <sighs> I mean, uh, technically, I could have jumped down from uh, the literal uh, Temple of Torment. Because in there you lose your legs, but I already lost my legs, you know? Come on. We're almost there. One, another torch. Another torch. That, that's always appreciated. It means more moments we can travel without problems. Because now that we don't have legs, the real problem is that we are slower. It's not that uh, we are gonna get attacked by a lot of enemies. Ghosts may potentially kill the run, but we are not gonna go through there anymore. Not anymore. Okay. Let's create our husk. God damn it. Welcome, welcome Giacomo Ferravesi. We are in a tormented moment. This is a tormented momento in Italian. <laughs> No, Ragnavalder! Ragnavalder! <laughs> Don't body block me! Don't body block me! God damn! <laughs> okay. Oh, there there is uh, an item. There there is an item. Uh, okay, torch. Perfect. Torch, 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 torch. Uh huh. Tobacco. <gasps> Why the clone has the, the legs, by the way, and I don't? Uh, if that's supposed to be a clone, then he shouldn't have the legs. I think uh, at this rate, uh, we're gonna finish the stream uh, in, I would say, one hour, or potentially one hour and a half. Because maybe we need to farm more items, yeah, we will definitely need to farm more items, especially for uh, Francois. Tinderboxes, uh, salami... Okay. Also, here... Here there is another bookshelf. I forgot about this bookshelf, because of DNA, you have legs on your DNA. Yeah, the, um, I don't believe in that uh, whole crappery thing, honestly. So, I, I know there is uh, literally Olivia in the second game that has this exact concept, but uh, I still don't care. Uh, Ragnavalder, can you not body block? Okay. Oof. Favorite underrated Italian dish that uh, foreigners uh, don't know about? Hmm, that's a difficult question. Specifically because I don't know how that's called in, in Italian. In, uh, in English, sorry. Uh, trofie? Are they called trofie? I mean, no, wait, maybe those are known even uh, even uh, by foreigners. Mm, no, I don't know. Uh, spider? 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 
Huh? Did did you? Sp sp uh, sp 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 spider? Did you did you did you just did you did you did you did you did you see that? Did you did you see that? <laughs> 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 Whatever. That's a good image for the for the memes. Just came back from training. Why is my boy cosplaying Olivia? Because Olivia is the best character of Fear and Hunger Termin, of course. Why otherwise? Okay, there should be another spider here. If I remember correctly. There should be another spider. Oh, it's gonna be very slow to do the whole Chains of Torment thing with Francois. There isn't really a translation for trophy from what I'm aware of. Oh, okay. Empty scroll. I don't even know uh, my dignity. My uh, no, <laughs> not even that. We we can't have my dignity back. Ah. Uh, no, I can't step. Uh, it's a skill. Talking is a skill, guys. Guys. Whenever you want to suggest me to use an action that involves talking, ask yourself: Is talking a skill or no? After you think about five minutes about this question. You are allowed to say it to me, okay? Perfect. Can you even step on it without legs? You can, you can, you can, you can. It's not related to... <laughs> it would be cool if you couldn't, but uh, this was an oversight probably. I think you can step on it like falling with your whole body on it or something. Okay. Eh? Dirt. <laughs> mm, okay. Can we exit the temple? No. Let's use another torch. Ah, this is so slow. <laughs> We're gonna use the White Angel Soul. Yeah, White Angel Soul gives me 50% less damage, basically. If you get the girl and then give it to the Moon Lady, is it against the rules? Uh, detox. The, this is hard mode. The, how do I get the girl, exactly? No, I will not use the debug spots. No, 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 no. It happened. Like, guys, we can't fix this. I don't have a way to fix my legs, no need to think about it too much. No, no, no. I can't fix my legs. It happened. Like, everything that could have happened during the, the challenge, unfortunately. Like, I was stupid because I got distracted. Yes, I pay the consequences. Otherwise, if I get distracted, I accidentally, I don't know, I accidentally forego to guard and I die, what do I do? Do I just restart before the battle? No, I lose. Okay. Thank God we are we weren't saving Legard on this run. I mean, thank God we weren't because uh, already five hours passed. Legard would be dead. Like uh, he would be rotting at this point. <laughs> what is the reset count on this stream? I think it's uh, three or four. The funny part is this one that is called the Frapol 94 is winning, but now I'm missing my legs. Ah, come on, come on. He can't interact with Lady. Exactly, can't interact with the Lady of Moon regardless. Uh, after all. So, did you step on a trap? I did step on a trap, yeah. I am uh, stupid. I am indeed stupid. But uh, there is one positive sight that you may think about it. The memories from my Olivia Masamot in a wheelchair. Doing this is giving me lucid dreams of what happened. I love it. So. Now. The equipment is perfect. We also have the shield. Usually we didn't have the shield. This is gonna reduce the damage a little bit more. This is gonna reduce the damage a little bit more. Okay. We are here. Now, remember, we do have White Angel Soul. So we don't care if Chambara starts the fight with us. We are always gonna be able to escape. It's not a problem, okay? Hello, Chambara. Uh, oh, Chambara is back, though. Chambara is back, though. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Full. Let's go very slowly to the other one. I'm starting to feel hungry, and that's true. Even IRL, I could really eat uh, uh, pizza right now, and the Chambara is just looking at me. <laughs> Chambara must be looking at me and saying, <laughs> Pathetic. Look at how tormented you are right now. <laughs> Pathetic. Hello, Chambara! Uh, eh, 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 no! Ah, whatever. Goodbye! Eh! Goodbye, idiot! 
idiot! Okay. Now. Now. It's me versus Chambara. It's me versus Chambara. Then there is also the White Angel, but we don't think about the White Angel. We don't think about the White Angel. Ah. I'm from Milan, uh, Okentan. I'm from Milan, my friend. So, please. We can do this very easily. We can do this very easily. Where is the way to exit? Uh, okay. We should be all the way down, one to the left. Okay, Temple of Torment level one. Uh, let's light on another torch. Double check to be sure everything is ready. Once we are at the top, at the bottom of this, uh, at, the bo at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. Mind ninety two. That's not really a problem. Okay. Gold to gold. That's perfect. White angel to be able to guard in the normal turns, and then plenty of mind restoring items. Everything is ready. Thank you for the follow. The tormented one versus the real. Tormented one. The problem is, I am the real one. Okay. Yes, defense is a fake stat. The real parameter that influences the damage you take is invisible in game. Defense is a joke. It's used for only one attack, uh, which is uh, your normal attack and the counter of uh, the lizard man. Okay. We start off strong by guarding in the normal turn. Ha! <laughs> Three damage. Ridiculous. And you should be the tormented one. And you should really be the tormented one. <laughs> you fool. Okay. Okay. Defense is a fixed set, gets attacked by a lantern while wearing full armor. That's the point, the upper capper. Defense doesn't do that. It's a different parameter that does that. That increases the damage. So. We guard in the normal turn now. We guard into the normal turn. Swing, swing. Swing. Oh. Okay. How greedy do we want to be? The more greedy we are with mind restoring items, the less greedy we need to be with health restoring items. You know what I mean. You know what I mean? Perfect. Okay, we use the, ch the chains of torment in the extra attack. Yeah, we still have plenty of health. One, two, three, four, five. Now we guard. Defense vaguely lines up with the how good the armor's innate resistances are. No, that's not true since she's back at. Some cases, yes, but there are some other cases in which it doesn't work. Like, uh, there are some items that straight up defend less than others despite the defense being higher. Let's keep guarding. Hmm. If we kill him faster, we don't need to care about uh, restoring our health. That's why I'm trying to speed this up. Because mind, we have more mind restoring items than health restoring items. That's why I'm trying to speed this one up. Okay. Swing, swing, revolution tier. Eh? Swing. Okay. We could heal again. Yeah, another elixir of mind. Hmm. Or maybe a bottle of whiskey. I only have four elixir of mind. Hmm. Hmm. Health. Wait, uh, how? How did I get leg infection exactly? Huh? Hey? <laughs> I guess my ghost leg got infected. That's very bad. Ah, stupid game. Okay, let's use a bottle of whiskey. Don't, no need to rush this. We can uh, use one chains of torment every two turns. At one point, we need to use the bottle of whiskey, and this is the calmest fight we have had up to now. Um, I'm gonna use a mix of red and blue, though. Mix of red and blue. Perfect. Back to full health. Okay. <sighs> okay. Eh, 
Eh, 14, 14, 14. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Bottle of whiskey? Yeah, I always told you. I've always told you. Ah, yeah! Ah! Ah, I smashed my knee on the... Ah! Ah, yeah. Ah, that hurts, okay. Ah! Okay. So. Now. We can use another Chains of Torment, for sure. Let's use it! Uh, one, two, three, four, five! Miss! Uh, okay, that's the karma, that's the karma. Swing, revolution tier, and swing. Okay, uh, we can go, we can uh, pass another turn without problems. I'm gonna heal my mind with a bottle of whiskey. Bottle of whiskey. Okay. <laughs> swing, swing. Chains of torment, of course. Why not? Boom. We use another mix of red and green. Red and blue. Yeah, that seems fine. Poof. Back to full health. Already. You stupid idiot Chambara, you can't do anything against me. I am the real tormented one and I'm gonna prove it. I am freaking gonna prove it, okay? Just uh, J just give me some more turns to restore my mind. Okay. Uh, I wonder what would this challenge look like on Anki as ending. No, it's... No, 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 no. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. No worries. One, two, three, four, five. Boop. We are the real tormented one. Don't even show your face again, you liar. Okay. And now, here we are. Here we are. Chambara has been killed. <laughs> we lost our legs, but Chambara has been killed. Remember. Seven dead. Five to go. And of these five, there is the butterfly, so four. Old Guardian is a sort of a joke, technically. White Angel is uh, okay. Valtail and Francois are the real problems. Valtail is gonna be very long as a battle. First of all, let's equip the Salmon Snake Soul to remove the infection and the bleeding. Let's go back to the White Angel soul, because we need to fight uh, the, 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 the White Angel. <clears throat> so... Tobacco... Yeah, let's use the tobacco, let's use the tobacco. Oh, I have opium, perfect. Copium. Copium, actually. So... The screen... Oh, the screen! Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! I forgot about the screen, okay. So, I, I just used an, a copium. I just used a copium in this moment. Now, let's use a mix of red and blue to go back to full health. Can we craft something different? Uh, purple vial is not usable. No, nothing really. Rack doesn't have legs. I know, but we needed to remove the infection regardless. Okay, we start with the White Angel Soul. Yeah. White Angel fight. It's gonna be very easy. I got the White Angel Soul with empty scroll, Nathan. So. Please. Please, White Angel, don't make me use too much items. Too many items, please. Don't make me use too many items. Please? Isn't Valtail easy? Uh, Lazy Coffee. There is a problem. The third eye is able to apply Whispers of Grogroth. We need to kill the third eye before it applies Whispers of Grogroth. If we can't do that, we lose. We literally lose. Hmm. Okay. How are you going to feel if those arms get cut off? They are not gonna get cut off, Dapper Capper. Don't even say that. Don't even say that, okay? <sighs> Hello, uh, we have the White Angel soul ready. Everything is ready. Boop. <sighs> okay. Guard in the normal turn, we should take less than 50% HP. We also have the freaking shield cut. Oh, the damage is very good. Oh, the damage is very... The five damage! Five damage, by the way. Five! Ha! <laughs> okay. He has been bleeding. He has been bleeding. Twitching. Twitching. Uh-huh. Heart is beating. Heart is beating. Take a step closer. No. Okay. Now, Elixir of Mind. No, we can actually take this slowly. Bottle of whiskey. Ha! <laughs> you idiot. Idiot. Eh. Beating, beating, beating. And the White Angel has been defeated. E. Z. White Angel is done. We have only missing four enemies. One of which is the Butterfly. Let's go back to the real screen. Okay. 
Now. <sighs> let's use the Salmon Snake Soul to remove the bleeding. And then let's re-equip the White Angel Soul. Now. What do we do? Wait, actually, let's take the soul, uh, just because I wasn't supposed to, like, uh, I have to get all the souls technically, so even if I get the one of the empty scroll, I still have to take the other one, okay. So, now, was that even necessary considering you already had his soul? Uh, yeah, it's a rule, uh, Carlos, look at the left part, I have to kill all soul bosses. So yeah, it's a rule. Like, uh, if, if, if that wasn't a rule, I could just empty scroll all the souls and finish the run, literally. There would be no challenge, though, and we want a challenge run, you know. That's why there are limitations. Without limitations, there is no challenge run. And uh, I'm starting to get tired. It's 2 a.m., but I we need to finish this. We need to finish this. Like, no, there, there's no if or when. Now we finish this. Except Salmo's next soul. Uh, yeah, no, technically... If you open the game in Russian, you can get it. If you open the game into Russian, you can get it. But now... <sighs> Do we have enough items for Valtail? Is the question. We have seven mix of red and blue. Thank you for the follow. Seven mix of red and blue. Four Elixir of Mind, which is not a lot. I may need to go back to six or seven. Hmm. 17 silver coins we mean, means one elixir of mind. I should farm a little bit with the uterus now. I should farm a little bit with the uterus. I can't believe we are 650 viewers at 2 a.m. <laughs> also, I have seven light blue vials. I also have a bottle of whiskey. Mm. If we miss too much on the third, on the third eye, it's over. Because Valtail has a lot of HP. Ah, you are really positive with this? The real challenge for you would be to even get the empty scrolls. It's easier to kill them. I mean, actually, no, it would be a real challenge. With my luck, yes, but with enough attempts, everyone can do it, even a monkey. Dirt does nothing, literally. You can eat it, but it doesn't restore uh, hunger. Do you see? Look, I have 15 hunger. Nothing. 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 Okay? Easy. So Okay, let's go back to farming. We are gonna stay here until we get enough money to buy three elixir of mind. Three, okay? We're gonna stay here. Dirt doesn't do anything. Dirt doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, there is a ghost baby that apparently appears here. How do you run away without legs? Um, how exactly do I keep re-entering in a battle with a gigantic pinecone pig circling around the screen against an enemy created by Valt in order to satisfy his uh, guilty pleasures uh, in the past of an ancient city that is not the past because we used an ancient artifact to go back into the past to actually fight the new gods in that way they're gonna go back to the original room because they don't actually die because they just stop having influence on the world? Ask that, my friend. Ask that, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Ask that, then we can retalk. <laughs> I felt Eminem for one second. So, yeah, I did kill the the, the Chromoler Toho Exporalos Polaros and Leather Helmet. Uh, lucky both viewers later on can set the video to two times speed. I mean, you can as well. Uh, in your head, maybe. So, how do you leg sweep a door? That's the real question. I mean, technically, I can see what does it mean. It's a sweep at the height of legs, technically. So maybe it just destroys the basis, the basic part of the door, and the door falls down or something. Or oh, it's just a bug. The baby cannot hit you. The baby is dead. Fortunately. Fortunately. You're without legs without because it was an accident or for more pain and torment. I could say that uh, I am. Uh, I was just stupid and I forgot to look. But uh, since I have to appear very strong and powerful and uh, tormented, I'm gonna say it was to inflict more torment across this run because I think it was too easy, okay? That's why I destroyed my legs because I thought it was too easy. Do you hear me, Valtail? 
Do you hear me, Francois? It was too easy. Okay? Um, don't clip that, please. I love when Frappy's playing Pokemon with his Pikachu Pine Compi. <laughs> Can you give me some coins, uh, please? We need the. If we get the 12 silver coins, sir, uh, uh, Pine Compi entrance, uh, we are able to go and buy three Elixir of Mind. If you do that, I'm gonna fight Valtig immediately. Throw a knife. No. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Frappolo? I think I am. Uh... A guy with an helmet. Uh, we do have... Oh, 20! No, actually, yeah, we need the 12 silver coins. Please. Explosive vial. Uh, please. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Ezekiel, we actually accidentally fell on a bird trap. Uh, after five hours of streams, uh, everyone can make a mistake, I guess. Pee pee brain. Please. I crush my legs for this run, I did it for pain. Yeah, exactly, for pain! <laughs> Not because of some stupid uh, error that, may, that I may have done. No, 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 no. It was uh, completely staged. It was staged. This whole run is staged for this moment. I just uh, tricked you. You all thought I accidentally fell on a bird trap. I was thinking about this from the start because in this way it's gonna be a more tormented run. Maybe. <laughs> Have you ever brushed your teeth and drank orange juice? If you have, how was your experience? Uh, I don't think I've ever done that combination in that order, actually. So I don't know. What happens? Do you, like, uh, feel something weird in your mouth? Anyone explain what this Frappolo is doing right now? Yeah, I can explain it, Rainman. I'm farming with the Pinecone Pig. The Pinecone Pig randomly is gonna appear on the screen, and I'm gonna get one item. And I need this because I need more items to kill the opponents. That's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. Uh, throwing knife. Oh, it just tastes horrible. Okay, I see. You know, I think I know what we should use uh, the empty skull we have on. On the hard leather armor. To make a Francois... Oh, six silver coins! Okay, that's a good start. That's a good start. We need, the f we need four more. Four more. Four. 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 Come on. Four. 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 Knife of Glycerin. Ash. Can you turn the game sound off again? Love the bar music. Oh yeah, true, you're right, I forgot about the, the sound of the game. Boom. Now you only hear the bar music. This is the Prehevil Bop. Please, give me some coins. Can you make a sound game a little bit lower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, already done it. Perfect. Come on, please. Please, I will be a good boy if you just give me the possibility to fight Valtail and to have my revenge against these stupid new gods. Please. Please. Perheval Bop is bopping. You know, I gotta be honest, even though I prefer the soundtrack of the first game, Perheval Bop has a very special place in my heart. But the soundtrack of the, the first game is more uh, iconic, unfortunately. The second game has a good soundtrack, absolutely. Chili made a fantastic job with it. Chili is the guy that made the music for uh, for that. But unfortunately, I think the, f the, the first one soundtrack is more iconic. Like, uh, definitely. Like, uh, think about Puss and Anxiety. Think about a more iconic music than Pulse and Anxiety. If you think about Fear and Hunger, I think the first two things that come to your mind are Crow Mowler and Pulse and Anxiety. Literally. Literally. Tell me, what is when you think about Fear and Hunger, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Like, a, what is the, f the, the most iconic thing in your opinion? Buah! <laughs> 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 Mine is pocket cut. Oh yeah, understandable. Also pocket cut. Yeah, that's also understandable. Relentless. No, but I mean a thing in game, not a not a concept or something. What remix do you use of Big Shot? Uh, I don't use a, a remix. It's the original one. What do you mean? It's the original one. It's not a remix. No, no, no. The remix uh, the, are. Um, I, I've never found a remix that I really liked of uh, Big Shot. First thing, first thing that comes to mind, uh, yeah, what? There is a song on the host called Relentless. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, actually. Uh, really? Wait, which one was that? Are we ever doing a Delta Room playthrough? The problem is I already played the chapter one uh, off stream, so starting with you guys uh, may be weird. But I may still do it, who knows. 
Who knows? So, can you give me some coins, uh, please? Please, I don't want to go back and actually do the night lurch uh, to get some silver coins. Uh, you are the first thing that comes to my mind. Oh, thanks, Andrea Wittich. That's so sweet. Uh, what coins? No, ale. Mmm. <laughs> In the second game, after you go in the washing machine in the apartments, <gasps> oh, that one, yeah, I understand what you mean that when you say that. Uh, the freaking violin, I love that part. How do you read so fast? Oh, force of habitude, ale, force of habitude. Like uh, once you wa once you realize you have to read the, only the red part because all the rest is just a flavor text, you realize uh, it's very easy to follow. Like even when you go around the dungeon and you loot stuff. Once you realize you just have to read the red part, <laughs> suddenly your vision is focused in one single place and you're able to realize everything that you need. Come on, Pico Pig! Glass vial. Uh, please, do we really need more? Uh, yeah, we do need. Do you know if there are new games inspired of fear and hunger? Uh, no, actually no. Most uh, untrue Italian stereotype. We do the hand gesture, okay? But not so much. We do it sometimes. The most untrue, though. Mm, the most untrue. I don't know, honestly. I honestly don't know what to say about that. Like, a, I'm not an expert of stereotypes known abroad, especially. Welcome to the other gym guy. But, uh, I don't know. Alright, please give me some st stupid silver coins, please. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Pico Pig, you know I love you, so please. I can say from personal experience that you are absolutely a liar. Eh? Uh, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Because uh, sometimes when I make polls uh, in the chat uh, and you select one option, I go for the other option. It's because uh, I usually try to trick you to outsmart you when you guess like me. Is it because of these reasons? Because if that's the reason, then it's your fault, not mine. What's your favorite cast set? The one in Fear and Hunger 1 or the one in Fear and Hunger 2? Uh, Fear and Hunger 1. Much better. Much better. The second has more characters, all of them a little bit less developed, in my opinion. I know you may say, ooh, Darcy is just loving Lagarde, but uh, she is still better than some of the Termina characters, like Caligula. So. Italians do hand gestures, I do the- eh, my family does that. Uh, okay, we do hand gestures, but not so much time, like, one time every two days, three days, maybe. Like, it's not so use, use uh, so usual for us to do it. Stop coping, Dr. Capper, stop coping. Come on, silver coins, blue herb. Eh, blue herb is not bad, it's a healing item, technically. We can farm the- we can get the mix of red and blue. What's the most common Italian cuss? What is a cuss word? What does cuss mean? I don't know what is that word uh, actually. Cuss. Concussion. Like a ki to, to kill someone. Cuss. Do you have any tattoos? No, I don't like tattoos. I don't like uh, uh, bracelets. I don't like piercings. I'm uh, naked. <laughs> In a certain sense. Curse. Oh, curse! Uh, swear word, okay. Um, uh, uh, no, I, I will not say it. <laughs> I will not say it. It's not a, it's not a cute word. Mr. YouTube wouldn't approve. Mr. YouTube wouldn't approve. Alright, so. Naked Italian stream. I mean, I'm not naked IRL, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't like to use that kind of stuff. I don't like to use it. Come on! <laughs> We, I ju we just need five silver... Five! 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 F four, technically, but uh, I know there is a five silver coins uh, possibility. Please. Please. Please, please, please. Pretty please. Pretty please. Pretty please. Pico Pig, I'll be your best friend. Just give me some silver coins. Just give me some silver coins. No, I would never get a, a tattoo, it doesn't matter what it is about. I just don't like uh, the idea of having a tattoo on my body. I don't know why. Like, it's perfectly fine if you guys use tattoos. I don't like them on my body. Yes, like, thank you for the 49 CCK! Do you have any tattoos? If not, what would you get? No, no, no. I wouldn't get uh, anything, yes, like, like, at all. Like, I, I don't like tattoos on my body. Others can do what they want, of course, like, uh, 
If you like them, I'm 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 so I'm very happy actually, but uh, I don't really like the concept of uh, having uh, a part of my body with uh, something uh, else. I don't know how to express it. I don't know if uh, it's clear, but uh, it's just my preference. It's just my preference. I have really sensible skin, I can't have tattoos. Oh, well, there is also the sensible skin, that's true. People that cannot have tattoos regardless of uh, their decision. That's true. Come on. Like, there are a lot of enemies also in Fear and Hunger Terminal with tattoos, if I remember correctly. Like, like there, there are there, um, the red signs for a lot of uh, enemies, if I remember correctly. If just if, what could it be? Oh! If just if, then it will be something related to a maybe a, a very bad event that may happen to me, but also very small because I don't want it to be a perishant. Maybe something like a letter of someone I love or of someone that uh, passed away, unfortunately, like uh, passed uh, out. No, not passed. Out. Passed away is uh, sleeping uh, unintentionally. Passed out is uh, dying. Yeah. Someone have passed out, maybe, that I really uh, loved, or something like that. Like, something symbolic, for sure, of that type of, that type of stuff, that connects me to someone else. Basically. No, not a spam tone, guys! Uh, oh, silver coins! Silver coins! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. From here, actually. From here. Uh, I have to, redu to remove the, the Prohibal Bop music. I have to remove the Prohibal Bop music. Boom. Uh-huh. And boom. Okay. So, let's craft a single torch. We have seven more. With seven torches, are we able to freaking finish the game or no? Also, because if we are, if we are not able to, we can farm 18 more torches. 18. Okay, mind restoration. Mind restoration later, later. We have to go back there regardless to reach uh, Valtail. Passed out means asleep, passed away means death. Uh, oh! Oh, sorry, sorry. Thanks for telling me. Okay, yeah, then I meant, uh, I meant uh, uh, passed away, not passed out, uh, when they made the discussion. I meant passed out. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, passed, uh, passed away, sorry, passed away. <laughs> you got it the opposite way, passed away is... Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, we're almost back there. The torch is almost used completely to get to the vent door. God damn it. Mm. I have a feeling... Uh, Imagine if the run dies because of torches. Imagine. Welcome back, John. We we don't have legs anymore. Ah, uh, why did I fail on that stupid bird trap? Uh, Valtail, can you actually kill? Mm. Okay. Valtail, can you actually kill me? I'm gonna feel happier. I swear. Oh, hello, Harvestman. Hello, Harvestman. Goodbye, Harvestman. Lack of torches is deadly. We can still maneuver through the dungeon, but it's gonna be much slower and uh, uninteresting. So, if that happens... Uh, I am probably gonna code in some torches, because dying because of torches... No. But for now, we're gonna try with all the means possible to not resort to that. Okay? Easy. Easy. That's the gist of it. Understood? Understood. Come on. Let's take three Elixir of Mind. One, two, three. Perfect. All the Elixir of Mind was taken. I live for 20 minutes and you got no likes. Yeah, Mr. Sandman, it happened. <laughs> hmm. How much time do you have in Termina? Around 150 hours, I think. But, uh, like, uh, I'm ignorant for now. I am completely ignorant, even with 150 hours. That's not enough time for saying that uh, I know stuff about Termina. Absolutely not. Do you need to get uh, over the fire traps? Uh, yeah, but it's easy, it's easy. You can circumnavigate them, or you can just uh, traverse them. You are fast enough even while crawling. You are fast enough even while crawling. The Ignoramus! <laughs> the Ignoramus. Also, the torch almost ran away. Please? Please? No, 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 no! Oh, my favorite Pokémon! Either Greninja or Gallade. My favorite Pokémon is either Greninja or Gallade. I love them. F from purely from an aesthetic point, of course. Like, from a gameplay, I would say... Maybe Rayquaza. I love uh, the aggro style of Rayquaza, but... Uh, like, uh, from a purely aesthetic, I would say Greninja or uh, uh, Gallade. Now... Hmm. 
What the hell do we do now? Do we go? Yeah, we go for Valtail. There is no reason to, to keep waiting. Jingaza Kabuto and Eastern Silk Robes. We still have a decent defense to take less damage from Headbutt, but come on. It's not so sure that they that Valtid is gonna do all the turns to that stupid attack. And no, torches uh, don't matter too much if you're playing on Fear and Hunger difficulty, because even though you will not see a lot, you still see. So, torches uh, are not really essential in Fear and Hunger difficulty. Okay. I don't have a wheelchair. I don't think in the medieval time there were... There were, were there wheelchairs uh, in the medieval times? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, hello. Oh, let's farm, uh, let's farm mind, since we are here. Sorcerer's Stone, let's go back to full mind. Okay, try doing the cells without torches, actually not possible. Uh, yeah, also because if you don't know the conformation of the cells, it's very difficult. If you don't know the conformation already. Because, uh, like, uh, you may realize what is the conformation based on the, on the sound cues, etc. But, uh, like, uh, it's so much work. Is it really worth it? Uh, nah. Okay, let's guard, let's go back to full health and mind. Let's hope Valtail is gonna be gentle. Cause after we kill Valtail, we can straight up go for the nameless. White Angel Soul, yeah, White Angel Soul for the battle. Uh-huh. Goodbye. You might have a chair that walks on its own or something. I mean, yeah, it's fantasy, but uh, it's not uh, steampunk. Like, uh, it's not that type of... Uh, uh, plot in which there are uh, weird technology in the medieval times like uh, there is just magic, but there is no I mean to be honest You could have I don't know a, an, a, a shadow hand that moves uh, your chair or something and brings you away <laughs> Maybe All right guys We have almost there to chamber Are you ready to kill the last new god required to enter instead of the tormented temple? Are you ready? This is the last one after him no one else. We can go for Francois. And after we kill even Francois. <gasps> Wait a second. The, the dogs. Oh no. Are we gonna be able to run away from the dogs uh, while crawling? Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Stop whispering, you're making me whore. Eh? <laughs> really? I mean... Doesn't mean I will stop. So... Val... Tail. Val... Tail. We have to kill the third eye as fast as possible. Otherwise we lose. Otherwise we do lose. There it is. We are here. Okay. Rapid check. Rapid check. Jingaza Kabuto. Eastern Silk Robes. White Angel Soul. Let me craft the other stuff I can craft. Uh, blue Herb. No. We should have more... No, we don't have more Red Herbs. Okay. Let's craft more Blue Vials and more Light Blue Vials. Perfect. We have Magic Protection. We have the extra turn. Let's do this. Mega Mind. Don't do anything, don't do anything, don't do anything. Okay, creative ways. Sends a signal. Eh? Six damage. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. We can land our first chains of torment on the on the third eye. Don't miss. Okay, 1000 damage is good. Mm -hmm. Sends a signal. Hurting, okay. Hurting does less damage than the core overall. Perfect, 16. Calculating, calculating. Uh. Now we restore our mind, yeah. Elixir of mind, elixir of mind. We need to not miss once again. If we don't miss once again, we can kill creative ways, sense a signal, headbutt. Uh huh. There it is. Chains, don't miss! Yes! Yes! Mm. Yes! <sighs> okay. Now we can take the fight more slowly. We can take... Hurting? Okay, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We won, we won. The fight is won. 
it, it, it's just a matter of how much damage will we take during the fight now. Back to full health. Uh, creative ways. Yes, creative ways. Sends a signal. The headbutt part of the brain is very excited today. Hmm. Interesting. I could also use some bottle of whiskey. Yeah, you know what? I have a lot of healing items. Let's use some bottle of whiskey during this fight. Sends a signal. Hurting. Okay. Mm. Sends a signal. Headbutt. Yeah, we can... We can... Uh... Yeah, we can uh, use another bottle of whiskey. We can. Okay, guard. Creative ways. Calculating. Uh-huh. Chains of Torment to put a dot on the head. Yeah, there is no way I die. Even if he attacks me with Black Orb. Okay, we put a dot on him. He still has all of HP, but we, see we are in a good position now. We are in a good position, finally. 270 HP each turn. Not too bad. Not too bad, to be, to be honest. <sighs> okay. If, uh, if we are lucky... Uh, Black Orb. There it is. If we are lucky, we may be able to finish this fight without losing too much items. Too many items, sorry. The question is, once again... Uh, I think I'm gonna use all the ales in this moment. To very slowly be able to deal more damage with the Chains of Torment, so we keep the uh, the um, Elixir of Mind for Francois. That's what we do. Valtil is not a problem anymore. Creative ways. Send a signal. Headbutt. Okay. Uh, we're gonna use another ale before uh, before casting a Chains of Torment. Guard. Send a signal. Black Orb. Okay. Uh, it's around uh, nine plus nine plus nine. Uh, Twenty-seven. 9109 uh oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Come on, tail. Eventually you will die. Eventually you have to die. You, you can't just just stay there. You stupid idiot. 900 more damage. Okay, we just spared us like a 3 turns or something of waiting with uh, the chase of torment. 270. Uh, we can use another ale. We're gonna consume all the ales in this fight instead of the elixir of mind. Creative ways calculating. Creative ways calculating. Ale. Uh huh. Creative ways, creative ways. Sends a signal. Black orb. Okay. 10 10 12. Hey, is the damage increasing over time? What? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Are you trolling? Let's use another light blue vial. Another light blue vial. Definitely. Not risking, not risking. Creative ways sends a signal. Headbutt. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Are we really gonna win without our legs? <laughs> Are we really gonna win without our legs? <laughs> okay, uh, give me one second, I'm gonna take the other water, because this one, the water that I... No, wait, actually, no. No. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this water. I wanted to take the other water, but I can keep this one. Okay, guys. There is just Francois and the old... Okay, there is also the nameless figurine, okay. But we don't consider that. Some snake to remove uh, the bleeding. Back to the white angel. Okay. Back outside. Now. Nameless figurine is not a problem. And we are gonna kill the arms of the nameless figurine because I don't care what you say. I am gonna do it. I don't I don't care. I don't care. How much suffering would you uh, would you if uh, eh? Would you he in if chains uh, didn't cause bleed? Oh Zionis! Um, you, you have no idea. I mean, maybe you do have idea, but uh, <laughs> you don't want to know. You don't want to know. Okay, so... <sighs> Come on. Is this, this is the run of no running. <laughs> Even more tormented, technically, right? Uh, Even more tormented. And as the Streamlabs bot is suggesting, join the Discord, guys. Join the Discord. To be updated with all my new stuff. 
<sighs> Should I farm a little bit more before fighting Francois? I do have... 6 Elixir of Mind, 8 Elixir of Body, 5 Mix of Red and Blue, Steel, 1 Bottle of Whiskey, 9 Ales, 1 Blue Vial. How many like Blue Vials? Wait. You know what? I think we could go in without farming. Let me check one second. Can we get the Hard Lead of Armor? Uh, the Hermit, Gun Plate Armor. Uh, King Bastage Key, War Scythe, Morning Star, Charm of the Ega Gets, Ring of Wraiths, uh, Sorcerer Stone, Cloth Cape, something Soul. Mm, we can't get the hard leather armor from an empty scroll. That's pretty bad. Oh no, we, we can! Leather armor gives us the hard. Eh? Leather armor gives us the hard leather armor? Really? I, I forgot about that part. I, I, wrote, I wrote this, but. Uh, Wait, uh, let me check if there is a conflict with the other one. Wait, the leather... Oh, the other is leather vest. Okay, if we write leather armor, we do get the hard leather armor. Okay, we can get the hard leather armor for Francois. You do more damage with Chains of Torment when you don't have legs and your arms are fractured. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to get uh, to use our last empty scroll. Oh, Lord. Give. Leather. Armor. Hard leather armor. It is. This is incredibly good against the freaking uh, fire. This is gonna reduce the fire damage by like 60% or something. We, we, with this, Francois is gonna die. Francois is gonna die. I don't care. No, 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 no. I don't care. Francois has to die right now. Okay. We, since we are passing through the, the columns way, we are also gonna full restore our mind and our health with the Sorcerer Stone and Ring of Wraiths. Yeah, the Hard Light of Armor is that good against fire. It's uh, useless anywhere else, but uh, I mean, you're gonna use it against fire, <laughs> so it's good. Uh huh. Hey, oh, wrong, wrong room. Wait, wrong room. Wrong room. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I thought this was the the other room, but uh, we were far. Oh, we actually were very far. How did I make this mistake? Whatever. You need to eat a tomato because I have eight hunger now. You just keep that four ring. Did I? <laughs> Dapper Capper, I hate you. I hate you so badly. You have no idea. You have no idea. Don't gaslight me. You gave me a heart attack. You have no. It's it's uh, two a, at a half a.m. in the morning. You have no idea which things I could do at this time. Don't do it, please, please. I got uh, like my heart stopped for some seconds. Please, please. If you love, me, do, do you love me? Do you love me, please? <sighs> no, you don't love me. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the, the the uterus is gonna stay there. The uterus is gonna stay there. We are gonna keep the white angel soul. Now there is a difficult part. We're gonna have to dodge the to dodge the dogs. I don't know if while crawling you're able to dodge them. It's gonna be a first one even for me. In case we are not able to dodge them, it's gonna be killing time. Okay, first there is the Nameless One. The Nameless One is not a problem. Double Chains of Torment should kill one arm. Double Chains of Torment should kill one arm. Can you use a Bird Trap? Uh, no. I can't use Bird Traps. No. No, 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 no. What is the picture in your sub-notification? Leaf from Black Souls. Here we are, you stupid idiot. Can you hang guard while you- I don't think you can hang guard while you're crawling, right? I forgot that part. Okay, uh, for this one we don't need the hard leather armor though, we're gonna use the gaunt plate armor. Everything is ready. Everything is ready. Please nameless figurine. Please. Please nameless figurine. Please nameless figurine. Die easily. I am ready. 
Hello there. We're just gonna guard. Halving the damage is just too good. Basically, we are gonna we are gonna be able to stay here for the double of the turns. Okay, chains of torment on the first arm. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. First arm is bleeding. I could just uh, let, let's see the damage. How much damage do you take from bleeding on the arm? Actually, forty-two. <laughs> no, we can't wait. Hmm. Maybe I should use an elixir of mind. Maybe I should use one elixir of mind. Now nah, let's preserve them for the final battle against the Francois. Getting so tired, but I need to stay awake. Need to watch you succeed. Oh, thanks, Andrea Wittage. God damn it! The, the, he's actually able to deal a good amount of damage. Good job, Nameless. Good job indeed, Nameless. Hmm. Hmm. Dangerously low health we are getting. Dangerously low. Hmm. Propolo, answering your question, wheelchairs date back uh, uh, 1300 BC. Oh, before Christ. Oh, uh, really? So soon. Jesus. I lost the perception of time then, I guess. Okay. Let's keep guarding. How did you figure out Ragnavalor S ending with all information in the game? Oh, uh, I didn't. I was in a call with someone on the Discord and they told me you have to kill... Uh, no, they technically told me you have to kill all the enemies, not all the bosses. But then I just killed the bosses and took their souls. That's what happened. Okay, we can go with another Chains of Torment. We could go with another Chains of Torment on the arm. I think it should be almost dead. Right? Okay, now we take half, uh, even the half of the previous half damage. Even better. Uh huh. Extra turn, ale. Perfect. We're gonna consume all the ales, we really don't care. The real problem is Francois Arms, if I remember correctly, are gonna require two. And they say two chains of torment. And there is no way I'm gonna leave the arms there because they're gonna deal a lot of damage in phase two. You may just say we have the hard lead of armor, so we will take uh, a very low damage, but uh, I don't care. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Chains of torment to the arm. Yeah, I want the old guardian to be easy. Hmm. I mean, with one arm it's already easy. With one arm it's already easy enough. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go for the torso now. We don't need to waste any more mine. Boom. Uh, 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 <laughs> the real tormented run is this. Like I, I am losing my, 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 my vigor in this moment. I am literally losing my vigor. I don't even know what to say. Please, please. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <sighs> try, try tournament. Tournament. Tor tournament of, of what? Of the stupid idiots. Okay. Now we keep guarding. The bleeding is gonna eventually destroy the torso. I don't want to waste any more mind. I could use the ale. Hmm. I could use the ale. Yeah, let's use the ale at this point. Or we just guard. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, another ale. Oh, we don't reach enough, enough mind to use it once again. Oh, oh, oh. You know what? We're just gonna wait. He's slowly gonna lose all of his, all of his HP. We don't have any, my, any other minor mind restoring item. We are literally gonna wait. Literally. No, no, no. I don't use an elixir of mind for this idiot. I prefer using uh, health restoring items. We wait. We wait. It's, it's, it's full of time. So, uh, guys, uh, how did you do today? Did you like this stream for now? Do you like this content? Do you like me flagellating myself multiple times on camera? <laughs> do you have bevel, sto bevel stone? You mean sorcerer stone? No? Uh, I do have that, but... Uh, you can run from the fight of the nameless one. Hmm. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, if I kill both the arms, nah, 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 n
Come on, he's gonna die very soon. He's taking uh, 200 damage every turn, basically. There is no way you have so much health. I don't remember your health, but uh, it's lower than three, than 4,000 or something. Oh, okay. There it is. So. Hmm. So. Um, let's use um, Mix of Red and Blue. Thank you for the follow. Mix of Red and Blue. And another Mix of Red and Blue. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We do have the White Angel equipped, yes. Alright, guys. Now we are gonna unlock the freaking uh, Butterfly Soul. Flagellating self? Flagellate? Isn't flagellation a word? Flagellate? No. Isn't, uh, isn't it correct? I thought it was correct. Whatever. So. Bow, 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 bow. Uh, we are so slow. The, the, dogs are gonna, the dogs are gonna catch us. <laughs> the dogs are gonna catch us. Uh. <laughs> Pinecone. Alright, guys. Yeah, brown vials are allowed. They are not against the rules in any way, shape, or form. Please. Please, dogs, be gentle. We got another torch. We got another torch. Another blue vial, which is nice. The dogs are gonna be freed very soon. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Th three, two, one. Uh, bro. Oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> For sure they put the word back there. Come on! Come on, Ragnavalder! Come on, Ragnavalder! Come on, Ragnavalder, you can do it! You can do it! Those are the stairs! Those are the stairs! Yes! <sighs> okay. Okay, you can actually outspeed the dogs even while crawling. Easy. Okay. Okay. Now. Let's actually stop and loot the remaining items, because there may be more torches and that kind of stuff. Let's use another torch, because I don't see anything. Why are they so loud? Ask the developer. Are there even dogs? Oh, of course there are Zionists. They spawn after you arrive to that point. I remember them. I remember them. I also have them on a video about fighting them. I think I show them on screen. Does dash affect you running while legless? No, it doesn't. And even when you are when you, when you have only one leg, if you lose one leg, dash became, becomes useless immediately. All right, Francois, Francois time. Do we fight Francois with six elixir of mind or no, guys? You tell me. Do we fight Francois with six elixir of mind? And the amount of healing items I show you. Maybe you can find some new legs. No. <laughs> now people can't complain about you having that. Exactly, exactly. Welcome, Raiden Jack. Welcome to stream, my friend. Hmm. Should we fight Francois? Farm it better safe than sorry. You are right, but... Uh, uh, hmm. Also, we still, have to, we still have to collect the old passage key and then to kill the old guardian after this. Then we go back to, back to the entrance. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff to do. I will, I will probably need more mind, regardless. You don't have less defense when we do no legs? No, absolutely not. Hmm. Hmm. Let me recheck. The amount of items I have. Oh, I have another uh, health restoring item, the blue vial. Uh, okay. Mm. Six elixir of mind is very low. Francois arms have 1200 HP, if I remember correctly. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, enemies. Frank. Francois. 1200 HP. And the Francois itself on the tour. Ah, we don't even consider the tours of Francois. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. 
To this run you use empty scroll. I don't have empty scroll anymore. I finished all the empty scrolls. I only had the three in the whole run. Yeah, you know, better safe than sorry. Maybe a brown vial and a stone. And a stone. What do you mean stone? Stone? Hmm. You know, I'm gonna wait until I get three more elixir of mind of some or something. In the meantime, we are also gonna get uh, we're also gonna get more health restoring guidance, and since Francois has a lot of health, health restoring guidance are gonna be useful. You know. Okay, let's give ourselves a timer. It's 2 and 40 a.m. We are gonna wait until 3 a.m. with the farming. Okay, guys. Easy. We're gonna wait until 3 a.m. with the farming. Couldn't you easily win the challenge by breaking the rules of the challenge? It's that easy. Oh, you're right, Tupper Capper. Wait, uh, let me ban you from the chat for one second. <laughs> Stop saying gibberish, my friend. Stop saying gibberish. And we start perfectly with the uh, Pinko Pig brought to you nothing. Let me uh, remove the fear and hunger music. Let me place once again the farming. God damn it, I need a break after this challenge. Next week there is gonna be a bug fix stream. No, 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 no. I need a, I need to, I need a break from challenges. Con, thank you for the two dollars, for the two dollars, my friend. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little bit uh, low in the voice, but uh, I'm starting to feel a little bit the tiredness, you know. But thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. Uh, so, glass vial. Can we get money? Money means uh, elix elixir of mind. Money means elixir of mind. Bug fix stream. Bug fix next uh, next week, guys. Uh, I declare it right now. Next week we are gonna have a bug fix stream. I need to rest. The challenges are too much. Ah, a break while they're drinking gulp. Yeah, let's do. Let's drink a little bit, actually. So, next challenge: kill everything. I was thinking about doing something similar. Specifically, I was thinking about a challenge in which fear and hunger. But if you enter into a room, you have to kill all the enemies in that room. If you think about it, uh, that makes uh, the the game become uh, makes the game become very interesting in some uh, mechanics. Like uh, you need to strategically think where you want to go. There are not a lot of deviations you can take, but still you have to kill all the redmans if you go into the past Mahabre to skip the crow mother. So you either kill the crow mother first, and if the crow mother spawns in the room, you have to kill it. That would be interesting in my opinion. Would you like it? What is a bug fix stream? Uh, will you show how to fix bugs in the game? Yeah, exactly, Andrea Wittich. I am gonna fix uh, because I have a mod that fixes the bugs of the game. So we, we fix them together on stream and then I update the mod. That's what I do usually. That seems an interesting idea. Like, uh, if you think about it, there are, all the, there are a lot of enemies in the game that you usually can just say, bro, just skip it. In this challenge, instead, you need. You need to freaking. Uh, kill every single one of them. You cannot uh, just use dash to evade everything. You need to be careful about, uh, like, uh, you go into the basement, uh, okay, you need to deal with the maneba, which are gonna deal damage. You go into the entrance, uh, you need to deal with multiple guards, which are doable, uh, of course. But there are a lot. You may miss one attack, for example. What is he even talking about? What do you mean? I just explained. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, what, what am I even talking about, uh, bro? <laughs> Whatever. Speedrun of uh, Fanger in the future, maybe, Matthias. For now, maybe for the next uh, weeks, no. We will see. Feel bad because experienced players just ignore the Squidward enemies. Yeah, because they're very slow. Instead, in this challenge, you have to kill them. Alright. Come on, can you give me, I don't know. A uh, bottle of whiskey, money, something that is not useless. Please, please, Pinecone Pig, I will love you forever. There is no randomizer mode for fear and hunger, unfortunately, especially for the enemies. Someone is working on a randomizer mode, but it's still in the very early stages. Brought you nothing, perfect. If you saw an enemy in a room, would you kill them there, uh, then and there, or wait later? No, 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 no. The challenge was, uh, the challenge idea was uh, fear and hunger. Oh, silver coins. But I have to kill all the enemies uh, in, a pl in a zone in which I enter into. Like, uh, do you see this uterus in front of me? It's in my same zone. I need to kill it. That's the gist of it. I saw you weren't on the fourth part of the podcast. I kind of got sad. I know it's small talk video, but uh, I love uh, how you, Raccoon, and Joe's working. It's nice, but uh, it's not the same. Oh, thanks, Crow. Yeah, I was busy, and they, uh, we weren't able to get another hour to register the podcast. So, unfortunately, I had to step back. 
But it's fine, it's fine, there are gonna be more occasions. Next time I'm gonna give you a little bit of spoiler. There is gonna be, as guest, the voice actor of Needles. Ta -da -ta -da, ta -da -ta -da. Did you understand? Perfect. What if Miro added a randomizer mode for Fungir 3? <laughs> a built-in randomizer? That would be cool, for sure. That would be cool, but... Uh, I don't think Miro will ever implement that. I don't, I don't think so, nah, 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 nah. That doesn't seem Miro's style, to be honest. Now, we do have enough silver coins to buy one Elixir of Mind. I want a little bit more. I want a little bit more. Who even voiced acted Needles? Oh, it's a guy called Louis, if I remember correctly. It's a guy called Louis. Oh, three silver coins. We are almost there to get two. Two Elixir of Mind. After that, I think we can go to Francois. It would be so amazing if Worm Girl were in uh, main cast so that new gods will show. Uh, um, I mean. We can ask, uh, of course. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but uh, whatever. All enemies replaced by Crow Muller run. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. All, like, uh, um, fear and hunger, but uh, all the enemies are the Crow Muller. I would love it. Hmm. Hmm. Like, uh, it would be interesting if uh, the enemies had different designs for the Crow Muller. Like, uh, Valtail, third brain, is the head of the Crow Muller that does peck. Or, uh,. Francois, when uh, melt when he melts himself with gold, he transforms into a double-headed crow molar. Chambara uh, doesn't have wheels; uh, those are just crow molars. Uh, it would be cool. You got to Francois, Mr. All. Uh, yeah, big Gabo, we arrived to Francois. Francois is the last opponent we are missing after the uh, then the old guardian. Then we go to the to the courtyard and collect the butterfly soul, and then we leave this stupid place. Will you stream Elden Ring or have you already streamed it? Uh, my friend, if you go into the VODs, uh, I have a full run of Elden Ring. Full run. So I already streamed it. I will not stream again. Maybe once the, the DLC comes out. Once the DLC comes out. There is some possibility that you can bring Mivo to the podcast, did you? Or Mo talk with him about? Uh, Mivo knows about the podcast, but uh, he's busy. I don't know if he would ever uh, be interested, but uh, we can ask, of course. Do you need to kill the other cutters if you do the genocide challenge? They are inside of the room? Yes. Will you kill it? Yes. Simple. But I'm gonna do it in hard mode, probably, so there will not be other characters. What would OG Chromoler become? Replace the arms with other Chromoler heads. Basically. Valtel's first eye sensor because it looks like a- No! That, that's not- It's a- Bro, what's the difference between that and a worm? Like, a, bro, there is a... Okay, you know what? You know what? Let me let me do something, actually. There is a Duel Masters card. Let me let me check. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, let me check. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something that I that was present in a trading card game for children. Okay, guys. Let me show you. Let me let me show you. Uh, because now I want this to stop. You can't say, oh, because it looks like that. I, I want to show you something. I want to show you something, okay? In a card game called the Duel Masters, there is this card. Horrid Worm. What does it look like, guys? What does it look like? Stupid idiots. Just because it has a, a shape of a worm doesn't mean, oh, it's a peepee. -pee. No, guys. Touch grass, you stupid idiots, okay? Okay. Now, let's continue. <laughs> Sorry for the little moment of uh, explanation, but uh, I'm so tired of people saying, oh, it looks like a peepee. -pee. Bro, it's a worm. It's a freaking worm. It's called the eye. It's called the third eye. There is no re reference whatsoever to a possible peepee. -pee. It comes from the brain. Like, uh, guards have the stinger between the legs. Okay. The brain. Why would there be a peepee -pee in the brain? Guys, guys. Touch grass, okay? Okay. Now, sorry, I need to calm down because my, my throat is starting to hurt a little bit. My throat is starting to hurt a little bit. So, can you give me some more coins? Like, uh, how many coins do I have? Wait, uh, leather helmet. How many coins do I have? Uh, 15. Uh, I need five more. Five more, five more, five more. 
Why does Purple even have to even has to explain that? Because a lot of people apparently think that worm is immediately a reference to that. I will literally send you the base image that was used to, to paint the third eye. Oh, okay, Tupper. Okay, show me, show me. Like, uh, even if you show me and that's actually a pee pee, it still doesn't mean that's a pee pee. Do you realize that? It's not like uh, if you take as a reference, uh, I, if I take as a reference to make uh, a. I don't know, a, a drawing of myself. If I take as a reference, uh, freaking Caligula doesn't mean that I have the same character of Caligula. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna freaking uh, uh, assault Abella when she sleeps in the main or something. Do you realize that, guys? It's not like because you take a reference from something, then immediately it's like that. Okay? You stupid idiots. But I love you for this. I love you for this, regardless. Come on, can you give me some coins? Uh, otherwise we can't go to Francois, please. Let's start a revolution. Those who believe uh, Valtteri's third eye looks like a... No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> now, are you the developer of uh, Fear and Hunger? If uh, no, how do you fix glitches? Uh... With a lot of uh, effort, my friend. I am not the developer. I do it with a lot of effort. Yes, like, thank you so much for the 49 CCK! Unlock the third floor in Ruina, please give me tips. Oh, I'm not the good person for uh, tips about Termina, about um, uh, Library of Ruina, honestly. Like, uh, I, I, I can't say I'm expert about the game, absolutely. Absolutely no. My suggestion is try to make a good... Uh, <gasps> 12 silver coins, okay, we go. My suggestion is to try to make uh, uh, economic decks, uh, try to use light restoration cards a lot, and uh, even uh, draw power, otherwise you're gonna stay without cards. That's the gist of it. Thanks so much for the support. <sighs> Every YouTuber has a name for their followers. Stupid idiots is yours. I mean, technically mine is... Uh... Frappolers, but uh, that names almost never get used, so... Technically. Okay, let me remove... Uh, let me put back the normal music. Let me remove the farming music. Okay, we're gonna go to the vendor, we buy your stuff, and we go to Francois. Easy. Why don't you develop your own game? I think it would be great. Thanks, but um, I'm not really interested into the developing department. Like, uh, doing a mod? Maybe yeah, also because I love the game. But starting from scratch... The problem is... I don't have uh, an idea. Let me explain. If it comes to game developing, I don't think I have an idea about what I want to talk about in a game. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Miro... Uh, made this game because he wanted to teach, he wanted to tell this story. You understand what I mean? I don't have a story that I want to tell about. The the, the thing I want to tell about uh, is my YouTube channel, for example. Like, uh, every one of us does different projects related to different things they want to tell to people. Like, uh, even teachers, for example. They want to tell uh, students uh, that ma that subject, uh, that uh, uh, important stuff about the subject, uh, and... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay, only make a game if you have something to tell. Exactly. Like, uh, everyone uh, has something to tell in a different department. For example, there is there are people who uh, draw, there are people who sing. Everyone that does those things uh, is because uh, they love it uh, and they think they're able to use it to tell something to people. You know what I mean? Would you make a Kaizo mode for this game instead, then? Um, hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Like, a. Uh, Kaizo mode, uh, hmm, doesn't, doesn't seem too difficult, honestly. Like, uh, doesn't seem even too difficult to execute. I could just increase the difficulty, like, uh, the damage the enemies do, so you need to actually do more planning. I add more body parts to the opponents, yeah. I think something could be done. Okay, Elixir of Mind, Elixir of Mind, and Elixir of Mind. Okay, so, now... You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's the time to go to my friend Francois, the last important enemy of the dungeon of fear and hunger. Guys, do we do first Francois or the old guardian actually? You know, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a poll. I'm gonna make a poll. Frank or Old Guardian? Okay. Frank or 
uh, guardian. Okay. Go ahead, Andrea Witich, thank, so thank you so much for the two thank you so much for the two euros and fifty! Uh, you're our personal Terry Hines. <laughs> Aw, that's so sweet. Thanks. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> I am the Terry Hints now. Alright, guys. To go here, you need to freaking crawl on the floor until you reach Francois. Thank you so much, Andrea. Okay, we're gonna move while the poll goes. Francois is slightly winning. It's pretty close by. I'm pretty happy to, to see that. Hmm. I'm pretty happy to see that. Seven hour stream, you're insane. Oh, thanks, Shy Pluto. I mean, the challenge needs to, needs to finish before we go to bed, you know. Otherwise, I would be a freaking liar when I said that we are gonna finish this one today. Okay, Francois is winning. Then I guess there is no other choice. Then I guess there is no other choice. So, we need two chains of torment to kill one arm. The question is, do we want to kill one arm? You know what time it is? It's the time for uh, my favorite moment. We're gonna do math. So, let's think about this, okay? Let's think about this. So, Francois arms are always, always gonna use pyromancy trick. If I remember, yeah. They are always gonna use pyromancy trick, which is the skill number 245. 245. It deals 35 damage. 35. One arm deals 35 damage, okay? The problem is... The problem is, we have the armor called the hard leather armor, which is gonna reduce the damage by more than 50%. Let me check. Oh, actually, no, I said 60%, uh, it's actually 75, sorry. 75% damage reduction. Okay. So, 35, 1% is 3, we may say, 3.5, okay, so, 10% is that, 20% uh, is like 6, 5%, let's go with the uh, overall 8, we're gonna take 8 damage on average from one pyromancy trick, 8 damage, then, there is another attack called uh, Squirts of Molten, Squirts of Molten, the God Squirt Smolten from, uh, yeah, does uh, 35 damage. So another 8 damage. We're already at uh, 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 24 damage. And then there is a uh, Molten Gold, which is not used every single turn, every single turn, but it's still present. Molten Gold, which does 20 damage 3 times. So 25%. Is like a uh, five damage or something, so fifteen damage. Everything is halved because we are gonna guard. You know, that doesn't seem that big of a damage, honestly. We take a four from both arms. Hmm. Do we just go for the torso then? Like uh, we don't do. We we shouldn't lose that much health, honestly. We shouldn't lose that much health. Hmm. Do we just go for the torso? Do we just go for the torso? Hmm. Hmm. In, in the meantime, let's let's start by arriving to it, okay? In the meantime, let's start to arrive to it. Sure. Okay, if we go for the torso, I just have to remember to keep guarding in the normal turns. To, to guard one time in the normal turns, I mean. Because we need to be sure the uh, grab attack doesn't work. The fire pits won't be fun with no legs. No, 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 they're fine, they're fine. I need to use a torch, though. I need to use a torch. Also, we can craft blue vials. Perfect. And light blue vial. There it is, the, the, the fire pit. We are fast enough, we are fast enough. Perfect. Uh-huh. Very slowly. <laughs> oh god, still uh, uh, need to get through the instant kill hallway. Yeah, but it's fine, it's fine. We just have time. We just need the time to do this. Come on. Mm-mm. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Uh-huh. Okay. Whew. Who dropped off your legs? Um, bird trap. Can you craft a brown vial or something useful? I crafted everything. I already have a brown vial. 
But honestly, I don't need it. Honestly, I don't need it. Uh, 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 uh. Just to be safe, just to be safe. No need to risk, no need to risk, no need to risk. Uh, come on, favorite enemy in the game? Probably Francois. Like if you mean by battling it, Francois. If you mean aesthetically, darkness. Darkness for sure. Okay. Here we are. <sighs> Frank. My dear friend, Frank. <laughs> White Angel Soul is ready. Also, let's remember we are gonna get. B hey! No, I was almost thinking about using the brown vial here, but we need the extra turn from the start in order to resist it to Catlas. Catlas is gonna cut off our limbs. <sighs> Any tips for, to, on how to go about the first few rounds? Oh, sure. Establish a save file. Find a way to establish a save file very soon. Remember, there may be a coin flip, but if you clean the area, there is no more coin flip. But there is also one bed in which you get one free save. Then after that, explore the enemies. The enemies are puzzles. And talk to an NPC called Sir Seymour. He's gonna tell you something very important. Listen to it very carefully. All right. Okay. We just go. We just go. We just go. Oh wait, we are missing mind. Oh, oh. Uh, no, we are not gonna go all the way back. No, no, no. Hey, yo. <laughs> we are not gonna go all the way back. Okay, Francois. Your dominance has come to an end. I guess you're finally met your match. <laughs> this is probably the first time in which you're gonna see the real power of Francois. Because now we cannot use the talk option. 12 damage, okay, that arm is gonna not do that thing anymore after that, after we go to phase 2. Um, should we kill one arm, maybe? Burn is kinda annoying. No, let's go for it. Technically, we will take less damage in phase... No, we take more damage in phase 2. You know... Let's kill one arm. Let's kill one arm. One. Okay, 1035. Let's guard again, otherwise uh, Cutlass is gonna deal tremendous damage. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Performance trick. We should be fine, we should be fine. Um, it's time to... No, I mean, technically, 41, it does uh, 12 and 4. We can we can use a, uh, a mind item. We can use a mind item. Right, at least of mind. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Guard. Mm -hmm. eh, eh. Eh, eh. Okay. 36 damage. Okay, the arm has one HP. Now, elixir of body. Elixir of body. Guard again. Oh, we dodged the catalyst. That's perfect. No, 36. Oh, you don't have one HP. Oh, you're gonna die then. You are gonna die. Boom! Okay, thank you for the follow. Now we only take mediocre damage from Pyromancy Trick. We take more damage from Burn. We may actually stop guarding in this first phase and just healing our mind consistently to kill that arm. We're gonna take 8 damage instead of uh, the usual, but we're gonna kill it one turn prior or something. Boom. 1035. 10. Uh, mind restoring item, we have one ale and one, one bottle of whiskey. Okay. Elixir of mind. Elixir of mind. Mm -hmm. And now with this change of torment, the other arm is gonna get destroyed. One, two, three, four, five. Boom! Okay, Francois. <sighs> this is over for you. This is over for you. Are you gonna... 
you tackle, right? Let me see. Oh, there it is, yeah. Tackle. Okay. Until we're going to phase two, I, sh I could heal the burn that I have. But nah. Okay. Guarding the normal turn, in the extra turn, we're gonna use the Chains of Torment. Pick up. Idiot. Boom. Okay. Now we just wait. With the second Chains of Torment, he should definitely go to, to phase two, I think. Or maybe it's also just a matter of waiting. Still, five Elixir of Mind. Five Elixir of Mind is not a bad number. I'm gonna use Elixir of Mind in this turn as well. Now we only have four. His stage two isn't that impressive, to be honest. Stage two... Yeah, in this phase, it's not that impressive. I just wanted to be sh to be safe. I just wanted to be safe. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna heal the, the, the burn. The burn is doing a lot of damage. So we can actually tank all the damage until we reach phase two. Are we gonna laugh, you stupid idiot? Throw at me your laugh. I'm waiting for it. I'm freaking waiting for it. Throw it at me. Come on. Uh-huh. Can you go to phase two? I don't want to use another chains of... No, I'm gonna wait. I don't want to use another chains of torment to send you to phase two. We take uh, seven damage per turn or something. We can just wait. We can just wait. I only have uh, a limited amount of elixir of mind. I don't want to risk. We have more health restoring items than mind restoring items. We wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. It's a constant battle. Still 70 HP. 70 HP is more than enough to kill this stupid idiot. Can you go to phase 2? Please, Francois, please, can you go to phase 2, please? I'm asking, pretty please. Pretty please. Mm. Okay, after the next tackle, we're gonna use a mix of red and blue. Please, phase 2? No. Mm. How many HP? 12 HP restored by a mix of red and blue, by the way. 12 HP restored by Mix of Red and Blue. 12, okay. You want to restore 12 HP now. Okay, okay, that, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Hello, Francois. Hello, Frank. How are you, my friend? <sighs> Let's see the damage. Shining. <coughs> Spit some molten. Okay, just four damage. We are burnt again. Yeah, we need to deal damage. We need this fight to end as fast as possible. As fast as possible. Boom. Uh huh. Molten gold. Twelve damage. Three. Th oh, uh, eight damage actually. Okay, the burner really is the real problem. I could have kept the Salmon Snake Soul and used the Brown Vial. Now that I think about it, to remove completely the problem. Mm. Yeah, that could have been a good idea. But we are here regardless. We are here regardless. Boom. Guard, 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 guard. Mm -hmm. Shining, spit some molten. There it is. We are in the range to use a light blue vial, yeah. We have still six light blue vials. We are never gonna take this amount of damage against uh, the, the, the old guardian. Molten gold. Boop, boop. Mm -hmm. Spit some molten. Boop. Chains of Torment. Get tormented, idiot! You are the dominating. You're gonna become the tormented. Okay. <sighs> Come on, shining bright. The damage he's taking from a uh, burn is uh, from um, bleeding is not bad. Elixir of Mind. Yeah. 81. Perfect. We are allowed. To we are allowed to use another Chains of Torment with this. Shining. Spits a molten. <sighs> 170. Peekaboo. One, two, three, four, five! Boom! Mm hmm. Come on! <sighs> Molten gold. Molten gold! Okay, we missed one. I mean, that, that, was, that didn't really matter. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> Down. Come down, guys. It's not over. It's not the time to celebrate. It is not the time to celebrate. Butterfly and the old guardian, guys. Butterfly and the freaking old guardian. <sighs> Butterfly and the old guardian. Let's go back to the gauntlet armor. 
I don't need to heal my HP or mind because there is a, a uterus that is gonna heal them for me. How many elixirs for mine do we have? Wait. Two? Yeah, that's fine. That's more than enough to kill the old guardian. More than enough. Okay. I don't need some mind items in this moment. No, the old guardian has a very low amount of HP. We are fine. We are fine. We just need to be careful. Uh, uh, Ring of Wraiths and Soul Devour? Soul Devour. Oh, the Soul Devour necklace? No, I don't. I have a Ring of Wraiths, though. I have the Sorcerer Stone, though, which is the important one. Okay. Imagine randomly dying to the flames. Couldn't be me! Couldn't be me! Imagine throwing for content. If someone donates in this moment $1,000, I am gonna fall into the flames. Okay, guys? I'm gonna wait. I don't want to risk. I don't want to risk. I could just circumnavigate them, but uh, I'm gonna wait. Okay. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. $1,000 to become the true tormented one. <laughs> I lost my legs because of uh, a bear trap. Because of a bear trap. Okay. Now, we go to the Mahaber puzzle. We don't have the old passage key, right? We don't have the... We still didn't take the old passage key. Because I'm stupid and I wanted to wait. Okay. Mm hmm Also, wait. Uh, let's just use... Uh, let's, let's just smoke copium. Uh, tobacco, actually. Let's keep the copium for the worst case scenario. Okay. Now, let's go to the... To farm mind and, hel and uh, health. And then we're fine. I'm getting scared. That's fine, that's fine. <sighs> please. 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 There is the whole old passage road with the body snatcher, etc. And after that, it's over. After that, it's over. <laughs> I can't believe we are almost 700 people at 3 a.m. After this, after this, we need some rest, guys. Every single one of us, both me and you, we deserve some rest, really. How many bosses left? Welcome. Only one, the old guardian. Then we need to go on the first floor and take this, the butterfly soul. Then we can leave. That's all that is remaining. Ugh. Please, please. Uh, tomorrow morning I'm not gonna wake up. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep until freaking 1 p.m. or something. 1 p.m. I swear. I really deserve a vacation. During the actual vacations, I worked and studied. So, tomorrow is gonna be my vacation, okay? It's gonna be the frappocation. Okay, guys? Perfect. So, come on. The old guardian is not a problem. Like, we, also, he's gonna miss one arm. He does mediocre damage. We are full of healing items. The only case in which we may lose is if we miss four times Chains of Torment. That's the only case in which we may lose, because in that case I'm not able to, to attack him anymore. That's the only case. If you want me to fail the run, pray the RNG gods to make me fail four times. Okay, perfect. He can't stun me. I have the Gaunt Bassinet. Gaunt Bassinet prevents a stun. He cannot perma-stun me. You idiot! <laughs> sorry, sorry. <sighs> okay. Okay. It's almost 4 a.m. I know, Icicle Stick. This needs to be done. No one has done a Chains of Torment only run. This is gonna be the first one. Use Sorcerer Stone and Brown Vial to make sure. I could, actually. I could to make sure, like, to be extremely sure. I could do that. Wait, Angel Soul, let's go. Please, I had to see you crawl this whole time. If anything, I'm praying nothing bad happens. Imagine now, I don't know, we accidentally don't uh, escape from the body snatcher and the body snatcher paralyzes us and we lose. 
That would be funny. <clears throat> no, that would... That would uh, le guys, let me shut up. Guys, uh, let me shut up. Why don't you... Sh why don't you shut me up, please? Please. Stop making me talk. Like, uh, say something... Uh, say something so I don't have to say anything. I'm just saying gibberish. No, 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 no. Okay. From now on, I'm not gonna talk, okay? No, no. <laughs> just joking. I, I would never be able to not talk. <laughs> and uh, just watching Ragnavalder slowly crawling across the whole map. Nah, nah, nah. <sighs> what do Italian politicians think of Tifa Lockhart? Never had the opportunity to ask them. I know they accidentally shared a Tifa Lockhart weird video on a uh, political encounter. Uh, hello, bloody man. And goodbye, bloody man. Perfect. Okay. I have a new party member. Uh, it's, a, it's an aggressive party member, actually. Look at the bear traps, the stupid bear traps. You can't do anything anymore to me. I am immune to bear traps now. Okay. Here there is gonna be another bloody man if I remember correctly. Oh no, 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 no. Fortunately, I remembered incorrectly. Rule broken. Wh which rule did I break? Party member. <laughs> for sure, for sure. All right. It wasn't a permanent party member though, so it's fine, it's fine. Now, please, please, let's take the old passage without the the stupid body snatcher actually bothering me. That scared me so badly. Are they, do the body snatcher have uh, 10 agility like all the enemies? I think, yeah. I never actually checked if they do have uh, uh, snatch, snatch. Okay. 10 agility, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Okay, they do have 10 agility. Whew. Just wanted to check, you know. Okay. Body Snatcher doesn't want me to pass. We need to juke the Body Snatcher. Come here. Come here, my friend. Okay, just enter into a fight. Uh. <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> Imagine you're just like uh, walking on the on the street uh, and someone approaches you and says uh, <laughs> Like imagine <laughs> Okay, we got our key. We just have to go back to the Tower of the Endless. Thank you for the follow <sighs> Please never make that sound again <laughs> <laughs> I love making weird sounds with my microphone. I love my microphone I'm so happy to have it, and I have to thank you guys. This wouldn't be possible without you. Thank you so much. Okay, bloody man. There is the bloody man. Propolo is sleep drunk. I have never been sleep drunk, actually. I have a friend that becomes sleep drunk if, it wa if he waits like too many times before, uh, too much time before going to sleep. I'm not sleep drunk. I am here like this natu naturally. <laughs> is that a positive? You decide. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. Old Guardian, then the Butterfly Soul. We need to, f to visit Lagarde, by the way. And then we leave. How does that sound, guys? And then we leave forever. Completely forever. Imagine, are we gonna go on a vacation with Ragnavalder? Just me, you. And Ragnavalder, all of us together. Trap doesn't need to sleep to be sleep deprived. I do need to be sleep deprived to complete the challenge. My throat is starting to hurt a little bit, actually. But uh, it's fine, it's fine. It's one of the first times it happens, so actually, good job. Good job, stream. The stream finally was able to break my voice. <laughs> Are we going to be able to escape the elite guard? Um. Theoretically, yes, I can just run away. The problem is if the guard that is a little bit before the elite guard and the elite guard block me in an angle. That is gonna be a problem. I hope we're gonna be able to avoid it. Okay, let's go back to the past because there are gonna be some um, scarabs, if I remember correctly. Can you taste the blood in the back of your throat? Eh? In the back of my throat? No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> Holy, you're still going and without legs, I suffer greatly without dash. How do you manage? Jacket. My patience is breaking, but uh, I guess we may say this is a real uh, 
tormented run actually this is a real tormented run <laughs> okay we're almost there we're almost there we're almost there also it's perfect because uh, from uh, the, the the old passage there is a way to quickly exit from a hover it's gonna be in the present so maybe we're gonna change it to the past but at least there is a way to quickly leave the old passage and they're almost there come on do we have a soul stone wait do we have a soul stone actually oh yes Oof. we do have two soul stones keep doing you man elvis oh thanks jacket you gotta curl for your right to party and to finish the game without ever using anything besides Chains of Torment. Oh, the torch ran out once again. <gasps> Only one more to- oh, oh. We may need to farm with the Pinecone Pig if we don't hurry up. Because if we finish torches... <laughs> you know, if we finish torches... Torch! Oh, torch! Okay, torch. We got a torch. <sighs> we got a torch. Perfect. Bloodlust only or chains only? What challenge, what challenge is harder? Bloodlust, to be honest, allowed me to, you know, risk less. Because fights are very slow, very, very, very um, short, because Bloodlust deals even more damage than uh, Chains of Torment. Also, I was able to actually get the Penance Armor, etc. So. I would say, I would say that, uh, mm, I would say that this one is uh, harder, honestly. Okay, we got the, the, the powder. The powder restores mind, by the way. We can use also that. And torches, bone so Can you give me a torch? A small key. Of course we don't get torches. That's our tormented luck, after all. The torch lasts for one minute, if I remember correctly. Imagine getting an empty scroll and we have to use the empty scroll for the torch. Oh no, there are no empty scrolls there, sorry. The hardest challenge I've ever done, I think it was for how tense it was. Ragnavalder as ending, but I can't open the menu. That, in my opinion, was the hardest challenge ever. There were challenges that lasted longer, but uh, that one was so tense, because in every second the challenge could suddenly end because of a, the, stupid, the stupidest mistake, you know what I mean? Like, in there, I could play fantastically and still mess it up. Hey! Bro, are you, are you tracking me? Uh, okay. Oh! Oh, you stopped. Oh, perfect. Uh. <coughs> Hey, how did you start the battle with me without looking... whatever? Did you see that? He was able to start the battle with me without looking at me. Whatever. <sighs> okay, to be extremely... no. We don't really need to be this safe. We have uh, two elixir of mind, 100 mind to cast one. We have uh, two bottle of whiskey now. There is no need to use the sorcerer stone. But I need... I am not gonna need the brown vial after this fight, technically. Just to be extremely sure, should I keep the Sorcerer Stone? Nah, no, let's start with the White Angel Soul so we take less damage. Let's start with the White Angel Soul so we take less damage. I don't care. If I really have to lose because I miss like five Chains of Torment in a row, then that's even better. That's content. <laughs> like, it's an evil message. But it has to be set. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Hello, old guardian. Hello there. Older. Don't miss. Now, it may seem he is not bleeding, but actually, he is bleeding. The bleeding icon is behind his head, for how convoluted it may seem, okay? He is bleeding. Understood? Perfect. Okay. Can you just die? I don't even want to use the other stuff. I don't even want to use the other stuff. He's hiding his weakness. That's a cool idea to look at it. 
And there we are, guys. It's over. We are almost there. We are almost there. You know what does this mean? Let's go on the boss list. Let's go on the boss list. Old Guardian is dead. There is just a butterfly. We can actually do it. There is just the butterfly remaining. There is just the butterfly. Come on, guys. This is just a matter of leaving. Leaving, literally. Are we able to leave the dungeon? Or are we gonna get beaten in the end by a random body snatcher? Please. Please. It's almost over. On oh, contrary to popular belief, I did not create these dungeons. They created me. What you see is just me reflecting them. It may seem that the road I'm traversing is much more difficult, and it may seem an evil message, but it has to be said. Alright, you're inside your father right now. Eh? You are inside your father? Eh? Who what? <laughs> what do you mean? You are inside a father. Okay, now we just have to run away from the bloody man. Uh oh. Um, uh. Um, uh. Oh, oh, okay, okay. They're both behind me. That's good. Oh, they cannot traverse that pine, that point. Uh, actually, wait. Since we're here, we have a chance to get a torch down here. A chance that is very high because when you don't have torches in the inventory. Torch! See? When you don't have torches in the inventory, you have uh, increased chances of getting torches from bases and crates, etc. Now, we wasted some time, but we have another torch. Perfect. So, there are no enemies missing. We just have to check the guard and then take the butterfly soul. There are no more enemies. If we are able to leave now, the challenge is over. The challenge is over. Come on. Let's go on the butterfly. We don't care after all, right? Hmm. You know what? Ha! <laughs> you thought you outsmarted me, but I'm here to outsmart you! Are you ready to get outsmarted, my friend? Are you ready to get outsmarted? Okay. How long have you been crawling around with no legs? Uh, like, uh, <laughs> three hours? Three hours, maybe? But it's almost over. Give me a torch, maybe. Twelve silver coins. We can, uh, we, we can go back and buy an Alicia of body. That's fantastic, guys, right? That's fantastic. We have a way to win. Okay, let's heal our body for potentially the last time. Okay. Please. Please. Let's check the guard easily. Nothing bad to happen. Noth nothing. Everything is gonna work, okay? Everything is gonna work. We just need to check the guard. Seven hour finger streams are becoming the norm. Yeah. I need to stop with it. I'm uh, I'm educating you too well. I have to I have to be a little bit more evil with you. Less content, less moments of chatting together. No. Yeah 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 yeah. No 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 no. Don't you don't see me? You don't see me? You don't see me? Okay. What do I have equipped? White Angel Soul, perfect. <laughs> you don't see me, you stupid idiot. Okay. Uh, 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 flash! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Freaking flash! Alright. I know how to handle people like you. I know how to handle people like you, actually. You know how do we handle people like him? Come here, come here, come here. I have the perfect thing for you. We guard on the normal turn. And we change of torment you on the torso. I need to kill him now because if him and the elite guard block me in an angle, it's gonna be Jover. So, boom. Okay. Soulstone, uh, we really don't need to, but just because uh, we can not use it. Okay. Now, blue demon powder, I guess. No, wait, actually. It's time for the final copium. We got the final copium. Nothing can stop us now. Okay. 
If the elite guard is gonna attack us, we have a way to escape with the white angel soul. I'm feverishly checking if I do have the white angel soul because uh, you never know if, uh, I don't know, uh, suddenly someone unequips the white angel soul from you and you just forget to re-equip it. Can you not look at me? Uh, okay, perfect. Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I did use the soul stone on ancient guardian. Hello, elite guard. You know, we're gonna wait until the elite guard runs uh, all the way back to here. We're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. Don't need to rush this, don't need to rush this. Calm down. I could, uh, uh, I don't think if I, I can one-shot the elite guard, I remember the HP the elite guard has on the torso. Okay. Okay, the elite guard is all the way there. Let's also light up this this uh, thing right here since we can. Perfect. Now, it's just a matter of getting the butterfly soul, then we are good. Don't you need a soul stone for butterfly? No, I don't. The butterfly soul comes already uh, like a uh, existent. You don't have to use a soul stone. It's just there already. And from here, guys, we're almost there. Ragnar Valder almost finished it. Come on. Thank you for the follow, Jeppy. Let's let's cut this one off just because we can. <sighs> Please. 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 Tell me I didn't forget anything and I took all the souls. There is no way I'm gonna go back into the dungeon if I forgot so if, I, if I forgot something. No, 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 no. There is no way I'm gonna go back into the dungeon if I forgot something. If I forgot something, I'm just gonna end the stream or something. No, no, no. I don't have my I don't have my head anymore in this moment. My head is very slightly attached to my body. The half of my body is in the bed, and my mouth is melting. You have no idea. You have no idea. <sighs> yeah, I know I have a checklist, but maybe I made some mistakes, you know, it can always happen. It can always happen, even if you have a checklist. Oh, there is a ballista guard here. Hmm, wonder if we will be able to actually bypass it. Uh, uh, idiot. Uh, idiot. Aha, uh -huh, you can't go here. Idiot. Who? Uh, what was the? That was the best description I've had from you. Which description? Wait. Uh, the the half of the body in the bed, the mouth melting. That one. <laughs> Iron Shakespeare soul. We do have Iron Shakespeare soul. We do have. Uh, Iron Shakespeare soul. Huh? We missed it? Oh! Lucky that I have one em one uh, soul stone remaining. Lucky that I have one soul stone remaining. <sighs> so lucky. I could go back from here to reach the How many torches? Wait! Uh, we can craft one. I think we go first... I think we go first to... Uh, where do we go? To the where? <laughs> See, I have the whole list and I still forgot about the, the Iron Shakespeare. Uh, no, I fought the Iron Shakespeare. No. <gasps> no, it was the previous run. Wait. Uh, did I didn't fight? I didn't fight the Iron Shakespeare. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. There is a... Special boss fight, I guess. There is a special boss fight, guys. Uh, you know when in the video games you unlock the secret fight or something? The Iron Shakespeare may still kill the run. May still kill the run. Even after all we went through. I wanted to ask, is there a reason you like the first game a lot more than Termina? Yeah. That, uh, the second game, I think, lost the charm of the first game. That's basically why. Also, I love the interconnection between the majority of the zones in Fear and Hunger 1. In Termina, it feels like they are not connected. If you miss twice, you die. No, I don't. I guard... I, I can uh, attack on the first turn, and then escape in the extra turn, then heal, then, uh, then uh, re-enter in battle, and etc. There is no way I lose. There is no way I lose the battle with the Iron Shakespeare, guys. No worries. 
I don't have the head anymore. Look, did you see it, by the way? I was able to... I have a checklist and I still made a mistake. <laughs> we don't have the Iron Shakespeare, so that, that's fine, that's fine. The torch is almost running out. Are we gonna be able to reach the Iron Shakespeare, actually? The torch almost ran out. The torch almost ran out. Okay, here we reach for sure the butterfly soul. For sure. <gasps> Wait, there are some sticks! There are some sticks in the other zone. There are some sticks. I, I, I can get more, uh, I can get more, uh, more sticks. Easy. Okay, butterfly soul is ours. So let's go here. Control C, Control V. Uh huh. And now the Evan Shakespeare one uh, is temporarily removed. <laughs> we made a mistake. There are some sticks up here. How can he end the run then? I'm gonna kill the Evan Shakespeare. That's how I do it. Uh, easy. I do have an extra soul stone. Yes. Easy, easy, easy. Up here there are two sticks. Dogs are not a problem because we have the White Angel soul. So we can literally keep escaping. Literally. We're gonna loot both the sticks without problems. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Who are the anime girls on the screen? Those are... Uh, th that is Victoria from Black Souls. It's called Victoria. Hello. Goodbye. Easy. Easy doggo. Easy doggo. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. We're gonna take even the other stick before leaving. I think I will need two torches. Come on. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Black Souls best girl. In the first game, it's definitely Miranda. In the second, uh, either Jab Jab or Cricket. Okay. Second stick. Hello. Goodbye. I wonder if there's a way to make them stuck with the tree. By the way, guys, uh, since uh, it's almost over, I think it's time to thank every single one of you for the support. We have been 700 constant spectators across the whole stream. We didn't get the record, but uh, the spectators were constant for the majority of it. That's what matters. I really appreciate all the support you gave to me. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. And on these gentle notes, we are gonna finish the final run. This is the final run of the Chains of Torment only run. This is the final. There is no way we lose now. There is no way we will, we will let the Iron Shakespeare win. Let's craft all the three torches remaining. No more games. No more games. No more games. The Iron Shakespeare is gonna fall. <laughs> How could I have forgotten about uh, freaking uh, Iron Shakespeare, actually? I think I left it uh, checked in the boss list, and no one ever told me that I forgot to actually... that I forgot to actually uncheck it or something. I, I don't think... The Iron Shakespeare doesn't deal... Uh, 40 damage with one attack of the sm Lantern Smash, especially with all the defense we have. Here we are. Oh, we have disconfirmation, that's true. We have to run past the Manebas. Uh, I hate... Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm. That's fine. We have the White Angel Soul after all. Come on. Got the Ultra Chains, Violence, Legless. If there was an Elite Guard in disconfirmation, it would have been a problem. We are actually fine for not having the Elite Guard here, otherwise we may have been stun-locked by the Elite Guard and the Iron Shakespeare. Come on. Come on, guys. Okay. The final fight against the Knight of Rondon that came here to purify the dungeon to help Rudimer. It's the end. Is Dion Shakespeare the only one you forego? Probably. And yeah, I said probably. Let me check how much damage does the Iron Shakespeare do with the normal attacks. Just double check. Iron... Shakespeare. There it is. Lantern Smash. Lantern Smash is the name of the move. Lantern Smash. 
does... 35. Okay, there is no way he's able to one-shot us. So we can use Chains of Torment on the first turn to have a chance to immediately instant win. Just to be safe, I'm gonna use a red herb. <laughs> let's heal, let's heal a little bit more. Then we have 93 mind. Let's do this. Easy. <sighs> is this the last? Tell me this is the last one, please. Please. No. Huh? What? Bro. Eh? Bro. No, 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 no. Wait. Black Witch, Butterfly, uh... Three, six, seven... What? What did I forget? Eight, nine, eleven... Uh, ten, eleven... Eleven? What? What did I forget? Butterfly, Old Guardian, Neil Van Valtel, Chambar Francois... I... Eh? Uh, I... Eh? Uh, What did I forget? <gasps> the Chromo there! Eh? I killed it, right? I killed it! He's dead here in the basement. I didn't kill the Chromo there. No! 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 <gasps> okay, there is the body! We need a soul stone! We need a soul stone! We, we need a freaking. No, wait! We don't have the Chromo there, soul? Okay, we need a soul stone. Uh, there is one in the thicket. There is one in the thicket. The problem is if I go there... Okay, we need a, we need a soul stone. Do I have an empty scroll? I don't have an empty scroll. I need to get the soul of the crow molar. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Mm. Where is the nearest soul stone? The thicket, I guess. I already got the soul stone from the priest. Uh, thicket. Uh... It's dangerous. If I enter the thicket, I may not be able to exit from it. I only have two torches remaining. Hmm. If I enter the thicket, I may not be able to exit. Try boxes. Boxes cannot give soul stones. Hmm. Hmm. There are the yellow mages. That's true. The yellow mages! Hmm. It's risky. It's risky. But it's the nearest place from here, I guess. I go through the prisons. One from the Meiji Mahabra. I have to go all the way back. Uh, I don't have enough torches. In the prisons, I already tried to get the soul stone. I failed. Okay, le let's come down. Let's come down. First of all. First, first of all. Smoke tobacco. Okay. I will not lose a limb with the mages. I'm, I'm uh, fast enough. What do you mean? I'm pretty sure I'm fast enough. Okay, let's uh, turn. Uh, let's light down the. Let's light up the um, the, the bonfire. Have we been through the thicket on this run yet? Uh, there is one soul stone we still didn't get in the thicket, actually. So we may go through the thicket. You know, I think it's better the thicket. Yeah, I think it's better the thicket. We're gonna finish uh, our uh, torches uh, in the middle. But in the worst case scenario, we can farm with the mumblers. We can literally farm with the mumblers. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready for the most cursed fear and hunger experience of your life? Wait, uh, we didn't get the... Uh, is there is there a, a chest in there? I didn't see correctly. No, I think there is not a chest. 
I'm confusing between rounds in this moment. Uh, I'm literally confusing between... Yes, sir. Uh, is it there? Uh, okay. Then let's change of torment the door. Okay. Bro. <sighs> this run really is really is cursed. Hello? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-huh. Uh, let's use a torch. Uh no, there is a, there is no there, there is no chest. It's not here. No! Why am I guarding? I mean okay, that's fine. We just take damage, we can just uh, uh take uh, we just we can just cure it with uh Ah, uh, can you stop? Hmm. Uh, okay. We can just cure it with the Salmon Snake Soul. Hmm. Let's go through the thicket. Let's go through the thicket. Yeah, I know I'm bleeding. Let's keep the Salmon Snake Soul. Salmon Snake. Uh, okay. White Angel. We will not be able to finish the thicket, though. There is a chest, but it's not a, a guaranteed uh, Soul Stone if I get it. No. It's not worth it. It's a lot of, uh, tra of a lot of walking, uh, uh, crawling, uh, technically, for nothing. No. Let's go through the thicket. It's the only way. I'm gonna turn on all the possible torches to help me while I come back. I'm gonna try to turn on all the possible torches to help me. Why are you, why are you all those legs, uh, <laughs> skilly shoe? <laughs> Wait, are there some torches in the mines that maybe I forgot about? Are there some torches in the mines? Hmm... Which... Elixir... Okay, we finished the Mind Restoring Guidance. We only have, one, like, one Chains of Torment remaining. If we go here... We could kill the, 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 the Yellow Mage. No, no, no. Let's go through the thicket. It's uh, it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. I risk of losing too much time. I risk of losing losing too much time. Crates in the prison area for uh, for ch for uh, torches. Uh, too late. Too late. We are too far. We are too far. <sighs> God damn it. God damn it. Six lootable crates in the prison area you can use for, for torches. There is also in the thicket. There are some vases. There are some vases. I'm pretty sure. Also, let me remember to turn on the, the, the candles once I see them. I already passed one without realizing I can turn it on. Please. Oh, there are no more candles. Okay. From here up to the thicket, we don't need to use any more torches. Uh, and there is also a, a chest in the thicket, by the way. I remember. I remember. Yeah, I remember. The thicket do have chests. Yeah. Come on. Just the Kerumola remaining. He's still there, fortunately. Uh, we're not gonna go back here, so I don't need to turn on that torch. Something cruelly funny about being in arm's reach of success and finding yourself a leg short. <laughs> I mean... Funny is not the word I would use. Since we're here, maybe I missed one stick. Come on. With all the times I passed through this place, I must have missed one stick on the left side, right? Yeah, we killed the Kromola immediately, but we never used a soul stone on him. Because, I don't know, we didn't have it or something. Up here there is not a stick, right? Up here there is just a red herb. I think. No, there is a stick! There is a stick! There is a stick! There is a stick. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. That's it, okay. We have one more torch that we can craft. You're still alive? Yes, Sandro. We are almost done. We are almost done. That is one more torch. Then... What took your legs? Uh, um, bear trap. Imagine if you had the soul you used on the guard. No, I still. Uh, oh, uh, no, I don't. I never used a soul on the guard. I can guarantee you, Roxis. I never. I never used that. Never. Come on, it's almost 4 a.m. Very soon, my my mother. I think it's gonna wake up. <laughs> no, it actually it's Saturday. No, no, no. She doesn't need to wake up, fortunately. Okay. Okay. Legs are for stupid. <laughs> One way to become tormented, crow to the crow molar. The crow molar is dead. We're gonna go there. No! 
No, 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 We're gonna have to fight them. <sighs> I don't care if you deal damage to me. I don't care. Okay. When he's done. Mm -hmm. He is not barking. He is not barking. Let's use the blue demon powder. J just, just die. Just die. Ah, you stupid idiot. Okay. Let's heal with the Salmon's Nick Soul. Back to White Angel. <sighs> okay. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> that really demolished my spirit. Okay, can we get a torch from here, please? Torch, 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 torch. I don't need to use an, uh, I don't need to use a lucky coin. I don't want a good loot. I want a torch. I have an arrow. <laughs> Whatever. There are more bases in the thicket. There are more bases in there. There are more bases. Come on. <sighs> Please. 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 Thicket moment. Also, uh, I, I finished the tobacco. No, I still have tobacco. Okay, let's smoke the tobacco. Maybe I should have smoked the tobacco before using the, the torch. It made me lose like one second. And then bottle of whiskey. Back at 100 mind. Now, the only funny thing would be if some mumblers stun locked me in the deepest part of the thicket. That would be very funny, right? Okay, get a torch. Silver coins. Clock around in a stick. That means another torch. We are fine, we are fine, guys. We are almost there. I can guarantee you, Phobia does not reduce agility. Here there should be a chest if I'm lucky, yeah there it is. This is also an infinite chest if you open it from the right side, but we are not cheating. So I'm gonna open it from the left side. And what do we get? Monocle. Which is incredibly useful, am I right guys? Let's go down. Let's go down. There is another chest. And on this floor there is a guaranteed soul stone. Almost over. Almost over. Sorcerer stone. <laughs> Kinda ironic. Kinda ironic. Torch. Torch, please. Torch. Tobacco. I mean, okay. Okay. That's fair. Up here. Come on. We could we could also take the Eastern Zord uh, if we are masochist enough. So we also have the, the Assassin Spectre haunting us, but nah. Come on. Oh, there is, a, there is a base. Another chance for a torch. Torch, please. Torch. Okay. One more, one more torch. Okay. Up here, there is the guaranteed soul stone, in case you don't know it. There it is. Now, we just have to leave the thicket. And reach level 7 basement. And from there, the crow molder. Please. Take the sword to become God of Ultra Violet, uh, Ultra Tormented than the, tor than the Torment. <laughs> what? Old God of Ultra Tormented than the Tormented. <laughs> Alright. Very slowly. Very slowly. The Mumbler, while it's a single one, cannot do anything to us. Hopefully his corpse doesn't disappear. Imagine. No, no, no. It's not supposed to disappear. It's not supposed to disappear. We should be fine. <sighs> Come on. And also, we, we get the correct coin flip now. Deeper thicket. This is the most dangerous part of the thicket. There are the mumblers with the infected flower. Those mumblers may end the run if we actually accidentally don't run away. Imagine you're crawling and get haunted by a ghost. <laughs> Perfect, right? Come on. Let's use the torch. Let's use the torch, by the way. So if we get another vase, we can actually uh, recycle it. Please. Please. Weak from hunger. What do you mean weak from hunger? I'm weak from everything from hunger, bro. 
weak from hunger, you stupid idiot. <laughs> everything in my body hurts, not from the fall, not fr from everything, everything. <sighs> so please guys, if you like this, remember to subscribe and leave a like, because it's gonna incentivize me to do more of these very interesting, entertaining and chill challenges to have fun together without too many problems. Come on. Come on. <sighs> it's just a it's just a it's just a, a a straight road. A straight road with like a one or two problematic infected flower mumblers on the road. But it's still a straight road nonetheless. Can you go? Can you not look at me? Okay? Okay, he didn't look at me. Okay. The risk of getting stunlocked by two mumblers became less with this exact action. That one didn't, didn't see us. That one didn't see us. Here there is the greater mumbler. No, wrong road, wrong road, wrong road. We need to go a little bit more on the left. Thank you for the follow, Matthew Ariot. <sighs> yeah, I'm having indeed a lot of fun. You have no idea. I'm the, the person with the, mo with the most fun in the universe. Someone must imagine Frappolo happy in this moment. The thicket music makes me feel hungry for some reason. Hungry? I mean, it has a lot of weird uh, sounds, uh, you know what I mean? The deeper mumbler? The hehe! You slow boy! Slow boy! Slow boy! E Goodbye. I remember someone donating 2 euros saying that this is the run and you should have invested into it. This was and it is indeed the run. Thank you for the follow, Andre. This is the run. We are almost there. Fortunately, the prison is directly connected to the basement, so we can actually move less in order to leave. Imagine Nebbins is lower than a creep. <laughs> I was gonna fight Chambra for the first time, but my gaze froze, my game froze, and my last save was before the guard skill issue. Oh yeah, that's the skill freeze, I'm sorry my friend. It happens. It happens, unfortunately. That's the one of the worst bugs you can get. One of the most game-breaking ones. Imagine if we get the screen the screen freeze right now, even though we fixed it. Imagine if we get the screen freeze, guys. Am I, I'm gonna laugh hysterically. Like, very hysterically. You have no idea. It's gonna be the most hysteric laughter you've ever seen in your life. The most hysteric. Another torch. <sighs> mm-hmm. Here there is still the Ballista Guard, by the way. And there is the Cave Gnome, but unfortunately he's slow and stupid. Hello, Ballista Guard. Uh, it's funny to see you for the seventh, uh, 700th time, actually. Very funny. Okay, goodbye. The legs died because of a bear trap. If you make this, then the game is officially your ba- It is! It is the Gold River. At this point, it is. Thank you for the follow, Flossmoth. Uh... Yeah, this is the Frappolo character. Frappolo was able to go through all the dungeon without ever stopping, knowing that the chances were not favorable, but always keeping going. Because that's the tormented way. That is the tormented way. And now, I'm seeing a little bonfire in the distance, with a corpse near it. And this is the last soul we need. Soul of the Kromol. You have slain, slain everything, I don't care. The torch is gonna run out. The torch is gonna run out. Let's, let's leave this stupid place. <sighs> Okay, be be before celebrating, uh, I want to I want to leave. Okay, before celebrating, I want to leave. Uh, I want to leave before celebrating. Uh, no, it's not over, guys. It's not over. We may still have a uh, freaking uh, ictus. Uh, the PC may accidentally crash or something. We still have one torch, though. We still have one. I did interact with the Lagarde. Yes, I did interact with the Lagarde. Ah, T. Craig, thanks for 25 pounds. Uh, hi, I'm here to your channel, but I absolutely love your content. I come from Sea Dog Voice Actors video where you helped him out. Uh, I wanted to ask uh, how it was like. Uh, thanks so much for the support. Uh, um, 
I gotta be honest, I loved being able to interact with the... Uh, um, a huge part of the community, actually, because uh, the amount of people that was following uh, Sea Dog in that moment was crazy. So actually, being able to uh, show the stuff I know, <gasps> more torches, the stuff I know about this game, not only to Dog, but also to uh, all the the guys in the chat. Also, Dog was fantastic. Like uh, he was a very nice person. Uh, like uh, even on the human uh, human discussions, like uh, I loved being able to talk to him. You know, like uh, I it's, it was one of the funniest streams. Uh, uh, like a. Uh, Chit chat on Discord, I should say, that I've, heard, that I've ever had. And Carlos, thank you so much for the 4,000 cop. If no legs, can you still call this a run? I mean, this is technically the Chains of Torment only crawl? Technically. <laughs> thank you for the support. But, anyways, yeah, I gotta say, like, uh, uh, Doug is a fantastic person, honestly. I loved talking to him, like, uh, he was so uh, available to learn, available to listen, like, uh, uh, I, 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 I never got bored during that, uh, that, uh, that talking. Okay, can you walk away, can you look away, please? No, you are not gonna prevent me from reaching the ending. Not now. Not you. Not you, of all people. No. You are not gonna be the one that stops me from having the ending. Go away. Go away. No, 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 no. This is Obamna. This is the real Obamna. No, no, no. 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 Okay. He lost me. It's over, guys. It's over, guys. It's over. It's over. It's over. Boom. And once again, the tormented one triumphs on them all. Oh. Oh. Uh, no, no more, no more. I need, I need some rest from these challenges. Uh, every time I think I, I reach the bottom of the challenges I can do, <laughs> I found something more difficult. <sighs> Let's get the juicy screen. Okay, the beast would come to know your name. The god of ultraviolence. Mac Moose, thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend. Sorry. I don't have any more energies. Sorry, my friend, but thank you so much for the support. Welcome to the big shots. <sighs> okay. I mean, did you like this chat? Linge. Invita <laughs> Invitation! <gasps> Invitation! <laughs> it's 4 a.m. in the morning, I can't scream. Invitation, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Invitation! <laughs> Invitation, thank you so much for the 100 C8 dollars! <laughs> no, no, I don't have any more energy! No, you can't do this! No, <laughs> you can't! <laughs> This, you just, you, uh, I have 1 HP and you just use the Chains of Torment on me! <laughs> Boom! Killed! <laughs> Invitation! Uh, uh, uh. Thank you so much, my friend. <laughs> God damn it! No. Also, <laughs> thanks even to Gustavo for the two BML and to Dr. Thunder for the five dollars! You are an actual genius, man. This is cinema. And you were once brave and full, but now... Now I'm so empty that the... <laughs> The freaking invitation donation broke me. No, the, uh, this donation broke me. No, 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 no invitation. No, no. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I hope I was able to entertain you. And uh, thank you so much, my friend. This was really something. It really killed me. I was at 1 HP. And you went with the stagger attack of the old guardian. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Thank you.
so much invitation. God damn it. Uh... <laughs> it was so unexpected. Like, <laughs> my brain is sleeping. My brain is thinking, uh, go to sleep, go to sleep, and then boom. <laughs> Thank you so much, invitation. And wait, uh, we have another one. Darkelite179 with the $20. The loss of legs made you strong. <laughs> I mean, for sure I got uh, tempered. Is that how you say in English? Tempered by this challenge. It was like the first time I do crawl only. Ah, or no, fear number one. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, thank you so much, really, Darkelite. And the invitation. Uh, no need to repeat myself, right? You're fantastic. And wait, we got more! Uh, Funky Monkey with the $10, you're a legend! Oh, you are the legend, guys. You are the legend. Remember, guys, I always tell it, but I will never get bored of, say of saying it. Without you, these challenges wouldn't exist. These challenges literally wouldn't exist. Thanks even to Matthias Rapalini for the 50 ARS. For all this was a great stream. Congratulations on finishing the run. Now go to sleep and tomorrow celebrate with a fair net with a few friends. Oh, thanks, uh, Matthias. Unfortunately, tomorrow I have to study, but maybe on Sunday I have a birthday party. So technically, in there, it's, it's doable. Thank you so much. And even to Felix, Felix for the $10. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you. Ah, if only we didn't forget all those times to actually get the soul stones, but yeah, thanks. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Wizard, uh, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the big shots. Uh... All right, guys. Uh, I think it's pretty late. Every single one of us is tired, okay? Every single one of us is tired, so I'm gonna be very short. I love you. And I think every single one of you deserves rest. Thank you once again to all the donations. God damn it. Thank you once again, guys. I I, I think uh, we are breaking some records uh, for sure. Not the viewers' record, but uh, who cares? Still we're beating records. Even for the total amount of views, by the way, like uh, we are at 12,000 views uh, and the stream uh, is just on, like, it was just on stream. It, it's not on the rewatch on bots. Uh, Thank you so much, guys. Snail, thank you for the five dollars. Sleepy time. <laughs> it actually is sleepy time, my friend. Thank you so much. Invitation. I love you. All right. But anyways, for today, uh, that's gonna be it. Once again, guys, really, thank you for staying here with me. Without your support, these challenges wouldn't be possible. Love you too, man. Oh, thanks, invitation. So, this is nothing compared to what you just did, uh, but I thought you might be happy to know that I followed some of your videos for advice and just finished uh, my first one of this game during your run. Oh, that's so nice, Dr. Thunder. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, my guides, uh, I'm always happy when my guides are able to help people. I'm always happy in that moment. But now the only thing my brain is thinking about <laughs> is sleeping. <laughs> <sighs> so... What can I say? Guys, for today, that's it. I will probably see you on Monday with Library of Ruina, which is probably gonna be either the last or the penultimate episode. Zero, and thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the big shots, my friend. Welcome. Welcome. And for today, that's gonna be it. You and Connor got me into this game and now I'm hooked. Nice. <laughs> Our jolly cooperation worked. Look at the boss list while we go. Look at the freaking boss list. Everything cut off. Everything. So, on this fantastic view, which resembles one of the greatest heights ever seen by humans, I'm gonna say to you that for today, it's everything. And I will see you next time.